<laughs> I had to mute the shit, like, very quickly. I want to be listening to this for 10 minutes while I set up. I feel like I'm at a fortune, like, in a fortune teller and at a carnival. Jazz. I don't remember, like, I never remember shit from poppin' music, because so many of the titles are, uh, whatchamacallit, like, kanji ties or confusing because of the genres and titles being kind of kinda mixed up. Sad core. <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what song that is, but I remember the genre. <laughs> oh, engraved mark. Hang on, let's listen to some happy sad core. Oh yeah, do 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 do. Blah blah blah. Yeah, grave mark. What was the one that everyone used to meme on? Happy Handbag? Yeah, Sylvia Drive. Yeah, genre. Happy Handbag. Oh yeah, like I was saying... Phoenix. I didn't know they made this. Someone's been eagerly waiting for us, and it is this man. He's the storyteller. He's pleased to meet us. Quite an outfit. Uh, attention. He's auto save. Okay. Saving is important. Uh, you can manually save. Upper right. I always hated masks that, like, covered everything except the mouth. That, all, that was always weird to me. The menu. Whee! Here's all the information. This is where you set the video to a borderless window. Ah, oh, you can turn off the the noise filter. I kind of want to do that. I don't want that fucking puppet combo filter. You look how clean it looks now. Text log. Hold on, let me move my silly little head out of the way. Adjust the brightness volume, blah, blah, blah. Of course you don't want to hear. You can mute it. Wait, can I? I you can, can you mute individual people? That'd be funny. Brightness controls. Blah blah blah. Yeah, look at all that shit. I'm just using a keyboard. No, I just told you what my name is, fool. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> I 
Yeah. <laughs> he was trying to read my Steam username. Why'd you ask for my name and then call me something else, fool? Introduce, blah, blah, blah. Ah, <laughs> presented by me. Death has been a constant present that none have ever escaped. One's owner that someone close death is always a difficult thing to accept. Meta joke of getting an email. Yeah, maybe. Did he say that? I might have missed that little bit. You don't ask someone their name and then get it wrong. You gotta do it the opposite way. This guy needs to get shit together. Death is, death is an immutable reality shared by all. Moral traditions reflecting people's fears and prayers regarding death still remain. Ghosts and spirits. Attempt to defy death. Many curses, rituals, and customs have been born from burning spirit incense to summoning the souls of the dead. I should burn some incense. Hold on. I have incense, and I have a lot of it, and I don't use it enough. Bought 500 sticks of incense for like $40. Long ago. And by long ago, I literally mean like. Uh, 2023. Like seven or eight years ago, I think. <laughs> it's been a lot. Sensing. On that note, Otterino may seem abrupt, but Tony wish to bring back from the dead. That's a great question. If I could bring back anyone from the dead, I honestly don't know who I would choose. I'd have to choose, like, uh, Satoshi Khan <laughs> or something. I don't, all my, all my close family members, at least, are still alive, so. What if you had one chance to use the secret art of resurrecting the dead? I guess if you had the power to bring back one life, one in time only, what would you do? This, I don't know. I don't know who... I don't know if I would fucking sacrifice myself to bring back someone else who has died. I don't know who that would be worth it for. That's not me, like, thinking I'm super important or whatever. It's like, I don't know what... Like, if it would be helpful to bring someone who is dead back to life, you know? If I had to sacrifice someone else. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's kind of a... It's kind of a... It does, it's not a very hard-hitting question if there's no one you particularly think needs to come back to life. Would you get out of it? Well, that's what I mean. Like, if there was... If there was some greater good that would be helped. Like, you know... We brought back Martin Luther King and we knew that he was just going to bring back world peace, then yeah, sure, but like, I don't think there's anyone who is dead who is going to do a whole lot like that, you know? 
And if they're talking about a loved one, like I said, like I don't have close family who are st who have died, so I don't know. No cost, sure. The freebie. Uh, I see. Very interesting. That's what I thought. You shut up. <laughs> you don't know shit. Seems to be the matter. I know what this box that's been sitting here is. That's, that's a TV, dude. I know what that is. It's a color television. Yeah, it's nuts. Looks like it's from the 50s. Well, if you send any useful advice, it's like, such as this that do not exist in the age you are from. Right, color television can be found in every household. Wish, wish to contact someone while they're out of their home. Public telephones. Okay, so this takes place in, like, the 70s. Imagine what life would be like. Whoa. Paranormal site, a bizarre tale surrounding the curse known as the Rite of Resurrection. That's that's very Silent Hill right there. A peculiar yarn and yarn larn ensnaring nine men and women in a fierce fight for their lives. This is this nine nine nine? Some of the characters appearing within surely share your views. Those are blossom ones. You're to them if you're particularly strongly. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. We have Shogo Okie. E-A. E-E-A? It's Shogo, okay. Uh-oh. This morning, the body of a drowned man was discovered in a park in Sumida City. And it was Shogo Okiye. Oh, whoops. 25-year-old man who works. Finds a struggle were found. Police suspect foul play. Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> excuse me. Don't pay attention to that. You very nearly saw something that would have spoiled the story. And you didn't see that, okay. Yeah, whatever, man. You can't fool me. Or is a work of fiction. Made up. I figured. This didn't come off as a true story. No go. Are you alright? Akane! Hey, can Yoko, hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's Yoko Ono. Uh -huh. Not a proper answer. What do you think you're doing falling asleep? Where am I? There, hello. Right. Where are we? Are your humors off balance? Is is this is this like does this game take place in place in Athens in like the year four hundred BC? Yeah, my lymph nodes feel slightly out of balance. Wanna 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 bleed him out a little bit for me? There's nothing wrong with my humors, though my head's still fuzzy. Here he is, drowned man, Shogo Okie. Sound good. Turn your head around a little bit, see if you can walk alright. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, it's like street view. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> that technology is kind of scary. Oh, something's gonna pop out and say boo like that. Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> is there anything like where we are or what we're doing? Uh, yeah, Street View jump scare. <laughs> Were we doing the Rite of Resurrection? I'm gonna shut up. I don't know about that yet. You look confused. You're messing with me, right? You're... Stop it. Alright, let's look around and... Okay. Whoa! We look like we're in a playground or a park. We're in Sumida City, Tokyo. We're at Kinshibori Park. Yoko brought me here because she needs my help. Past midnight. No one's here. Why did I pass the fuck out? 
A little woozy. A little woozy. It's gonna be a no face. There'll probably be spooky ghosts. I'm getting vibes of that, uh... Remember that browser, like, comic? Dump scare comic about the, the girl in the park? The one that, like, forces your browser to auto-scroll? I'm getting vibes of, vibes of that. <laughs> I'm so glad I ran into that, like, way before, like, back when it was a, a genuine, like, kind of, like, unknown thing. That, that shit was freaky. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad it's, like, become, like, a cult thing, like, people who know, know. <laughs> Playground, that is interesting looking. Probably the kids during the daytime, but it's peaceful here at night. <laughs> Telephone booths are all over town, the lights are always on so you can be used in an emergency. Let's look at the night sky. I don't think there's anything else too helpful. Why are we here? Yikes, that was close. If we died before we got our hands on the right of resurrection, everything would be over before it started. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, that's true. There's a little... It's a little pixely. Oh, you can zoom. Whoa! Yeah, honestly, it's fine. He's high resolution, that's what matters. I feel like you could probably run this through a program that would, like, just smooth it out a little bit. And it would probably be fine. You don't want these, like... You don't want to look, like, JPEG artifacted, you know? You can walk. Uh, can you? Is that what... Okay. Oh, I can look at this person. Yeah, wag. This is supposedly very nonary games esque. I don't know what that means more than it's a visual novel that's about something besides dating girls. Something goes twenty three years of housekeeper, really into the occult. Probably recall a little more what's going on. And, oh yeah, oh, I I just said this wasn't a dating game, and now look. No idea how she feels, I guess since she's thinking about me that way. I've got a thing for bubbly girls who are into dark things like the occult. Stop fucking calling me out like this. <laughs> is, it, is there like, oh yeah, there's a little bit of acceleration. So, Wee! <laughs> Goth GFs get you killed. Yeah, but that's part of the... I wouldn't say part of the appeal, but it's part of the package. I wish I could lower the... Lower the camera friction. So you just go... Woo! And spin around real quick. Name's Yoko Fukunaga. We met a month ago. It's noon on one of my days off. I finished running some errands in Kinchicho. Take a break over here, look around. Whoa! There's someone loitering, digging up holes in the sandbox and searching the playground. She was enjoying herself talking to the animal figures and petting them on their heads. I can't wait for the part of this game where she just like stabs us like 30 times or something. Struck up a conversation. Looking for something. 
Now you must look like a total weirdo. Or something. Each help, but, but, you're really just a good Samaritan, or are you after, you know, something else? Oh my god, should we just be a slut? <laughs> it seems like a very, very upfront answer. Let's let's ruin everything. Ha <laughs> ha, you're funny! <laughs> I wanna s I wanna smack your tits around. I wanna I wanna marry you and then you can let you throw me off a cliff. Well, you can you're gonna stab me thirty-seven times. Twilight Town train station vibes. Yeah, you, we're, we're, let's let's date for a while, and then you can push me in front of a train. I'm only here. For, I'm only here for one thing, and it's getting getting put in a burlap sack, and then having my limbs amputated with piano wire. I guess I'll let you help me. Be warned, you might regret what you've gotten yourself into. See. She's t she's totally gonna do it. She's gonna she's gonna peel our skin off with a with a carrot slicer. What are you looking for? Did you lose a bracelet or something? Not exactly. I'm searching for one of the seven mysteries. The location of the Whispering Canal. And you thought that was gonna be buried in the playground next to the little like animal springy things? What are those called? I've done it. I think I'm a lunatic. Yeah, I lost something in that very deep water over there. Yeah, I seem. Yeah, I've lost a bracelet. It's. It's. I think I lost it in this back alley over here. Seven mysteries of Hanjo. Do you know anything about it? Uh, everyone would know. Hanjo is the southern part of Sumida. Time goes part of Tokyo was split. North part was Mukojima. South part was Hanjo. Am I boring you? I've I've never heard this before. I think it's interesting. I don't know shit. The game loud? It's hard to tell. Turn down a wee teensy weenchy schmeechy bit. There's no voices anyways, so. Unless there's a uh, voice volume. I haven't heard a voice, a single voice yet. Legend dating all the way back to the Edo period. Whoa! Like over 200 years ago. Now I've got your attention after all. Just one of those fake stories made up to chase the occult craze. All the popular stories that are going around are pretty fishy, but. The mysteries of Hanjo are different because they're totally true. That's what I said, they're the real deal. What does that mean? Paranormal stuff at work? Yeah, pretty much, okay. He's 100% into it. Gotta be more to it. All I've done, I still haven't found a thing. Okay. A phone in person. Times if you brought up the mysteries again. Well, now we're in a playground at midnight. And now she, wait, she decided to resume her search. Wait a second, where'd Yoko go? Over there. Like every time one of these like 360s load, now I'm just gonna be. Oh, this is awkward. If I mouse out. Oh, I can. If I. The mouse is seamless between the game and my second monitor. I gotta be careful I don't like accidentally start clicking, you know, stop streaming or something like that. Digging up holes in the sandbox, enjoying yourself, doing all that shit. Bullshit. Excuse me? Excuse me, moi? That is a fucking lie. Hold on. Where's my. Oh, I don't have my stream deck installed. Oops. Do that. 
deal with that. I'll deal with that later. I use my stream deck to make stream markers. But I don't have it plugged in. <laughs> or or the software installed. Yeah, that's fucking light. Give me give me all the Fork over those head pads. Yeah, look at all those little guys. One booth. Bernie Yoko, the Whispering Canal, is around here somewhere. Where the expression left with the canal originally comes from. My files. What? I've never heard that saying before. And one is Kinshi Bori. Many fishermen once gathered in the section of the canal. The days came to a close, and the gather of the catches voice would rise up so leave it behind. Those who ignored would be unable to move, then their previously full baskets would be empty. They'd be dragged into the canal never to return. That sounds like bullshit to me. In canal. Is this real? This looks like uh, someone imitating like the Hiroshige art, more than like an authentic one. But that's fun. Leave it behind. Fork over your fish. Bulls procession, the beckoning light, the haunting clappers, the Taiko of Sugaru. Oh my God! Something's <laughs> the foot washing nation. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that the foot washing mansion? That's what the fuck is happening? These are insane. Who came up with this shit? Need a city hall there. That's what's left. You use the character for ink. Oh my! I'm not reading all this shit. Oh my god. Anjo, that's where we are. I think. a nice little district. Are, like, maps of neighborhoods like this, like, this seems so small, doesn't it? It's like if you open up New York and start looking at, like, the neighborhoods of even just, like, neighborhoods of Manhattan or Brooklyn. And it's like, each one, like, even, like, an entire neighborhood that's just, like, one little block like this will have its own name, and it's like, oh, that looks so small, but then once you're there, it's like, it's it's a lot more. Let's see, Shibori Park. That's where we are. Cult craze. Cryptids and aliens. ESP. A plesiosaur named Nessie and blah blah blah. The Suchi Toko. <laughs> the fat snake. Legend of Kuchi Sake Ana, that one I don't know about. Spoon bending. Blah blah blah. Telephone booth. Plastered with unauthorized advertisements and leaflets. Okay, cool. I'm still at it. I'm just like I'm just gonna be counting down in my head like until the first time that we're looking this way and then we look away and then we look back and something spooky pops up. Like from that very first time that she changed position, like that's a very very powerful thing to suggest, and I'm gonna give major props to how they how they presented that. If this is truly gonna be like a horror game, like showing showing the possibility of how the mechanics can be used to scare you is incredibly effective. You're like, hey, look what we can do, and we're gonna fucking do it to you when you least expect it. <laughs> okay, so we did all that shit. We come here, we're gonna look for the mysteries. I already looked at my files. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna go through all of them? 
Okay, let's dive in. Oh, the fool's procession. Encountered by a daimyo at his residence in Omagata High School. Oh, okay, then we're going to the high school later. See, the sound of music, like a Kagura. Hey, like Fatal Frame 4, that that was a Kagura. Find the source, Demand for search, the music would fade. Of course, the sound was never located. Oh, maybe it was a Tanuki, that'd be good. Little, little, little fat-nutted raccoons walking around. That sounds okay. Beckoning the light. Uh-oh. What's this, the siren story? Onji. I see a hazy lantern, despite there being no one. Calling it would cause it to go out, suddenly getting near. But just when one appears, the darkness might swallow them up. Another light will appear, guiding the person who sees it. Some say the flame's benevolent, leading people to their homes. Others believe it's a monster. Some people believe it's a vengeful spirit. Well, we'll be dealing with that later. Evening bell rings in Iriecho. By Shimoku Bridge. Night watchman patrols. Announce its presence by shouting wars about fires, all while striking wooden clappers. But tonight, the sound of another set of clappers answers back. Clack, clack. The echo answers again. But no matter how hard he searches, he can't find it. Listen, some of these better be done by a Tanuki or a Kitsune, because we need we need some cute little animals in this shit. We pet some heads. Here's someone who's lost or uh, okay. Every single one of these is like either either it's a Tanuki or it's a ghost that's gonna kill you. <laughs> uh let's find out. North of Okurabashi, a beautiful beech tree, stood in the garden of Lord Shinden, now it's the former Yasuda Gardens. Yeah, surprise it was nothing scary, it was just a some fat fucking raccoons clacking some clappers. <laughs> And running around with lanterns and playing music. The beach residence. Alright, so what's up with the, the beach tree? No one's ever seen a single leaf fall from the tree. It's an eternally green tree now it's the evergreen beach. A particular species was actually an evergreen, so lack of fallen leaves was nothing out of the ordinary. This has led people to say that the strangest part of this legend is the fact that it even became a legend. <laughs> How is this a superstition? <laughs> this guy grew an evergreen tree. And no one... It, it took a while for people to realize it was an evergreen tree. Man, whatever. <laughs> this shit's great. I love that these, like, these all could have been, like, hardcore serious, like, actual lore of like, oh, it's a ghost, it's gonna lure you in and kill you, and whatever, and then they're just like, no, this one's, this is like some stupid fucking tree. <laughs> this one's fake. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, here's the fun one. The Taiko of Sugaru. Once was a daimyo from the Hirosaki domain. A daimyo is like a, kind of like a lord, like a feudal lord, isn't it? Yosaki Domain, Sugaru, who built a residence in Midoricho. The Firewatch Tower. This estate was an 8 meter tall tower that served as a lookout for fires, okay. Only a designated firefighter was allowed to use a drum. Most towers use wooden blocks to sound fire alarm. So this is pretty use drums. No speculation. What? Okay, what's... I don't understand what the legend is. This sounds just like everyone... A bunch of nimby bullshit. Oh, this guy's this guy has a drum, and you know what makes them so special? Me, me, me. Everyone should have a big taiko drum. I should go get a big taiko drum. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a legend. <laughs> it's just a a that natural, not a natural. It's an unnatural. It's a man-built feature that is being pointed out. Whatever. Hi, spooky Trev. Oh God. Oh, this is gonna be the worst one. Something that occurred in the dead of the night in a residence in Mikasacho, which is in South Warigesui Street in Kamezawa. A foul-smelling wind suddenly rattled the house. Suddenly, a giant foot drenched in blood smashed through the ceiling and commanded, Wash! This is fucked up. <laughs> look at her, she's into it. She's like, oh my! <laughs> oh, 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 look at that! <laughs> the servants carefully washed the foot. It returned from whence it came, fixing the roof. 
Man who had been visited by the foot every night asked to furnish treat houses with him. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a that's a huge thing to drop after the rest of the story. The rest of the story seems like some folklore shit, and then <laughs> there's there's some guy who's been visited by the foot every night. That would be unfortunate. Every night a giant bloody foot crashes through your roof. Fucked up. Whatever, the one-sided reed. It was once an infamous rogue by the name of Tomezo who fell for her name Okoma. They instantly chased after her, attempting to win her heart, but she rejected his advances. Enraged by her indifference, she brought a dagger to a town near Ryogoku Bridge and attacked her. Cut the arm and leg off of one side of her body, then threw them into the canal. Ever since then, the reeds growing along the canal have only spread leaves on one side. See, that's a great story. I thought they were all going to be like that. Oh, that's fucked up. Might be my favorite one. The beckoning light's good. That one's like really classical. You know, a light, a light in the dark, and it is owned by a ghost. Like that's all you need. Probably happens to the first main character guy. What getting chopped up? How do you think that's gonna happen to the first main character guy? The first guy, the. The, the hint for Shogo is that he's going to get drowned or has been drowned or something. If he, if that's the suggestion because of the canal thing, I guess it's plausible. It's the only matching one so far. Uh, the last one, the ever-burning lantern. Look at l fucking La Creature right here. On a bone-filling winter's night, camped upon a soba cart along the canal known as South Warigasui. There's something strange about the cart. No matter when one might visit, its owner is nowhere to be found. Oh, it's a chupacabra. Yeah. <laughs> the lantern that hangs from it stays perpetually lit even with no oil. The attempt to put out the flame and immediately roars back. There's also the tale of the never-burning lantern. Another telling of the story in which the silver cart's lantern always remains dark, refusing to be lit. Well, that one's less interesting. We're going to talk about this fucked up cat thing. <laughs> Look at her screaming, hey, fuck you, get off my painting! Getting dragged into the canal. Oh yeah, that one's not, like... Hold on, where was that one? I forgot that the Whispering Canal. Yeah, sure, that one... That one is a lot closer. I just forgot about this one already because we were too busy getting into all the other ones. Shibori. Yeah, so Sh Shogo here might be fucked. That reminds me of, uh... What's that folklore legend about, like, the egg-faced people? Like a... Uh, not egg face, but like, uh, completely blank face. Round like an egg. Topeta bow. Faceless ghost. In legends. Okay. We can only find a good one here. Yeah, the most famous story of a uh, Nopetabo is Mujina in the in the book Quite On Stories and Studies of Strange Things. Oh, I'm gonna bookmark this for later. A man traveling along the Akasaka Road to Edo comes across a young woman in a remote location, crying and forlorn. He attempts to console the young woman and offer assistance. She turns to face him, startling him with the blank countenance of a faceless ghost. Frightened, the man proceeds down the road for some time until he comes across a soba vendor. Relaxing and telling the vendor of his counter only to recoil in horror as the soba vendor strokes his face, becoming a uh, Nopetobo himself. Wow, and the <laughs> it turns out that all of these Nopetobo are just Mujina in disguise, Mujina being Tanuki. <laughs> so, does, so does Tanuki, so such fucking assholes. Oh man, I'm gonna be reading all this shit later. 
That'll be my evening. I'm gonna stream for a while, then when I'm done, I'm gonna smoke weed and read about <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> uh, let's see. We just was this game? Uh, it just came out. Uh, gosh, really recently. Uh, let's see. March eighth. Yeah, this is ten ten days old. Uh, is Square Enix, I guess it's basically a visual novel, but it has some, like, gameplay elements. The 999, like, Nonary Games comparison so far is really accurate. It's presentation, but also this, like, sort of soft gameplay elements. Wait. Said something. Oh, no. I thought it said, like, I left something. I thought it was a clue. Hi. I'm back. Hello. What was that just now? Huh? Didn't you hear that? Don't be don't be saying spooky shit. I didn't hear anything. Okay, dude. With your special talent, you should have been able to hear it. Pay closer attention. The fuck? Your spirit sense. You look like you can handle your liquor. What? You want me to drink? You want two shots? <laughs> I mean, you can see me, right? Uh-oh. Huh? Is she a ghost? 1 a.m. Yeah, ghost girlfriend. I told you, she's she's perfect. You know, she's so comfortable talking about spirits and paranormal. Got guts or used to it? Unless, no, it can't be. Yeah, she, no, she's a fucking ghost. You're kidding, right? About what? I mean, just now. Kind of like sound. You were saying only people with spirit sense can see you. Of course, that was a joke. Duh, you don't think I'm an evil spirit, do you? She's totally a tanuki. That's good. That's just going to be our boogeyman the whole time now. It's like every, anytime shit happens, like, oh, it's a tanuki was behind it. Actually, hold on. Let me open a window. Drinking tea. So it's water. Hello, Swift 404. What I said about your spirit sense being strong, I bet you go down a whole gimlet. The fuck is a gimlet? I mean, contextually, like, is that like a beer stein? Full of vodka? That's the real reason I helped. You need to help me here. Let <laughs> me clarify. Can, can you see paranormal? I thought he was going to ask her to clarify if she just wants me to, like, slam a fucking liter of hard alcohol right now. I can handle a solid moss cow. See? I told you. Why are you measuring this in terms of cocktails? Not a believer, huh? That's don't matter. You have to have seen weird stuff over the years, right? Like, can you deceive and not understand? Like what? Got most of my memory back, but I still feel out of it. Talk about alcohol. What are you talking? What is going on? You actually drink like real alcohol? Whoa! Talk about whiplash. I didn't expect you to start making small talk. She brought it up. Conversation was getting dark. We're gonna change the topic. Might lighten things up. If you really want to know? I like to think I can handle a few drinks. Like truth, I never actually had a Moscow Mule. I thought it sounded cool. I would like to try it though. I'm gonna go for a drink sometime. You were asking me out, so <laughs> you were after something else. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'd be up for that. 
Well, only if you find one of the seven mysteries. Get to work. Three past one a.m. Whatever. Let's talk about seven mysteries of Hanjo. I did some research at the library. There were some interesting things. Oh, what do we got? These are really ghost stories. Some of them are not ghost stories. They're called the Seven Mysteries, the Literature List 9. Nice research. Some people think there could be up to 15. That's the thing about the folktales, stuff gets added. I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, who, who decides what really counts as one of these mysteries, right? More extra stories and main ones. And seven mysteries roll off the tongue better. <laughs> it makes it makes sense though, you think? It's more likely to be passed off. It's easy to remember. Yeah, like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the the count is true, because nothing else in the stories is true. And none of these were scary. <laughs> I, like, I think there were like one or two that were scary, the rest were kind of silly. I can dig it. More like a collection of superstitions, but there's some pretty disturbing ones. Yeah, like the, the Whispering Canal. Speaking of which, I don't understand how we're looking for a fishing canal at a playground. Get the seven pieces of the Triforce. <laughs> Pick up a few extras along the way. <laughs> Right, right. What are you expecting to find here? Not quite. Also, yeah, I'll keep in mind, like, I'm I'm kind of uh, eyeballing the audio. And it's, it's really hard to tell if it's too quiet or not. Especially for these, like, music-only games. It's, like, really just kind of backgrounds. Like about a folktale from hundreds of years ago. After centuries of a telephone game, who knows if it's anything like the original story. I think the true story of the Whispering Canal may be completely different. Exactly, I'm sure it is. Aren't you curious? What? Yeah, see, that looks like a that looks like a canal. Okay, so it's a local expression left at the canal to abandon someone. The story today is about fish. Something about leaving people behind. Very whimsical music, I like it. So they're saying the original story maybe did involve someone being abandoned. That's what I'm trying to find out. Ah. How are we going to find that out here? Okay, what's this? We're talking about the Rite of Resurrection. Oh, your memory's as strong as your tolerance. I'm going to start calling you Martini Man Shogo. That's a long nickname. We were just talking about making shit easy to remember. Really climbing up the drinks menu, huh? The Rite of Resurrection. You're gonna feature on it. Got everyone talking about it. So the magazine's behind the whole thing. We'll see if our to be true. The forbidden art of bringing the dead back to life. Concocted by a famous Onmyoji. Omni Always fuck that up. We were talking about, uh, Seimei, right? Oh yeah, because we were playing, uh... What was it called? Kuon, which features... It's it's Seimei, right? I'm, I'm remembering that correctly. I feel like an idiot because I've looked this up so many times. Yeah, Abe, yeah, Abe no Seimei. Or just Seimei as they're usually known. Yeah, that's a playable character in Kuon. Rumor has it an old manuscript containing actual concrete details was recently discovered. E-Man! What is up? If I'm, <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Hello. Remember, comes from our presentation given by local historian Hideki Araishi. Sure know a lot about this shit. <laughs> I'm a secretly a huge occult buff. Or like, uh, does anyone else here a fan of Suspiria? Like the original '70s Suspiria. There's like that part where they're talking about. Which is, there's like a break from all the chaos of the movie where she goes and asks the guy for info. And he pronounces it as the occult. I wonder if I can... What 
let's see here. I can actually play it for you. If you have not seen Suspiria, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite horror movies ever. Here, I'm, I'll, I'm just going to play some audio from the part that I'm talking about. I watched it in a big, pretty theater recently, and it's just so fun. Where that? No, I didn't even know you were a psychiatrist. Well... She had a nervous breakdown after her mother's death, and she came to me for treatment. After she got better again, we remained friends. But lately, she was upset about some notions put into her head by a friend of hers. Not you, I hope. No. They were kind of wild ideas. She had discovered that the Tam Academy was founded in 1895 by a certain Helena Marcos, a Greek immigrant. Okay, da da da. The Marcus woman had been expelled from several European countries. She seemed to have something about her which which urged religious thinking people to to persecute her. She also wrote a number of books, and I read that that among the initiated, she went by the name the Black Queen. After she settled down here, she became the subject of a lot of gossip. Nevertheless, she managed to put her hands on a great deal of money. It was in 1905. Giving some. The school was taken over by her favorite pupil. The study of the occult was abandoned. Aha! And the occult! Soon the place became the famous dance academy. But what does it mean to be a witch? Well, as a believer in the material world and, and a psychiatrist to boot, I'm convinced that the current spread of belief in magic <laughs> the and the occult yeah. is part of... Oh, she said it. The current spread of belief in magic and the occult is part of the occult. mental illness. <laughs> Bad luck isn't broad. I believe belief in the, in the occult is mental illness. <laughs> Listen, this takes place in the 70s. Chosen one! I'm coming! I'm coming! Anyways, I just wanted to veer off into that because I thought it was, I always thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Look at her shirt. It's like slowly zooming in on her. Does it zoom back out once it's... Oh yeah, it's zooming out. Did that hurt his credibility? Wait, in the movie? In Suspiria, uh, she's a dancer and she's talking to a friend at some like psychologist academy. So he's like, he has like a passive studying interest, but it's it's very passive. It's like, oh yeah, I'm a psychologist, and I've, I've heard of this shit. Researchers spoke about an academic conference that must have some basis, in fact. I, don't, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't go that far. Actually, that's why I believe it's real. I'm starting to believe it, too. Hey, for a few hundred bucks, you can submit any, a paper on fucking anything you want to an academic conference. <laughs> They're not that picky. <laughs> Good, the pursuit of the unknown starts with belief. I got that from Professor Araishi himself. Hmm. Right resurrection, da da da. Wait, so. That spirit sense. In Ghost Photos and Magazines, where you're telling me they exist? You bet they do. Only recognize them if you really believe in them, so be careful. Even if my skill, I won't be able to see them. I doubt they exist. All right, Spirit World's about mind and soul. Can't see a thing unless you're properly in tune. But sometimes people get caught up in the moment thinking they might see something, and then they really do because they believe that they would. Works. Yep, it's like drinking. You never know how much booze you can handle until you're ready to down some shots. Well, not sure I get the drinking thing. I honestly don't either. That, that, I don't think that was really like a, a proper comparison. You know, I realized how strange it was. Some words left my mouth. Yeah. Yo, I'm just a, I'm just a ditzy little anime girl. 
Why are we just standing here? What? You can believe that, there might be hope for you yet. Can't be serious. Hang on, I got another question. Mission the Rite of Resurrection, are you looking for that too? Have to do with the seven mysteries? You're sharp, I could cut my finger on you. Why is she looking for it? Why didn't she just read the paper? Or did the paper not say? Every time you spin, she can see it. Wait, she can see what? Oh, just punctuating every conversation with a quick 360, yeah. Do that in real life. Just check your surroundings real quick. Well, I started off searching for the Rite of Resurrection, but along the way I realized I needed to investigate the Seven Mysteries first. About the connection. Bring together everything. My guess is the original stories behind the Seven Mysteries are the key to finding the right. That's why you're here searching for one. Wow, 10 out of 10. You're quite the capable assistant. Anyways, this is all just hearsay, but... Some say what led to the Seven Mysteries coming to be is the Rite of Resurrection itself. What the stories come from the Edo period? I thought that the Rite was way older than that. Well, it's all folklore, so who can really say? It seems that an Oji from the Edo period rediscovered the ancient art. The old manuscript I mentioned with the details was written in the Edo period. The manuscript is called The Record of Fates speculates the secret of the right is hidden within the seven mysteries. Now the seven mysteries are the hot new trend. Come on who? Remember what I said about the pursuit of the unknown? It starts with belief, right. Record of fate, an old manuscript written by the sorcerer who recovered the right of resurrection. But if it, it was presented at an academic conference, do they not have uh, I don't know, is this, like, was it not written about? Oh my god. Culture and society. Okay, whatever. Really into a way to bring someone back from the dead. Does that mean you've got someone you want to bring back? You know what? Forget it. <laughs> it just came to mind. Didn't mean to pry. No, it's fine. I figured I'd tell you sometime. It's Ogo Pogo. Ogo Pogo. Bring Ogo Pogo back. He died in an accident about a month ago. That was my dog. I had him for eight years. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, you're gonna bring your dog back to life. Yeah, sure. To be honest, I'm not sure if the right works on dogs, but as soon as I found out, I knew I had to give it a try. I think I could forgive myself if I let the opportunity pass by. Now I know why you feel strongly about it. Thanks for telling me. Not all that led me to meeting you, so at least something good came of it. What if you're already dead and you don't believe and she's trying to revive you? Yeah, that's a possibility. Like, we're gonna... We're gonna find some spooky shit and she's like, Great, now that you're a believer in the occult, now we can bring you back to life. We'll get married. Then I can lure you into a back alley and stab you 78 times. Yay, I'm so glad to hear it. Let's keep up the hard work. What the hell? Seems like the air changed. I think. <laughs> Uh oh, she's pointing at me. Pointing at me, not past me. Okay, so. I don't know. Let's, let's just roll with it. He's got her rattled. Are you okay? Ugh, ugh! Can't be, ugh! We still really have not gone into why we are here. At midnight, just digging through the sand in the playground and then stopping for a while. Oh yeah, this Hosoe-esque beat. Oh, 
If the music was done by like sampling masters or some shit, it would be perfect. I will I will always miss that from the VLR series for the nine nine the zero the nonary game series, the zero escape series, whatever whatever it's called. The music was top notch. Yoko! He's a no condition talk. I highly doubt that. Playground? Is there a spooky thing in the. I can't click on anything. What do I do? What does this do? Auto button display. Okay, I don't think I really need that. I can't look. I can't look further down than this. I can't look higher than this. I don't think I can click on any of the scenery. This is creeping me out. What the, what the fuck can I do? Oh, I clicked on something in it. I feel eyes on my back. I can't move. Something behind me. What do you think? Should I spin around? Yoko's pointing over here. Oh, wait, shit. The oh, fuck. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. She'll see you as it's making it up. Push. Ugh, I don't get this. What's going on? Did something happen? Yoko? Oh my god, I'm so scared to turn around. Oh! Rot row! Uh oh. What the? What's happening? Ah! Okay, is she crying or she is that drool or she's like? Come on, let's do something smart. Here at Kinshibori Park. Dude, call nine one one. There's a fucking payphone right there. She's having a fucking seizure or something. You don't know if she's dead. You're not a doctor. Well, she's not dead because she's sitting up. Everything's fine. Ah. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, damn it. I got bigger problems. <laughs> Jump scare city. Here we are. Yoko, hold on. We'll figure it out. She's not breathing. She's cold. No pulse. Yeah. God, fucking idiot. There's a payphone. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. The amber lamp shouldn't be long. It's gonna make a difference. Her body's stiff, her skin's cold, she's not breathing. It's more like a mannequin. Well, you don't know yet. How'd this happen? Why someone so bright and bubbly just suddenly drop dead? Resurrect her. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Right of Resurrection was talking. She was talking about exists. Maybe we can bring her back. Okay. Someone can drop dead like they're cursed. So why shouldn't there be a way to bring them back? This pixelated ass. Yoko believes in it, so I believe in her, but it seems completely possible. Maybe I can still save her. Wait for me, Yoko. I'll use the Rite of Resurrection to bring you back. Well, uh, well, we don't have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like oh, yeah. We can we can use this this special uh, ritual to bring her back to life. Duh. Why didn't I think of that before?
strength in the right of resurrection, blah, 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 blah. And the spring canal. Whoa! Presence again. It must be around here somewhere. Hey! Oh, it's a fish talisman. A wooden sculpture. Three or four centimeters. Looks like a keychain that's rotted. Wait, how tiny it is, I feel an almost palpable malice radiating from it. First stone acquired. Whoa! What the? Leave me, help me. Uh, drop dead. Which, well, okay, which one do you want me to do? Should I help you, leave you, or drop dead? Memories flowing into my mind. Kill them, kill them, kill them, Jason, kill them all. By the power of the curse stone, you can use it to kill those who walk away from you. Whoa! <laughs> the fuck? That's cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Murderous impulse seeps into my soul like thick black tar. <laughs> now, yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you hear it, curse bearer? Why in the living heck would you ever want to use this? What the heck? I can think of plenty of reasons. <laughs> steps on your shoes and then they try to walk away without apologizing, bam. Death note there. <laughs> that happens. I don't know. <laughs> you who so strongly desires the right. Kill them. You seek life's restoration. With your curse in hand. Reap lives by the score. Claim their soul dregs for your own. Okay enough to sate this vessel and by their sacrifice claim the gift of resurrection. Okay, how many people do I have to kill to bring her back? This is like fucking Shadow of the Colossus now. Use it while driving. <laughs> Someone cuts you off, just fucking hit him with the death note. Make, make sure you are in front of them when you do. <laughs> Not behind their car. When they suddenly die and you're off the road. Your fellow curse bearers. Whoa. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, Win Spring Canal. <laughs> There's with the equal. Okay. Go forth and kill. You got it. Thumbs up. Now we're getting into the crux of the thing. Now it's just stands and stand users. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, we're JoJo. Was, what was our name like? Was our name Shogo? Shogo could be a Jojo. It's close enough. Oh my god. It's updated. Cursed power. Resentful memory. Toki loved fishing with her father and Kichi more than anything. With their wicker baskets. They would leave for the canal every morning and fish till the evening. Use of Super Mother Koma made. Was that, did that name pop up in one of the other files? I just loved her. Her father disappeared to his mother and looked and never came back. Those who came to express their concern stopped visiting out of fear. Loki continued to wait all alone. Being able to bear the lonely shift, her, left her home, trudged along the roads until night fell. The sound of fish splashing in silence. A taste of carbon in the memory of her father's smile flashed back her mind. Loki walked into the moat. Uh, and then just fucking disappeared, I guess. Okay. Kills by drowning one who leaves the curse bearer behind. Baller. Curse echoes and curse bear. Let's get into it. Oh god, here we go. Curse echoes are the visual manifestation of curses. A mentally related origin of the curse. 
to always take the same shape. Other times they're more abstractly disfigured. No consciousness. Uh, they're mere dregs of a soul. For spare. <laughs> Intangible or no soul dregs. I'm possessed by a curse that has a curse echo. It's called Curse Bearer. Curse Echo is in itself a curse, and a possessed curse bearer can inflict that curse upon others at will. Curse that comes with a curse. Echo is considered very powerful. Ordinarily, those with no spirit sense would not be able to perceive a curse echo. Anyone who becomes a curse bearer can see others. So it's, so it's literally JoJo. I'm, I'm, I'm here for this. Curse stones. Old Etsuke carvings. Human curses. Those spirit sense can wield such curses. These curse stones allow ordinary people to use them just as legally. Soul dregs. When someone dies, their life essence leaves the body and becomes a soul. When it's killed by means of curses, their life essence turns into a residue and their soul dregs. The rite of resurrection uses these dregs as a, as a sacrificial offering. Okay, here it is. The amount of soul dregs required depends on when the person being resurrected passed away. The more time passed, the more soul dregs required. So if we wanna if we wanna discount, we gotta resurrect uh Yoko pretty quickly here. Okay, got it. I'm on board. You're not so scary once I read, you know, a few dozen paragraphs of lore about you. This cursed him. The whispering canal must have cursed me. Okay. Strange voice. Wanted the, if I want the right, I have to kill a bunch of people <laughs> this curse stone and collect their souls. So the right really does exist, but this thing wants to kill people to get to it, okay? Screw that. Putting my own life on the line is one thing, but murdering other people's different. Scores, it said. Yeah, we, we, I would love to quantify this. Is there, like, a... Give us a nice little, like, uh, polynomial function. <laughs> That describes the number of souls required per year in any other variables that are part of it. Craft the soul of anyone who tries to walk away from it. But, if I use it, collect enough souls, and I'll be able to bring Yoko back. About other curse bearers being worth more soul dregs. Yeah, so other, other JoJo's, if I kill them, they're worth more points. Jeez. So why'd she die then? I don't know, it took me this long to realize. Weird prank she's playing. I think now she's gonna open her eyes, get up, and have a good laugh. Right? Boy, did I fall for that one. You got me good. Wait, no, I got it. You are a spirit. There's no way you're really dead, right? She's just like, she's not even laying down, she's sitting there. Like a twisted game. Come on, let me do some thinking. Got my own curse stone. Curse of the Whispering Canal. I don't understand how she got hit by this, you know? Still weirding me out. Where's that fucking ambulance? <laughs> Taking their sweet time. We're in the middle of the city. We're in the middle of Tokyo. Why would you bring her back if she's gonna stab you 30 times later? Cause she's my she's my goth manic goth girlfriend. You know, these are these are these are things we have to live with. His previous owner. Not the right direction was involved, blah blah blah. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn more about that later. Find an old folks home, yeah, and just, you know, take a few spares and... Oh, hello. Shadowy figure. This better not be another JoJo already, he's gonna kick my ass. Bitch. What? <laughs> oh my, how unexpected. that killed that poor woman, I take it. What? Nice cheekbones, nerd. Cat got your tongue. That man. Since 30s or 40s. 
Dress up in a suit and tie. Looks shady. I feel like suit and tie makes people look even more shady. It's up to no good. It's one of the other curse bearers. He's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> You're gonna kill me and take my curse stone. Yeah, see, he's already uh, caught up. Okay, so what's your deal? He knows me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can, like, look at them, but you have to click on their face to talk to them. Yeah, he's got the Phoenix right hairdo. How do you know me? Dear me, it's, it's always humbling to find that one is not as well known as one believes. That's my name will help you remember. I'm Takumi Yumioka. That doesn't help at all. I've heard that name before, maybe. How disappointing. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> okay. Storyteller. Oh, this is this guy? Okay. Takumi Yumioka. Okay, Yoko. Junior college, here you go. We got this whole thing. The normal stuff. Quit within a year because she got in a fight with her supervisor about the paranormal? That's not a smart idea. Now she's a housekeeper and visits haunted spots. Ogo has a dog. Oh, it's a Shiba Inu named Ogo Pogo. Like, that's that's the, written in the present. Imply that the dog is still alive, I guess. Whatever. We're an office worker. Here's our here's our Mary Sue character. Unremarkable young man, Mary very Mary Sue. Third year of working in a boring job no one gives a shit about. Born to an ordinary family, and who cares? And same time as a birth of color TV. Time out. When was color TV invented? Our transmission of color images conceived as early as the 1880s. August 44 was the first demonstration of a practical, fully electronic color television. It wasn't until the 70s that color television finally outsold black and white. So it's arguably the birth of color TV. It was first demo. This, this is hard to pin down. Like the first time, yeah, maybe like I think the fifties, because it says the system was first demonstrated at the FCC in forty. First RCA color TV set, CT100, here was produced in 54. So it based, I think 1950 is probably... So if that's true, then this does take place in the 70s. I don't think we've seen any evidence that would contradict that. For special effects, action films, anime variety shows. Okay, if he grew up in the 80s, which is what this all sounds like, then yeah. Wait, no. Now, if he grew up in. I'm trying to think. This sounds like he might have grown up in the 80s. It sounds more like the 80s than anything else. Special effects heavy action films, anime, oh, baseball, pop music. I don't know. For a generic university, it's still into an apolitical mindset with no strong ideals and no, and doesn't give a fuck. So he just goes with the flow. So he, he this is this is all just a reminder, like our our main character is basically a blank slate Mary Sue, you know, the generic visual novel dude. 
It's some guy with a boring job and boring hobbies and there's nothing interesting about him. Okay, whatever. Let me make you a proposition. Oh. You have a curse stone, I would like you to give it to me. Fuck you. How do you know? I saw the whole thing. Explain you know what it is. Even I barely have a handle on it. You know about the seven mysteries of Hanjo and their curses, don't you? But of course, the curse stones are terribly, terribly dangerous, capable of killing without a trace as long as their conditions are met. Not that way, but yeah. He's not a silent protagonist, oh, that'd be awful. <laughs> Well, I don't think you can really do that in a visual novel, can you? That's what may happen if it fell to the wrong hands. You're safer in mind, don't you agree? No. Well, it seems I arrived too late to stop you from killing the poor woman. That wasn't me. I'm willing to overlook your indiscretion only if you give me your curse stone. Fuck you, buddy. For all I know, your hands are the wrong hands. Very well, I hope to sell this amicably, amicably, but you leave me no choice. Uh-oh, we're gonna fucking fight. He definitely has a curse stone, <laughs> like... <laughs> there's no fucking way this guy does not know what is going on. He, he could have more. You can kill me instantly as long as he fulfills the stone's conditions. I know what those conditions are, I can't make any sudden moves. Keep him talking, learn I can't figure out a way to get my curse out first. How can I get him to leave me behind? He waits not to take his chance to find out about the other curse bearers. If I turn around, he's gonna fucking kill me, I think. <laughs> Should I try it? How do I auto save? How I'll normal save. Well this saves all the time. Hey, you didn't kill me when I turned around. What the fuck? By all- <laughs> by all that's holy, what is that crazy thing over there? Yes, we can't juice. They're in our two. You can see somewhere else. Get out of the scenario one alive. I'll have my chance. Blah blah blah. The thing makes it impossible for him to stay. I'm a. Uh, I. I'm curious. What's this? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Looks like a light floating in midair. It's one of the other legends. Which is interesting because... Uh... Mysteries. But that would be the Beckoning Light, which is the road near Honji. I guess that... I don't know where that is. Do we have a map? Did this... I can't read this. <laughs> Where's the you are here? Talking. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know if I can trust you. It's <laughs> so pixelated. Reasonable enough concern. I'm an associate of the great sorcerer Suigen Gamioto. Whoa, slow the fuck down, buddy. What the fuck are you talking about? Suigen Gamioto. Indeed, you must have heard of him. He was recently featured in a magazine. Ooh. Your unfortunate companion there came seeking his counsel not a few days ago. I heard that I learned your name. I thought she would have mentioned me to you, but it seems I was presumptuous. That was two or three days ago. I'm not buying. He knows I don't know who he is, so he's just trying to feed me a story. It's I, She totally went to see him. <laughs> Seems interesting visual style. Yeah, it really does. It's still... <laughs> Like, it's a little pixely, but overall, for sure, it, it, it's 
It's very well presented. Parents are more than trustworthy. Bullshit. <laughs> talk more. Let's talk about Yoko. I don't know. It wasn't you who did this, which is actually pretty. That's a pretty reasonable. If you're hoping to trick me into revealing whether I possess a curse stone, I assure you, you cannot. Your curse. I was responsible, no matter what you might tell yourself. It doesn't make sense. I only found it after she died. Uh oh. Don't play dumb. I know you're the one who did this. <laughs> Whatever you choose to believe me is your prerogative or your mistake. Yeah, that's true. You should know that multiple curses awaken at once at the stroke of midnight. There are many other curses in Hanjo, many other curse bearers. Is it not premature of you to assume that I am the one responsible? Wait, so you're saying at midnight a bunch of people became curse bearers? There's a great point in continuing this conversation, because this is... Even if he's full of shit, he's got a much better, much more plausible information than any shit I'm going to get anywhere else. Like, if I'm trying to figure out what happened, what am I going to do? Read a book? I'll ask someone on Facebook. Hey, uh, someone just, like, fucking died in the middle of the playground and then dropped a curse stone. Oh, oh Jesus. It's gotten getting bigger. <laughs> The problem. <laughs> oh, I think you can zoom. Whoa! Whoa! Is that a. Oh, it almost looked like a face in the middle. Yeah, uh, yeah, TCR. That's exactly. That's like a valid concern. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> What's up with that light? I feel like this is kind of important, but this, if I if I go down this dialogue tree, what if I miss out on learning other things? Fuck it. <laughs> What's up with this shit? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? I don't see it. Oh, this bitch. Need to become the mark of another curse bearer. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> that would mess me up mentally. Oh, that would fucking freak me out. It's like It Follows. If you've seen that movie. I'm so convinced it was my curse. Simply that. Uh huh? You believe I just saw your companion move? Gee, what? Don't turn around. Bullshit. What are you doing? Should you not check on her? We want with my curse stone, anyways. I tend to seal it away in a secure location so it may not be used again. I'm certain that you two would rather be free of this burden. Yeah, I'm not fucking with. I'm not fucking turning around. Power to kill without fear of consequence is itself a curse. There are many ne'er do wells in this world who would love that. All the more so if France the chance to resurrect the dead. Steal away how? Put in the care of a sorcerer who's well versed in supernatural matters. If I've gained your trust, I must ask you to hand over your curse. No. What about all these other curse bearers? You know who they are. What would you do with that information? Intentions are nothing untoward, I hope. It is in the hearts of the selfish and insipid of those who would be most tempted by the rite of resurrection that the curses take root. The curses, resentful memories, and part a powerful urge to kill, as I'm certain you're aware. You're a victim of circumstance, but your situation is exceedingly dangerous. You must relinquish your curse stone for your own benefit. Or it's too late. It's already too late. There's no going back. I'll stop you. I take that as a threat. I encourage you to exercise more discretion before you fall foul of a curse. Keep him away forever, I see. Walk away once. So I'm pretty sure... I'm trying not to turn all the way around. I'm out of dialogue, though. He was. I'm taking his eyes off and now he's just staring at me. Maybe if I focus, I can recall something useful. 
Yumi Yumioka, how does he know me? I barely have a life outside of work, I haven't been getting out much. That's it, my work, that's how he knows me. I've never actually met him, so it slipped my mind. Excuse me. Oh, he's the secretary to the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps. Oh, he's a soap man. That means he's slippery. Probably smells really good. He worships the company chairwoman, Natsue Yamamori. Wavering loyalty, with an exact execution of every task given to him. Support, blah, blah, blah. So his mouthpiece and his capacity are known the ire of current president. He has the names facing not only all employees, but also temporary workers, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, he's, so this guy's. I need the life. He's here to clean up, yeah. <laughs> I'm here to clean up messes. It's what I do. Here, can I smell your hair? Weekend Gamioto, my ass. I can figure out helps me out. Yeah, that's true. Can I smell your hair? My ass, I know who you are. Hihaku soaps. Just like me. Oh, I'm a soap man too. Take you long enough. Your lack of company loyalty is frankly astounding. <laughs> oh, Japan. Japanese work culture. I'm gonna reiterate my request. As as your superior, fuck you, buddy. Your secretary. Eat shit. Why is our chairwoman secretary even out looking for coast curse stones anyways? I refrain from revealing myself precisely to avoid those questions. Those needs must blah blah blah. It's the dawn of the Showa era, the land of Hanjo is nurtured, our company's growth, and vice versa. The dumbest is he gives fake name to a co-worker. Well, I had a- it took me a while to, like, remember differently, so, I mean, it worked for a while. <laughs> Plus, he probably thinks I'm a fucking idiot, which... <laughs> he's- <laughs> it's not- it's not the worst bet. <laughs> You're off to work, then good luck. Take care of yourself. Ugh, make that bag. It's our duty to ensure the curses do not take root in this land. I'm not sure I buy that. If anything, it's not it's not a matter that concerns the rank and file. The chairwoman has no desire to spread fear through our beloved company's birthplace. That's all I must insist you can be cursed up. Running out of options here. I gotta apologize in advance because I'm about to look around and something bad might happen if, when I do. <laughs> that light that was over here has disappeared. Yoko. She didn't look any different. Ah! Oh, that thing we knew that was going to happen, happened. Gosh diddly darn it. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. My, my, Otter, you know, you seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. Mere conjecture, but perhaps you ought to be more careful. Dude, I, I'm going to slap this guy. I'm going to steal his hat and... Flush it down the toilet. As many attempts as you please from before your unfortunate mishap. Whatever you do, don't turn around. What? Got it. I know I can convince him to leave. If I turn around, but oh, when I turn around, it auto zoomed on her, didn't it? I was gonna say, what if I turn around and don't look at her? He really does think we're stupid. I mean, we are. This guy is kind of stupid. <laughs> Vince him to leave. Okay. Oh crap! I forgot. What is it? And over Cursed Stone. 
Something just came up. Oh yeah, I called an ambulance. I don't think that would matter. Turn around, bright eyes. I just hand it over. The ambulance thing? Yeah, that might be plausible. <laughs> Something just came up. Should I do it? Should I fuck? I'm gonna fuck it up. Here you go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Something just came up. How would that help? <laughs> Pull yourself together. <laughs> Alright, I forgot to mention, I called an ambulance. It's taking way too fucking long, but yeah. You lost your mind. I arrived to find you standing next to a corpse alone in the dead of night. I'm gonna hand you over to the police. We'll have some questions. Probably gonna be sticking with Yoko. Unless you want to join me in an interrogation room, you better get out of here. I'm telling the truth, I see they're getting closer by the second. But he's probably smart, and he knows if he leaves, then he's gonna regret it. <laughs> oh yeah, Fallen, it's really good so far. I'm, I'm really digging it. Pivot <laughs> soon. I cannot afford to be waylaid at this juncture. I fear I must take my leave. Use it! Fuck you, buddy! Gook. Jogo Ohie, you dare. Yeah, that's right. Gah. He's dead. He's really dead. Oh, we just fucking drowned him. Gonna get fired, probably. <laughs> uh oh. The curse stone of it's one percent. Are you kidding me? That was two people. And he was a st he was a fucking curse stone owner, probably, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Who calculates that? Who decided it was one percent? Well, bad for leaving, but I can stay there. Emergency medical services will take care of her body in Takumi's. I'll be over the news tomorrow. She'll be in a safe place. Right, my next sacrifice quickly as a death note. The other curse bearers and collect their souls. Telling Takumi, to, yeah, I didn't do shit. You see, mustn't have been a curse bearer after all. Whoa, it's little more than leftover breadcrumbs. Activate around midnight. The others are bound to be active still. Just check to see if there are any other places the connection to the mysteries nearby. Or at least another curse bearer might be thinking the same as me. You need to run into them. This is scary. <laughs> this is like, uh... What is it? What are those games called where, like, you have, like, one team of people who are trying to get to from point A to point B, but then you have another team whose job it is to, like, capture them as they're trying to, uh... Fuck, what are they called? Sonic Heroes? No, like... I did it once in college where, uh, the, the end zone, the finish line, was a big fountain in front of the Fine Arts Building... And then it started uh, across town, and like yet yeah, we had yeah, the idea was that everyone has to like sneak across town and not get caught by like the the catcher team or who are like people on bikes with flashlights and stuff like that. And yeah, it's uh, there's a name for it. I don't know what it's called. I don't know why this is giving me that vibe. Sneaking around at night trying to find the other people. Only did it once, it was fun though. I was with a group of like two or three other people, and we won because we snuck through a cemetery. <laughs> that was like way out of the way. <laughs> and approached the fountain from behind the school, it was pretty sweet. Oh yeah, and you have an hour to do it. It's like a whole thing that everyone has to set up. You gotta get a lot of people involved. It's kind of like Capture the Flag, but like, it's just... I don't know. Fuck, I wish I could remember what it was called. A 
I'm in the Kinshicho area. Haunting clappers are over close by. The foot washing mansion. I don't want to go there. Burning lantern. Well, the ever burning. Where was that? The the will o' wisp thing was close by. Which, by the way, I kind of hate that we're just that that just fell off because that was a problem. <laughs> We were getting stalked by a ghost. The the guy even made mention of it, like, oh, you're someone else's target already. Like, that's a problem. I have beef with that. Got murder route. My big dumb head's in the way. Think items or move. First stone. We got the fish stone. We got the fishy fish. We're an otter. We got the fish. Oh, I gotta get my hand tracking working again. I'll try to remember to do that later. First stone of the Whispering Canal. Actually, let me get a tab open so I definitely remember. Getting a murder out. Yeah, pretty quickly. The first stone of the Whispering Canal. Currently 1% filled. If he has another stone, he has a perfect strat to up his score. Well, what do you mean? This is already pretty good. I'm not sure if some of these other curses are very intimidating. Not, I'm not too worried about a bloody foot. Or like, a big tree. <laughs> a big evergreen tree. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah, tell it. Split. Recommend just splitting up. Yeah, this one, this one's honestly like this one's strong. Let the other souls and bring Yoko back to life. This is this is just Shadow of the Colossus. You gotta find the other Colossi. The bridge one is scary, so we're not gonna do that one. Can we do the foot? South Wari Gesui. <laughs> the Street Fighter breaststroke. Okay, here's the foot mansion. Moku Bridge and Hanji Bridge are nearby. Bri I don't want to fuck around with any bridges. Bridges are like the scariest place for a curse to happen. Okay, now, well, that's where we are. A one sided read, that one's fucked up. Oh, that might have been the other uh, part one. Mark vibes. Yeah, I actually played that game. That one was pretty good. It was kind of repetitive, and it was like super. First of all, it was. I remember it being way too fucking. It was like a sixty dollar game, and it was just like an, in a linear visual novel, a lot less experimental than this. But yeah, it's it was pretty good. Bridge. Oh, the clappers. Oh, I'll deal with that. I don't want to deal with that yet. Yeah, let's go to the fucking. Go here. This can't possibly all take place in one night, can it? Foot washing mansion and the ever burning lantern are in this area. Ah, the dark. Yeah. Could this be. Darkness, the work of a curse. I already fulfilled its conditions to kill. Can we get out of here? Nah. Last midnight, still oddly dark. 
Oh, hello. There's something there. It's a guy with his fucking head chopped off. It's a fucking stand. Approaching it would be stupid. Oh, I can't. I can't turn around. I can't look any different than here. So it's just this one guy. Okay. Get closer. Fuck it. Oh, it's the guy who Harry carried. Get, don't get that close. He's pulling me in. Inside a building. I see squat. They got me. This has to be the work of a... Uh, <laughs> this must be the work of an enemy stand. Got me here. I should be glad they haven't killed me yet. I can't see anything. Yeah, yeah, it's jo it's fucking JoJo. No clothes, there's no window. Ah! Oh my god, all I did was wiggle a mouse around. <laughs> ah, my stomach, it's ripping apart. Ah, I got Schlorfold or Orfold. <laughs> Ever burning Shogun. There's something about the pesky darkness. Yeah, yeah, I know how it works. Oh, they're telling me to fuck off for now because I don't have a light. Okay, so I probably can't do this one yet. One was the clappers and one was... The reeds, I think? Yeah, I can't believe he doesn't have, like, a, a light source. Maybe it is the 70s and he doesn't have a cell phone. But that's what we need. We need a beckoning light. Clappers are at Shimoku. I want to go to the foot washing mansion. I want to go get a fight with the foot. What are my options again? Shimoku or Hanji? I'm bad at, like, remembering names of other... Of like names in other cultures, other languages. Oh geez, that's the beckoning light. Clappers with the other one. Let's do this one first. Do the Well, we need a flame, so that seems appropriate, right? Oh, there's just a guy right here. Oh, that's a fucking stand user. Standing there, silhouetting themselves. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Fine, I'll go first. Oh, he's he's gonna fucking hit. He's hitting on me. Whoa! DAC. The surprise. Full horse, yeah. Who are you? Got the wrong guy to say so. <laughs> Whatever. He's, he's trying to be mysterious. He, he really wasn't. Like, the instant he detected me, he was just like, hi! Industrial district. There's a temple. No one's around. It's past two in the morning. I cannot move uh, the camera. Oh no, it won't hurt to tell me your name. Yeah, this guy's this guy is here to cruise. I'm Shogo. 
careful stop wise to give people give strangers your name dude you asked and i don't give a shit i think this is the 70s because i don't think it's really that dangerous to tell your name to strangers anymore like who gives a shit Yeah, he, he had a whole, like, mysterious intro planned. Okay, I, I see your point. Someone's curse is activated if they know your name. I don't think any of the literature that I've read would suggest that. Like, none of the, none of the mysteries were very... ...namely. Let's see what if the flame is benevolent. Gone is the age when might made right. Nowadays, it's information that rules the world. That was true even in the 70s. You do well to remember that. You're the one who asks. Name, your address, phone number, age, occupation. Your personal information is more valuable than you think. This guy's gonna invent Facebook. You're not gonna tell me either, right? <laughs> You can call me Richter Kai Private Detective. Okay, that explains a lot. Dude, he's a fucking stand user. Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. That's correct. My man who deals in secrets. Expect me to share more information, though. I only told you so we can have an understanding. Eccentric man. There's a detective here. Working! Okay. Seems like a strange place to stop. What brought you here? Saw a strange man. Owned. See, let me ask a different question. Why'd you go out of your way to strike up a conversation with that strange- I didn't! He's the one who started it! I'm looking for someone. It's my wife. Her name's Mary. Yeah, isn't this guy a freaking weirdo? Avoid <laughs> this guy. He's trying to get me all mix mixy mixed up. Help you, blah, blah, blah. Grab the person you're looking for. Looking for the beckoning light. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I said person, but I'm looking for this beckoning light. Aha, the seven mysteries of Honjo. A friend of mine was really into that kind of stuff. The beckoning light appears here in the middle of the night. I want to see for myself. Really, you're the adventurous type, aren't you? Actually, I think you're out of luck. I've been here a while, but I haven't seen any strange lights. Wait a second, there's still time left for it to appear. Why don't we wait together? Oh, that's that's his that's his stand power. If he can convince you to stay, then he can kill you. <laughs> Erica, it couldn't be more help. He's a flamboyant fellow. Yeah, this is a stand user. Ben Island if there's an inner city, but he stands out like a sore thumb in these parts. Okay. I don't I don't know much about Tokyo, but are they, they just don't dress. You dress like weirdly out here, then you're a freak. Is that what it is? Do you have a light on you? No, I wish I did. No, I'm not a smoker. Oh no, this will do nicely. Are you sure? What? Just get back to work once you're gone, of course. Is there a reason I can't be here? Of course, my work is top secret. I'm a detective. Seeing something. Asking. It's thus as fuck. Yeah, look at this. Look at this slanted fedora. Yeah, I think he's so cool. I really don't. I think I can do anything. The ends are stone, the middle steel. Yoko River is a canal. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm here looking for like a cursed object and this this detective's just hanging out here at two in the morning. Like, we we know he's up to something, but I don't think we're gonna find out yet. Okay, we're gonna move in a second. Let me just check something. I think I might have had a package delivered. Probably something to play with the later. False lights, but yeah, I, I will, we'll, we'll probably find out later. I heard this last night. Yeah, it's really good so far. Really digging it. Okay, fine, we'll go to the scarier bridge. Lighter, which is what we needed. Should we go light that guy's cigarette, or should we go get in trouble back in South Waragesui? I want to learn more about that guy. We'll light his cigarette, and then he'll tell us what's happening. Are you gonna be a, pr a private detective and look like this? Like he stands out like a sore thumb. I hope this activates his curse. Ah, he won't let me do it. Speaking of death mark, because it's come up. I oh, just list Square Enix as the developer and publisher. Who did Deathmark, was it? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, this is, oh so Deathmark was by Axis, huh. That's interesting. I played that four years ago. This fucking weird thing is still here. Yeah, where's the little Jojo ominous uh, insignia thing in the lobs? Debated, debated. What the? Something. Drat, he's got a light that ruins everything. Are you a curse bearer? It's over time to get out. Fuck you. Oh, what the hell? Holy fuck, that guy was worth a lot. You have light and darkness. You have a burning lantern? The connection between the seven mysteries and the way their curses work. Yeah, I mean, that should be obvious, right? Mm. 
Here's a question. Why is that guy uh, killing himself? The beckoning light. Like, we didn't see a lantern light. We just saw a guy, like, a, the fucking ghost of a guy committing suicide. The lantern different one. Oh, duh. Why did I got these mixed up? Because they're really similar. Kind of the same thing though. This is about a soba cart with a lantern that lights forever, and no one works there. to the guy that I might have killed. Hello? I'm so confused. Ghost Soba. Be good. Spooky Soba. still have some. I didn't, I didn't get anything. Like, I know the guy died, but like, where? <laughs> All that shit happened, and we can't examine any of it. All we can do is leave. Oh, I can, I've expanded. Procession. Wolf procession. Which one was? Oh my god. Boricho Park. When do we get to go to the Foot Mansion? Oh, it's the Taiko. Oh, we should go there. Sugaru, one of the mysteries, and there's two guys who are out here cruising. One middle aged, the other young adult, talking to each other. One of them could be a curse bearer. Watch them for a while. Let's be here, Mount Seed, one boss. Curse you good, the dawn. We need to get ahead of ourselves. Moving before the night's done. Can I buy this tree? Uh, what happens if they see me? Should I let them see me? Talk about the curse. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna let him find me. Who's there? Irk. Oh, they're copperinos. Okay. Aha! People often say we don't look it. Sorry if we startled you. Oh, well, that's okay. No problem. We have to ask you some questions. Is a procedure? Whatever. Scenario, blah, 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 blah. Newbie detective. Why is he doing that shit with his lips? Why does he look like that? Looks like the the convenience store. Uh, TDR, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
It's like the... From the convenience store video. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard to find now. Okay, hold on. Oh god, we got we're we're going down. We're getting distracted real quick. For a good reason. heard this song song about people are bored and they go to a convenience store yeah it's an old novel this is 14 years ago oh my god Oh yeah, they're talking about like there's gangsters hanging out in front of the convenience store. This is a parody of an original song. This is not the original. But uh, the relevant part. <laughs> you know what, let's just watch the whole thing, it's not long. Oh yeah, and there's an old man in the back reading porn magazines. I don't remember what this part is. That's okay. <laughs> this is this is what I was thinking of. <laughs> This guy and this guy. <laughs> it's a damn good match, don't you think? Get changed for this. <laughs> Some great art. Convenience store. Is this the original? There's a there, and there's so many other ones. There's <laughs> Gardevoir Go. There's Sonic. There's the original Undertale. Guilty here. See, this is the whole thing. Okay, Eng English subtitles at least. Does this, does this one have subtitles? This is 
incredibly well baked. This is the most deep fried video from 2009. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's an old guy reading dirty magazines. Okay, where's the... Yeah, I got this, I have to do something. Yeah, that's a convenience store. Remember, that's that's how they start. Is they're just literally like. It's just late night and we're bored. Let's go hang out at the convenience store. Anyways, yeah, there were a million parodies. I don't know why, but it is what it is, and that's that's what brought us here. Here, that, that was quite a swerve, but yeah, it's pretty good, right? It's fun. There's 80,000 parodies. Uh, I would be happy to watch more, but right now I'd really want to keep going with this. Oh, music. Japan Smash Mouth All-Star. I think it was a popular thing on image boards for a bit. It's a lot of... Uh... Oh yeah, go to, uh, go to like Walmart <laughs> if you're bored. Ugh. You're gonna quit blabbering, veteran detective. He's the guy reading the pervy magazines in the convenience store. I'll leave the questions up to him. Why does he look like that? I can't believe this. <laughs> what the fuck? First, can you show me some ID? Okay, I'm better just go along with it. Wow, you work for Hihaku Soaps. I hear they've been raking it in lately. Why would, like, I guess. I'm doing the opposite of what the private detective said to do. I bet they're gonna fucking kill me now. People are loving that new hair product. I use it all the time. Yeah, I bet you do. Thank you for your patronage. Use hair products? <laughs> Give it the times, boss. Guys nowadays all use these things. Isn't that right, Mr. Okie? Sure. Yeah, we make men's cosmetics. You yeah, look at that scowl. Look. <laughs> he's a fucking look. He's got the fucking Kratos scowl. <laughs> I can't believe I have to partner with this this little this little asshole. <laughs> Using men's hair products. I can't believe they let these people on the force. What a time we live in. <laughs> Look how mad he is. Sorry, boss is a caveman who thinks using a bar of soap for all his washing makes him cool or something. I don't think that I don't care enough to use anything else, yeah. <laughs> Want this twink obliterated, yeah. You have all-in-one soaps for just that purpose. There's plenty of people like you. Ah, hear that? You should have more of those. Aren't you riled up? Not other detectives. They're not investigating the corpse that was here, are they? Fine, as long as your curse could show up as evidence in a police investigation. I just don't panic. Oh, wait, shit. It's probably the same. 
Wait. Here, they're not their cursed bears. The two of them, the bear could be either one. Could the other already be aware? They did say something about the curse while we were approaching. Is the area the younger or older guy? This guy. Fresh faced. <laughs> okay. I'm just a grumpy old man. I have to get them both. Leaving one alive would be too risky. I don't know if I can use the curse on two people at once if they both leave. Why not? I think the geezer seems pretty. Well, I'm sure some people do. Mmm, <laughs> look at him. Always managed to detect as blunt and aggressive, but there's some pleasant ones too. Damn. Shogo's not after... He's not trying to hit up... Get, get it on with Yoko. Just trying to get it on with this guy. Okay, what is it you're doing here? Uh, looking for the seven mysteries. Oh, you just spilled it out. Have you heard of them? Yeah, I've heard of them. We were just talking about them a minute ago. The girl I know is into them. That's how I got interested. I can remember even Midoricho Park had one of the mysteries. What was it again? It was the Taiko. I'm just gonna... Spell it out. I, are, I know. I know the whole, whole deal. Hi, Silfco. Wait, Silfco rival? Does that mean a, a, a competing company against Silfco? Or are you like Gary showing up in Silfco to fight? Foot washing. Maybe this is a cigar or a clan of samurai. That's a song from DDR. That's where you're hanging around. NPC. Wait, so is that not Gary Oak? Gary fucking Oak. <laughs> Love that guy. That's where you're hanging out around in the middle of the night. Go for anything interesting? Well, not yet. That's why I'm here. I'm here for the discovery of things. I understand your situation. Thanks for your answers. It's late, so go home. Fuck you. I don't have to. I can't believe he's still making that fucking face. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I'm taking a screenshot. Excuse me. So if you text us around, does that mean something happened here? Well, we are investigators, so it is indeed related to a case. Don't worry, there's no threat to civilians. We'll be here a while longer looking into things. We can rest easy. Not helpful. I'll we'll be... What? I don't want to go. Look at this guy. Intimidating as I expected. Go in here. Go away. You guys are not helpful. I'll be back later. I guess we're going to Komagata High School. Well, that's not good. Not being a threat to civilians. Well, I mean, I would imply that means, like, all non-cops. I mean... I don't know. I guess the implication is that there still could be some danger, but it's nothing for us to worry about. It's something for them to worry about. There's someone there. Uh, what the? Ouch. Are you okay? Uh. Ooh, ah. Just climb over the school gate. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk. Cop killing NWA curse. Yeah, well, if we gave this our curse object. If, uh. If, like, fucking. Any member of NWA was here. Then yeah, I, I I would hand over my my cursed object. Kill eight people, then met your first danger. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> you only needed to kill what we got thirty percent off of one guy, so we need four total, I guess. And it's like 
like you know it's, it's, yeah if we went around killing like 99 other people it's like oh you could have just killed like four people instead of 99 people so the surround up oh, shit full gates closed the former site of a daimyo's residence where you encountered the fool's procession fool's procession being a bunch of Tanuki's playing, you know, jamming out. Uh, it was a very, it was a quick encounter that we didn't get to see at all. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm a little miffed about that. 33, uh, keep track of, like, the latest dates that they reference, because we still don't know when this exactly takes place. Plagued by delinquency. My staff turnover. Yeah, why are you at school? Really sorry, I'm in a big hurry, so I gotta go. You can use the curse right away. That seems like a... That seems like kind of a fucked up thing to do to someone you literally just met. Oh my god. I don't think I can do it. I mean, I don't think I should do it. <laughs> is there a, is this for like the genocide ending? Hey, wait. Huh? Ah, curse. Blah, blah, blah. Why? Can't be, ah, uh, Mio, I'm sorry. Oh, someone else did it? Uh-oh. Well, it wasn't me. That. <laughs> did you just fucking leave? First stone of the Whispering Canal. Wait, I didn't kill her, though. I didn't hit the thing. What? No, I didn't press that. What the fuck? I made sure not to press that. Okay, now I'm a little a little miffed. What the fuck? Why is he so cheerful about this? Yeah, I, like, I don't get what happened. Like, she walked away and it just did it on its own, but then he acted like he did it, even though he didn't, because I didn't. We're in the gardens. We're gonna look at this stupid tree. Snuck in, because no one's here. What do I do about this? Yeah, well, like... Oh. Hello. So if you decide what you're gonna do with your curse object. Oh, so precious. Look at those lips. <laughs> Game is literally just like you decided what you're gonna do with your curse objects. I'll be all little down here. Oh no, what's my normal size? Yeah, about there is good. So I called out. Yeah, hello. Oh, now she's back here? 
I've been waiting for you. I have a curse stone. I have you in a position where I can use my curse on you whenever I please, okay? If you hand over your curse stone, I will at least spare your life. <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> Looks like Mary from Silent Hill 2. In her 30s, refined air about her. Since Shadow. She's full of shit. I bet she's full of shit. Did I expose myself somehow? Yeah, idiot. I'm not very good at this stand stuff. You have bluffs when she seems like information. Can't hand over my cursed stone to figure out how it's activated and get out of here. Tell me you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. I might hand over my stone, depending on certain things, if you'll hear me out. Sure. Fuck, <laughs> we should get to know each other better. <laughs> She's like, stop that hostage negotiation bullshit, we're not doing this dance. Not do that, all right. I know your name. I might start to feel sorry for you. Yeah, she knows. I have a harder time killing you. You would, don't you think? Seven. Seven. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> if you take my curse stone. What are you gonna do with it? Your curse stone. Rimming with soul dregs, isn't it? I've already killed so many, you know? She knows so much. I to avoid such crude methods. Six. Oh, she's counting down to something. Uh-oh. Where's that option? Can we do that? Come on. This is a, what a cowardly game. Just location. Here's what activated the curse of the Evergreen Beach. I'll continue to meet that condition as long as I'm here. Yeah, there's no escape. Oh, is that what we're doing? We're supposed to trigger it, that way we know what's happening. And then there's a whole meta aspect where we're going to get sent back in time from the overseer who's involved in the plot somehow. And not just a part of the, the meta narrative. Which would be very, uh, 999 VLR kind of thing to do. Up on your shadow to trigger theirs. There's a... what was that JoJo stand? Uh, the one by the creepy pedophile guy. In... Part 4, I think? No, Part 3. One of those. Yeah, it was Part 3. Because it was, uh... Jotaro, right? Anyways... Yes, it could be something like that. Soul Dregs means you're after the right of resurrection. I'm trying to compare circumstances, but what led you to this? Oh my. I guess it's more dire than yours. Curse Stone? Or I'll consider it. Liar. You wouldn't hang your fate on something as superficial as that. Or would I? Five. Damn it, she is counting down. That's, that's the creepiest part of this conversation is the countdown. Holy fuck. I'm gonna keep going. I bet she's just gonna kill me when she ends it or something. Just tell me your name. Why? I'll call you something. Call me ma'am. Hey, ma'am. 
Yes, what is it? Four. Yeah, that whole episode was pretty awful. <laughs> Like, I remember watching it with friends, and they were like, ah, oh, most people like skipping this one, because it's just full of, like, incredibly creepy, uncomfortable shit that, like, doesn't fit the atmosphere of the rest of the show. And I thought they were being a little, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I thought, I thought they were being a little excessive, but no, it's pretty fucking bad. Yeah, we're hey hey Punchy, we're talking about JoJo, <laughs> by the way. Didn't realize this was a JoJo game. Hi everybody. We're we're deep in the weeds. We we've been caught by a stand user. She's uh she's counting down. We're down <laughs> We started with seven and I was very Oops. Was it sorry seven? Five or four. Yeah, it's shit's, shit's happening. We like, I I'm ha I have beef with something because I tried not to kill someone and then it killed them anyways. And there's a whole lot of shit flying around that I don't understand, but it's it's happening. It's been really good so far. I'm really liking this. Oh gosh, who knows? But yeah, in in short, we have we have a we have a cursed object that. Uh, gives us a stand if, if anyone's familiar with Jojo and now we're fighting other stand users and whoever wins gets to bring someone back to life soul drags seal the ones others have gathered because you want to get your own hands dirty you're half right I was talking about your the first of all the outfit but also the rest of the demeanor kind of reminds you of Mary from Silent Hill 2 Trouble, da da da. Three, there it is. <laughs> He's counting down to something. And it's creepy as hell. Bring someone to life. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Uh... I don't know, it, it makes everything a lot more complicated. But you know, you haven't already set off a curse. <laughs> Go on, use it. <laughs> if I had, you would have activated it without all that bluster. Yeah, here you are. She's fucking smart. <laughs> this is tricky. Who knows what activates it? She wouldn't hide it. You know what activates it? She would mean, set it off yourself. You must not know yet. I still have a chance. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Talking like this instead of killing you immediately. It's just a whim of mine. What I mean to say is that you were never in a position to bargain. Two. <laughs> we're getting. I want to finish the countdown so bad. I want to keep delaying it. My son. Oh, okay. You'd be in sixth grade now. <laughs> Thank you for dropping a pie on my head just as things got sentimental. You're still alive. Uh, I'm one of the big kids I'll help look right after the first and second graders, he'd say. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't see shit. He'd always had a strong sense of justice and responsibility. He wouldn't stand by when he saw other kids bullied. He'd defend them even if he was no match come home in tears, but only because he was sad he wasn't strong enough to save others. He wanted to be a policeman. Okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> I've heard enough. Oh, that's enough for you? Yeah, I'm hearing such a sad story just makes me all the more sorry that I haven't changed my mind. I will wear my hats with pride. Oh, my three, three pie hats, damn it. And after what I told you, one. Okay, here we go. Had enough. Two curse bears. Shouldn't be carrying on like this. Zero. Such a shame. This is the end for you. I implore you to reconsider. 
Do it, do it, do it. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, we're being set on fire. Uh. <laughs> Who the fuck did that? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the... Oh, the detective. What's he doing here? Oh my god. Everything went to shit. I was... Okay, I was talking about a game earlier that I couldn't remember the name of. Uh, it's where you get a whole bunch of people together and it's just two teams. One team is trying to get from point A to point B and point and like the other people are trying to catch them. And we played it in college once uh, where the end point was like the fine arts building and you started on the other side of town and you have to sneak through all the neighborhoods and stuff like that without getting caught. And it's you got like an hour to do it. And the, the catcher team were all people on like bicycles and shit and they got flashlights and if you get caught, you know, you get caught. And this is reminding me of that. We're sneaking around in the night. Trying to, trying to find other people. It's Otter, you know his name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it tried to copy my Steam name for the intro, but it didn't work. Because my, my Steam name is Otter, Otter in a boot and it cut off to just Otter in a which wouldn't have worked. As many attempts as please, da da da. It's all this guy's fault, I swear to god. React for him, yeah, I know. It's it's a it's the meta narrative. Talk to you later. Can see, I am taking this seriously. Okay, hey, we're here in the Yasuda Gardens. The, well, actually, okay. I I will admit that this is the 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 mystery that I did not take seriously because it's the funniest one. Once upon a time, there was a big beech tree. It was so impressive, it became the uh, the residence was known as the beech residence. Somehow, no one had ever seen a single leaf fall from the tree, and it became known as the Evergreen Beach. However, that's because it literally is an evergreen tree. So, there's there's nothing out of the ordinary. This has led people to say that the strangest part of this legend is the fact that it became a legend at all. That's what we're dealing with here. We know that someone's back here, or will be soon. Oh, we're already at this part. Can I just do it? tree growing up, like that one tree. Hey, anyway, I've, I've, there's been some good trees in my day. Oh yeah, we're up to... What? How did we get 67? We were at 30... Wait, okay. We had 30 from the, the lighter in the box or whatever, and then we had... We got up to 36 from the high schooler that wasn't supposed to die but did anyways. I don't know where the 67 percent came from. Oh, it was 36 in it. I thought it went from 30 to 36. Okay. I thought the high schooler was only worth six points. Seems like an awful idea. Wow, 
why he made sure you had it. Had what? The lighter? <laughs> what the fuck did you just do? <laughs> you little bastard. Why well, throw your lighter away? I don't know. Don't like it. Dude, <laughs> she got fucking anime face real quick. the condition of the curse but why how could you I feel like i kind of have to ah! this can't be ah my shoe ichi gained 25 percent yeah she already threatened to kill me and already killed me in another Pipeline. I'm still mad about the high schooler. I was specifically trying not to kill her and it just did it anyways. Okay, so if this is... The progression is also feeling very 999-ish because I'm starting to see the multiple pathways. Uh-oh. I want to look at my items. And I don't have any other curse items, which is bugging the shit out of me. I should be super powered by now. I should have had... Uh... What, it, three additional ones by now? I don't understand. This is a nerd. The curse bear? Oh my... He's doing the fucking glasses thing, I'm so mad. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, woobly legs. Where are we again? We're at the Rio something something something. Mission earlier. I'm awful at remembering names of uh, from other cultures. Oh, is it the Rio the Bridge? Is that where we are? Oh, we're at the Reed, the one-sided Reed. This is a great story. It's very creepy. This guy did not was hitting on this girl and she didn't like it so he chopped off an arm and leg off of one side of her body and now the reeds on that canal only sprout leaves on one side. That is a very cool mystery. This is this might feel like the most realistic like authentic of these. Like that's such a classical like ghost story. <laughs> What's up with these? Look at them legs. Got himself. Well, he does have some legs just chilling there. He seems to be confident here. Even just this horrific fucking Cosby sweater. First bear was trying to pull. Me, he's confident. What's that? Too long to answer. <laughs> oh my god! I'm so mad at the the anime the anime glasses thing. That has to be on purpose. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, now he's all kawaii. Okay. Name's Yutaro Namagaki. My curse is the foot washing mansion. Oh, he got the feet. Well, then what's he. Oh, well, of course he's here for whoever else is here. Oh my god. So this is the. This is. This, this is an anime guy with a foot fetish. University student. Behind the fact that he's a curse bearer. I'm not going to curse first and ask questions later just because we're both curse bearers. I have more class than that. Okay, sure. Hope you're smart enough to extend the same courtesy. Sure. Imagine outing yourself as the feet curse bearer. Yeah, exactly. What if he just showed up and he was just holding like an anime body pillow? I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Look, they're so wiggly. The second oldest of the many bridges spanning the it's not this is so much extra lore. 
monitors either side, and popular locations for street performances, blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's the worst kind of, like, gross anime nerd. He's in... And the worst kind of gross anime nerd is the ones that have, like, the false confidence. Like, the people are going on conventions in the... in the... hentai shirts and shit like that. I'm gonna push this guy in the river. Join forces. Oh. Okay. You're using your curse because there's someone you want to resurrect too, right? In that case, it'd be more effective for two of us to work together. We'd split the work and we'd have two kinds of curses. This is extremely going down the line of thinking that I think TTR mentioned earlier. Where if we team up with someone and just tell them to split up, then we could just kill them immediately. How could he possibly trust me? Yeah, derp, exactly. Like, it's fucking stupid. I'll be honest, there's, cer there's certain types of, like, gross nerdery that was better when people were embarrassed about it, and I wish people would be more embarrassed about it. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay. Thinking things through rationally. Yeah, right. I need to know. How many soul dregs do you have? <laughs> Glasses push every fucking time. Oh my god. I have some, of course. But more than competent, after all. Asking you how many. At 1%, but don't worry about it. My curse is so easy to actually. <laughs> it's okay, so he doesn't have shit. He's killed, what, one person, I guess? I wonder if he's lowballing on purpose because I've killed three people and if the numbers didn't add up like if he also well three three people got me up to 67 plus towards 90 I'm just, I'm just saying like if you had three curse bears and they were all like yeah my stone's at 99% the math wouldn't add up I'm gonna destroy me with facts and logic I'm gonna destroy him with my fucking fists Fuck the curse stone, I'm just gonna punch this guy. I'm gonna kill him with my bare hands. <laughs> but you haven't managed to get any on your own, have you? I'm at 92%. What was <laughs> Excuse me. What? Are you serious? You're not even close to being on my level. Oh, this guy's talking shit. I'm here for it. Keep gathering soul dregs on my own. <laughs> Fuck this, you're incapable. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I call your bluff. I don't think you could scare me off that easily. Oh my god, anime glasses. I don't feel like talking to you. Leave me no choice. Ah! I even gave you a chance to come out alive. Now I'm going to send my legs after you. The voice of the curse echo. Among the seven mysteries, resentful memory. The foot washing mansion is particularly strong. Yeah, this is. Speaking of Silent Hill vibes, is he gonna like have this. Am I, am I gonna get choked out by these feet? Can't block it out by plugging your ears. Da -da -da. So, as soon as you hear the voice of my curse echo, it's the end! Damn it! Oh, come on, you gotta show it at least. Come on. How'd you like it? You made curses that no one else is capable of, do you not? I don't think what? <laughs> what is he talking about? Face to foot style. How'd you like it? Off the curse. Well, I don't have my lighter anymore. Man, whatever. Did he step on you? Yeah, I don't want to know what happened. I don't have many items. Talking about safes coming. Yeah, they they've they've 
hinted subtly at a meta narrative, and it would be a lot more subtle if I hadn't already played plenty of other games that did the same thing. Oh, he's saying it the whole well you should've she should have gone down and looked for look for ghost feet, I guess. <laughs> Oh, does your character kill people? Uh, we can drown them. If they if they leave, like our conversation or something, then we can drown them. It's it's not purely a visual novel, Ouija. There's a little bit extra going on. I'd say it's like someone brought up Deathmark. If anyone's familiar with that, it's like it's visual novel with like light gameplay elements. say you won't run away while we're testing it. Oh, we got the crazy eyes real quick. On oh, yourself. I'm at 92%. What? Oh, we're... Okay, I think we're locked back into the... Okay, whatever. I guess we're doing, uh... The PCR suggestion. That's what I'm saying, Free Zero. Is like, you can't just, like, fade to black. Like, that's lame. Come on. I'm going to toss this guy in the river next. There's a trace of it. Uh, I didn't know about you. Hello. Don't mind me. Itario said he wants to talk. You better answer quickly before you know what. No, we need... Excuse me? <laughs> right, free... Like, like hold, hold the phone. <laughs> I'm gonna say my... The character I'm playing as is not very good at avoiding getting snuck up on. Punchy dance here. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. There's, like, light gameplay elements, and which is mostly street view. Just chilling, okay. Let's talk about that woman there. something new. Oh wait, what do you say? Already learned how to avoid hearing the voice of the curse echo somewhere. I don't think that's necessarily true. I had the move option. I would just leave. You don't want me to hear something. Yeah, right? Like, I don't have... I have... <laughs> I'll, I'll stuff the curse stone into my ear. 92%. I'm so close. It's gonna be the timeline, right? The uh the branching paths. Yeah. 
Oh, cute nerds. Oh, kindergarten kid. Thank you very much. Thanks for the head pats. There was a line earlier about how there's, like, something about petting too many animals or some shit, and it was it was awful. So you're here. Thank you for coming and rectifying the situation. We're here. We're caught in a stand battle. We have a we have spooky ghost stands. Uh, what? We watched the the echo. <laughs> I work for a soap company. Why don't I have any soap on me? <laughs> Can we trade houses? Can I? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm to I'm in, I'm in defeat too, bro. Don't worry. Then he won't kill me. He'll be easy. Still only get these two. I'm checking to see if I don't have the option to do anything else down here as soon as I enter the conversation. like something nearby that you have to be like really careful about noticing and picking up oh does he actually call out uh you've been here several times allow me to <laughs> give you more hints <laughs> if by chance you've forgotten perhaps reading how to play are they going to make me, like, mute voices or something? I'm going to scream. I'm so mad. No saves, changing settings. So meta. <laughs> okay. The theme has no voice acting. Yeah, I was also wondering about that. <laughs> Like, when I very first started the game, like, a little bit in, I was checking through the settings, it's like, no one's spoken yet, so whatever. Let me just go into my into save file dot ini and then set my number of cursed objects owned to seven, and then I'll instantly win the game. I'm gonna set his like his z-axis turn angle to 180 and then that'll turn him around and then I can kill him. Don't understand it. <laughs> Your curse won't work on me, biatch. Get out of here. You son of a... Fine, I'll be on my way. I'll make you regret this. <laughs> Bitch, I'll make you regret this. How is this going to blah 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 blah? Easy.
Now we have 112%. Totally just coincident. Yep, luck's on your side, bro. Check my curse stone. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dog! Story chart, yep, no, oh, it's oh it's fucking nine nine nine. It's the, the flow chart time where you get this way and then you can go this way and then you can go the other way. Yeah, I think it killed me. Well there is a the very beginning, the very, 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 very beginning where the TV tells us that he drowns, I guess. <laughs> Implies that he was killed by the curse stone. Story chart, yeah, let's go. Yep, it's the exact same as fucking 999. I can't believe it. He just tilted it sideways. <laughs> Watch this whole now, yeah, yeah, I know. I know how this works. Not this far. Triggered in Yoko Fukunaga set off that led her to dying the way she did. Later in the voice. Shogo has no way of knowing that. Have you determined how many people Shogo Okiye has killed with this curse? In this timeline, we have killed. Let's see. One. Oh my god, I've already forgotten everyone. There was, oh my god, uh, the co-worker, the, the box guy we never saw. Yeah, that's that's what it's going to hinge on, is the Yoko thing. But at least we know that it was four, and Yoko would be five. And I don't know if Yoko's supposed to be, oh, the twist is that, oh, you killed Yoko yourself somehow. Ah. Yeah, it's it's gonna be four soft parentheses plus yoke. I don't know. It's four, it's one of these two. Fuck you! I didn't kill Yoko. Look, he's embarrassed by my answer. <laughs> Director answers. Oh. Wait, how did he did he word the question as oh how many people Shogo? What if they're just like, oh Shogo killed one on his own and you, the player, Otterino, have killed the other people? Ah, that's that's the gotcha. I don't think that's it, but Oh my god. Ugh, I haven't taken a break, but I really want to continue, so I feel like I should take a break and then continue with this stuff. I wonder what the shatters mean. Oh, there's an alternation where she doesn't die? I think it's the implication there. Listen, we're gonna solve these mysteries in war soon. I'm gonna go uh, run around the house ten times, and I will be back. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the music until then. BRB.
Oh, man, back. The tea refill. We finally have access to alternate timelines. We got some very, uh, talking about Shinji Hosoe earlier, I think, the music for VLR. And this sounds surprisingly similar. I don't know what the difference is here. Aluga. Okay, so we've gone back in time to where this girl. Oh yeah, no, there's like there was no doubt at all that this was gonna turn into a non-linear narrative. So yeah, I think the first time it felt like obvious was as soon as we did like two of the areas. And then the other three open up, it's like, okay, this is segmented in a non-linear, but, like, sort of branching linear narrative. Oh yeah, she's trying to bring back her dog from the dead. And mysteries, it's a rite of resurrection, da da da. Explain the lore behind the rite of resurrection and how to bring people back from the dead. Wait, shit, what just happened? To the unknown, it starts with belief. Is this pet cemetery business okay so quick catch up uh for you people uh we met this girl and she's into this legend of the the seven cursed cursed ob cursed i call i keep calling cursed objects they're cursed uh cursed stones even though this isn't a stone it's a small wooden talisman Midnight on this evening, these seven mysteries, which are all take place around town, they're all little, like, you know, little folklore superstitions, you know, that kind of thing. At midnight, these curse stones were given to seven people, seven in quote, you know, seven-ish. <laughs> Maybe that's not true, because we know that, you know, it's, it's all folklore, so it's all But the point is, a bunch of people got these objects, and they allow you to curse other people, and if you kill enough people with your curse objects, then you can bring back someone from the dead. So, basically, at midnight, a bunch of JoJo's got stands, and now they're fighting, and whoever wins gets to bring someone back to life. And, a, and there's a ver there's a meta narrative going on, and we're we're working on that. <laughs> Yeah, it was her possessed by voices. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm gonna keep yelling her name and I'm just gonna refuse to turn around because I think that's when shit hits the fan.
There's this timeline where you can see that she has been cursed by an object that will kill someone if they try to walk away from you. You can drown them. We got a new 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 goings on to check on. We didn't turn around this time. We just hung out staring at her. Oh yeah, she's totally fine now. Huh? When you're awake. And then in the last like quarter of the game, we're gonna have a I'm not I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with uh Ever 17. But we're gonna I'm sure we're gonna have like a blickwinkle moment where there's someone who's overseeing the meta narrative and is also involved in it or somehow or some shit. <laughs> I guarantee it. Around if you thought you lost it. Are your humors off balance? Who the fuck how is this two people have asked this separately? I'm pretty sure she asked him this. And I was clowning on them for bringing it up. <laughs> yeah, see? What the fuck? Yeah, well, what's up with your humors? Do you have too much lymph? Do we need to do we need to get the leeches out? Glad you're back to normal and not dying on the floor. He's been possessed all along. How did you save her? Uh, I just kept talking to her over and over and over. So I never turned around or, like, did anything. Maybe this place is dangerous. Are you backing out? Yeah, it doesn't feel safe. Let's leave. Come on, just start getting back to normal. Nope, go home. Knock it off. <laughs> and she still wouldn't stop complaining. Like you're at process, I'd search the park on my own. Whoa! Skip all this other shit, okay. Got Yoko and Clawson Miskings. Okay. Interesting. All the way till 5 a.m. What the fuck? Yeah, we just skipped all the other shit. <laughs> None of those other events took place. We just hung out in a park all night. Oh, and he fucking died for it. He fooled. Well, he's a dead normie. Weird how they die sitting up. Blech. Wait, what? We only did one other timeline. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. There were only two timelines. Intro time. Yeah, I'm waiting for uh, for the yeah. GG. Good, good work, team. We we solved the mystery. We saved Yoko and we died for it. In a way, isn't that kind of? It's a self-sacrifice, right? Can't imagine this isn't about to launch into something else. Don't worry. See? Thanks, bro. Oh, we're done with Shogo. Okay. Is this <laughs> where it finally begins? Three protagonists. What? What? Oh, don't make me play as the foot guy. Yes! Alright, 
Onward and upward. Oh, can we not save Shogo? That sucks. Oh yeah, how did they know each other? Yeah, it's easier. I, I've, the people I've talked to have mentioned that this is a... Uh, I think someone I talked to mentioned 100% took like 16 hours or so. So like, this is a full fucking game. Mayu because she... Oh yeah, she had to call out to Mio. Later. Yeah, I can't believe Shogo is just fucking dead. Maybe we can save him later. See if... Somewhere in here we need to convince him to stop being a dipshit and hanging out in the park. Yeah, remember that place where you watched someone get cursed and die? Maybe you shouldn't just, like, stay there for another four hours. Not dreams. Son of Haru Shigima was kidnapped. Watched an investigation involved in the child's murder. Raised her private investigator. Okay, so she hired him to help resolve the case. But okay. Yeah, I I wouldn't be surprised if Shogo's coming back eventually, but we'll see. Maybe not, like honestly. Whoa, whoa. Kill them. Kill them, Jason. Kill them all. Power of the curse stone. We have the haunting clappers. I'm just kill those with fire or fire starting to post. Didn't we die with this? Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's how she killed Shogo in that timeline is because he had a lighter in his pocket. That's interesting. I did not think that was necessarily going to be it. Murderous impulse seeps into my soul like thick black. Yeah, we're fucking... time. <laughs> now, I like the wiggly text. You hear it, curse bearer. You who so strongly desires the right. Kill them. You got it. All right. <laughs> Here I go. a fun switch for the for the narrative. Me, ma'am. Yeah, I just had this sudden uncontrollable urge to set people on fire. Dude. First time I've ever seen you smile. Yeah, I can tell. Look at her. Oh yeah, no, I I I appreciate it. And I, I love speculating, and, and then we can all talk about how fucking wrong I was later. <laughs> That's why far away Shigima. That's why in a manor near Shimoku Bridge. We she was kidnapped and murdered a year ago. The mistake of the part of the detective. Uh-oh. <laughs> we are playing as a detective later, so... Snapper and cut contact. Da, da, da. Incident was covered up. Shuichi's killer remains at large. Oh, even worse. Harway is such a nice thing to say. Yeah. It's, a, it's, an, it's elegant. Human family came from a line of samurai. Whoa. It's, okay. Well, we're getting fucking deep in the lore. Any of the lines from police bureaucrats and senior police officers. Yeah, it's Kiva and Wag. What's up? <laughs> Email line work as police bureaucrats and senior police officers. Shigma. <laughs> the police agency. Adopted into the Shigima clan through an arranged marriage. That is old school. Only really prioritizes work above all else. Long for the marriage grew cold. She wants for nothing, but she's isolated from her neighbors and society. Her son grew into a young man, gave her a purpose in life, but now it's cut short. Spent days in deep depression. 
wandering around in the night. A cheerful disposition faded away. Uh, a few months ago, her husband was transferred to another area for work, and now he really returns home. Uh, oh, and they, and they mentioned a housekeeper. You know who works as a housekeeper? Is uh, Yoko. Yoko the housekeeper. So I'm pretty sure all these people are going to be related somehow. <laughs> We have a private investigator who works for her. We have a chief inspector. They mention, you know, the detective behind that. And then his subordinate, I guess. Uh, university, we don't we don't know much about the foot guy. Uh, Takumi works at the same place as Shogo. And the storyteller, uh, I don't know. Some, maybe it's Yoko's dad, whatever. It's all connected, man. Dreams. We don't want might want to hear about. Thanks. Can't get long last. Talk to Richter Kai, the detective. We're in the middle of a chat when you suddenly started spacing out. You're grinning to yourself like you won the lottery. I was excited at the prospect of murder, of setting people on fire. I wonder how she knew that uh, Shogo had a lighter in his pocket. I wonder if the her her curse stand had that technology. Actually, I'm trying to remember, Richter asked for a light for a cigarette back on the bridge before we met. Uh, Harue, but I didn't have one at the time. And I came back to try to offer it to him, but it didn't let me actually, like, go through with it. Oh, yeah, she just spilled it. Yeah, no no hesitation. The haunting collapse curse echo appeared out of nowhere and told me how to perform the right of resurrection and gave me the curse I need. Yep. I got that. Yep, yep, that's what happened. Find it hard to believe, but I guess I have to. It's his job. I saw that cursed stone appear in your hand myself. Oh, it's a nice little. There's two little keys. No denying that there's a supernatural force at work. Okay. What do you think? Should we test it out? Look at this flower arrangement. Look at this old ass stereo. Holy crap. Oh yeah, we've been talking about when this game takes place and how that hasn't been made obvious. This is like this is this has got to be the seventies or something. <laughs> Where we were reading, uh, Jogo, who is in his twenties, I guess he's late mid late twenties, was born in Western Tokyo around the same time as the birth of color TV. That is not an easy date to nail down. So I guess this it, that would imply like if this was, if you were to imply that the birth of color TV was like maybe the fifties or the sixties, then it would be, yeah, the seventies or eighties. And yeah, that is also a good point. Well, we, I wonder if that updates because in this timeline, uh, maybe we don't have that information. Like we have our own. She has, hers isn't listed. His what's his face is still listed. Okay, we got the. It's it's the only one listed. Besides our own. We don't know shit. <laughs> fax machine. Most houses don't have a fax machine. That's true. Rotary phone. She doesn't know a whole lot about her surroundings. The latest gadgets, okay. We've had this for a long time. It's kind of a melancholic thing to say. Only thing in here that's my choice.
yeah, it's it's hard to when they don't give you concrete details. It's like roughly seventies. You know, no one has no one's pulling out cell phones. They're taking a cab to move around. You can not get it by having Yoko survive. Well, yeah, Yoko survived in the other timeline, and Shogo died, so of course neither of them have the curse item, because one is dead and one never interacted with it. Right, Richter Kai. It's about evidence and it's about belief. It's more than that, it's about revenge. Uber shitty in Japan. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine they have a strong market in places with, like, actual good transit options. Right ahead, you just knew. It was etched onto my soul along with the curse's resentful memories. I feel it. Whoa, whoa. All wiggly wobbly. Wreathed in flame. Anything in pain as my flesh blackens and my blood boils. I can feel it. Yoko might have unintentionally killed Shogo. Yeah. Or she's like, hey, just go ahead and leave me, and then he fucking dies. Oh, oh, she's horny for it. All the agony and rage, it fills me with bloodlust. Yeah, she's into it. <laughs> I think I need to kill someone. Anyone will do, it's cool. <laughs> be a problem. Probably shouldn't tell that to a detective. What I know of you, I'm sure you'd see it as an opportunity. The stronger it is the desire to resurrect someone, the stronger the urge to kill. That's how it seems to me anyway. Good grief, talk about a spanner in the works. We take stock for a moment, remind ourselves where we've come from, where we're going. You okay? Yeah, I know, but even if he's a PI, that's still probably a not a good thing to confess to someone. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to look at this. Goodness, you made me jump. It's a silly little sticker my son got. Oh, it's a... Is that a chicken in a student outfit? It's the head hensho from way back in set number one. It's a collector's item. What? This is music. I'm waiting for it to zoom in more so I can take a screenshot. That's nice and big. Okay. Here are the mockingbirds. The the who the what name? Cute little birds dressed up like delinquents. Yeah, it's uh it's fucking uh Cromarty High School chicken. Okay. Never heard of them, but okay. Nobody knows who made them. They just started showing up around town, and now they've won everybody's hearts. I can see why he's a cute little guy. They're made by an anonymous artist who covertly leaves them in specific locations. No one knows when or where. I'm kind of an urban legend. I think what would turn up here? This is a good sign. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, they're oh no, are these collectibles? Oh no. Shit. Oh, there's so many. <gasps> this one has a pompadour? Oh my god, I have to find them. I must know more. Oh, they all have. Pompadours, okay. Oh, there's 20. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, this is this is for the hundo. In the right place at the right time. Ooh, okay. They, sh they should actually sell these, because they're fucking really cool, actually. Look at him. He he's got little glasses. Oh, was there a hint? Uh... Oh yeah, look up at the first house, late night on the way home, sell, jackpot, yeah, 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 okay. Got it. Well, that's fun. Hired me for a man to look at your son's kidnapping, cover the truth. Here to find the one who did it. I'm here about 
Turning over every last stone, I've come up with a grand total of one lead. <laughs> he's, he's very theatrical. He did the build-up. As far as the police are concerned, cold case. Tell me. Some of these confuse the shit. I mean, do you mean the some of the chicken designs or Jigima kidnapping? Kidnapping's a lot of an extortion scheme. So it was a ransom kidnapping. Please. Quickly assume the perpetrator is acting upon a grudge. Kidnapping was treating treated as a direct attack on the good name of the police. Best equipment available to trace phone calls. See, they keep dropping these little baby hints at when this might take place. Like, I'm sure if we look up the history of phone tracing, like, maybe we'll nail it down a little further, but whatever. Culprit. Trace failure. Fire way reached breaking point. Solve the hand over the ransom money as fast as possible. Husband refused. Granted the test because the case lost its temper. And we'll call to give an ultimatum. And the culprit to never make contact again. Another week passed, and Shuishi's body was found floating in the Sumida River. Oh, the bird locations are abstract. I gotcha. It, it didn't seem like they're hints, but they're mysterious hints. You know, I'm sure, like jackpot. I want a jackpot. That could mean a lot of things. Right, so botch kidnapping, got it. By botch, I, it's botched in the sense that the person fucking died. Oh, we got a picture. We set up Harway. It's just brave. Young boy, blah blah blah. Born in the early 70s. Uh, died 12 years ago. So we are in the 80s, right? He was tw he was eleven, I think they mentioned when he died, and he was murdered a year ago. So we're twelve years past his birth. Yeah, they don't even give him question marks. I'm sure if he was alive today, he would love to commit creative murder. That's what the true detective story is. That's what the final boss of this game is going to be: is finding out what year this takes place in. <laughs> We gave you all the clues. Now it's time to solve the mystery. When does this take place? <laughs> Actually, what was the thing about the stickers? His tendency to put other people's needs over his own meant he died without ever telling his classmates. How much he longed for them all to go out on a hunt for Mockingbird stickers. 1984? It's plausible. Figure out exactly what you want me to do. Why don't you, I tell you, I found, and we can make a decision. That'd be everything is a time loop territory. <laughs> really, how meta can we get? The kidnapping. Oh, I'm very familiar. I'll leave that for the files and confirm a few things. Please trace the culprits. Calls back to. Northern Oyoko River, here in Sumida City, quite a wide area. And they never managed to nail down exactly where they were coming from. It's almost certainly the same location she was being held. Voice can be heard during the killer's calls. The river is quite a distance from Shuichi's normal commute. After he was seen at school but went missing before he arrived at his house, likely he was abducted by a car on his route home. Actually, Shuichi was clever. Or gotten into a car with a stranger. Possibly forced him into the car. The only issue is there weren't any witnesses. Can't bundle someone into a car with that many students around and not be noticed. One came forward. Did they target him at some other time or somewhere away from his usual route? Both of those seem a little far-fetched. Raises the question, how did the kidnapper pull it off? Police never answered that. The kidnapper might have gotten lucky. We can turn the problem on its head. 
can never manage to convince Shuichi to get into their car, but how? I think it makes sense to me. If they were somebody that he would have a reason to trust. Teacher or relative or someone else who knew. Everybody knows his alibis. Please check them all thoroughly. What if those numbers are a problem like the cops? But what if it wasn't somebody new? Or rather, what if the culprit disguised themselves as the police officer? Yeah, I was thinking like it could be like a disguise. What if a stand user <laughs> has a disguise stand? It's uh oh my god. What shit, what was that JoJo uh Oh my god, those stupid brothers uh, with the, the big fucking hat and the one that can like disguise himself. Okay, if someone out there is going to know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Boingo Boingo! Yeah, that was them! <laughs> yeah, the Oingo Boingo brothers. That might be my favorite set of characters in the whole series. Those guys were great. You have all these close sides of the police. Yeah, if there's a problem with the theory, you'd be surprised much police officers stand out. There has to be a visible deterrent against crime. Oh, let's keep going. There's another interesting little bit of trivia I happen to know. The episode with Whole Horse working with the younger brother. Wait, how so? I forgot how that one worked, but you don't. I guess we don't have to spoil it for other people if, if that's a concern. But forget what happened. <laughs> Ask people to imagine someone suspicious, someone pictures women or children. And kids who have been warned about stranger danger often subconsciously expect that danger to look like an adult man. Besides, Shuichi was a boy who wanted to be a police officer. He must have had a very strong sense of right or wrong. Clearly, you can't mean. Now you're getting it. If you say a young woman approached Shuichi asking for help, what would he have done? Someone like that said they were lost and asked for directions, but he'd gotten into a car. He might have? I wasn't told him that a man had a duty to watch out for women and children. I'd certainly argue that kind of attitude is outdated nowadays, but if Shuichi believed it, we might have something here. You think the culprit was a young woman? It was a man's voice on the phone. Could have been an accomplice, or she didn't realize she's being used. Anything to explain why she didn't come forward. Might not realize she had anything to do with the case. He's like, he's, he's on a fucking roll here. All right, now it's like every time it gives you the opportunity to look around, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wiggle around in my seat a little bit. Then we'll keep going. Did anybody see Shuichi speaking with the young woman on the day of his disappearance? By the way, this is all so far removed from what we've been doing in the plot so far. This is completely fucking different, but it's engrossing. <laughs> People's biases that goes for witnesses, and I figured that maybe if I start asking new questions, I might get new answers. Around Shuichi's school. One man thought he'd saw something. <laughs> that little sound effect. Do -do -do. Not happen, I can't say for sure. He wants something from me, so he, he asked if we could talk in private. You okay? Alright, this should do. No one around, we can speak in confidence. Whoever you are. Oh, it's some guy. John O. John O. Ochi. John Ouchi. John no I, look at that fucking hair. This has to be the late seventies or the early eighties. <laughs> oh my word, just from the outfits alone. This is the man who's not ready to let go of the seventies. <laughs> Private detective investigating Shuichi, yep. <laughs> what else do I look like? Well he looks like a fucking cowboy. Joey from Yu Gi Oh! Head. <laughs> Look, whatever. <laughs> My life's in danger. What the fuck? The professor who had a revolver for some reason from Siren One, yeah. 
Like, <laughs> look at these guys. Like we're it's like we're watching fucking Anchorman. Hold on, wait. Honestly, who's trying to kill you? It's a fucking student. Michio Shiraishi. Unless if Michio is short for uh if Mio is short for Michio, which is what that other girl calling out to. Or if that's related. School girl, huh? But not <laughs> Nothing like that. She's a murderer. Someone who knows, but I saw what she did. I kidnapped Shuichi Shigima. Holy fuck. Come again. <laughs> Talked to him on the street and led him away. I didn't think much of it at the time, but then he went missing. She murdered him, I'm sure of it. Or she's got something to do with it. What are you here for, right? I'm sure you've been sitting on some valuable information. Might you tell anyone? Well, thanks. Be whoever. I couldn't. She told me she'd kill me if I spoke a word. Let me a school schoolgirl had you scared for your life. You've been sitting on that all this time. You think she's coming for you now that you spilled the beans? Yes, that's it exactly. Don't let her get me. Arrest her. I'm telling you, she's a demon. I need to believe it. It just doesn't add up. The schoolgirl have a fully grown man so terrified. But what she can do, she'll curse me. Did she? How did? Did she get a cursed object before anyone else did? Her house. It's. Ah, uh, forget it. You seem dubious enough to believe me, but I should have known you'd never understand. Enough. I'll find someone else to help me. Hey. Hmm. The cool guys grab their fedora when they're thinking or frustrated or whatever. Anime nerds push up the glasses. Sort of it, I can hardly believe it. Magic curse is just crazy talk, but I'm starting to see that there might have been more to it. If we can just find that girl. Go curse. She was with Shuichi on the day of the kidnapping, and she knows something. That it's digging. Flames. Oh hey, Jono Jon Jono I guess I'm, I'm I'm struggling with this. I should call him John. Oh hey, John. He's a teacher at the uh, high school. Teacher and the school girl might be a student. Yeah. I figured as much. Well, not his student, but like a student at the school. Like that seemed like it would be obvious. Oh my god, we're still going. Last we have a lead. Hopefully it's a breakthrough. Okay, is that it? That's it. Let's talk more about the investigation. I'll tell you what I found. We can make a decision. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Enough about the kidnapping. Let's talk about the supernatural. Read right about in a cult in an occult magazine. We were talking about that earlier. The old pronunciation instead of a cult. Yockle. Old book showed up recently with all the gory details. So the right can be found somewhere in Hanjo. First time you said that, it felt like my prayers had been heard. Like I had hope for the first time. Or since that awful day. I've wondered, what if I hadn't sent him to school? What if I just paid the ransom? A day goes by, I don't think that if I'd done something differently, Shuichi would still be alive. Can't blame yourself, man. It was the culprit's fault, not yours. Though I know that won't help any. Grief is funny like that. That's why you're after the right. <laughs> Did not need to ask. It's extremely obvious. Tell how much he meant to you. But. The big but. Right is a real deal. Using it will mean killing someone and stealing their soul. Is that a problem? Comes to that, I'm afraid I'll have to stop you. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> but if I'm going to be competing with other curse bearers, then your detective skills might come in useful. Not come in handy, they they'll come in useful. You realize you're talking about some or killing someone. <laughs> I think any parent in my position would happily kill for a chance like this. 
That toe is a dear, oh dear, what have I gotten myself into? Great, now we sketched him out. Makes you uncomfortable, you won't have to get any blood on your hands yourself. I don't need you to kill the other curse bearers, I only need you to find them. I won't be party to murder, ma'am, not even for a client. Shit, oh, this one's tricky. Ah. Uh... I don't even know if this one matters, and this one's actually a really hard choice. It's like, obviously we would pay, and then he's gonna say no, but that's a shame. Like, what does that imply? Let's do the fucked up one. How much can I give you to change your mind? Sorry, right, ma'am, but not everyone has a price. I've got my policies, and I stick to them. Otherwise, you were so stubborn. Let me say, though, it's not like I don't get what you're going through. As long as you're not killing anyone with your own hands, maybe I can help you out. You have in mind. Well, how about stealing someone else's curse stone after they've filled it with soul dregs? That was all you were after, and I can lend you my services guilt free. If the other curse bearers want to kill each other, that's their business. I'm not trying to be a hero. There's no guarantee a stolen curse stone will work, but we can worry about that later. And I suppose we have a deal. What if I stole a curse stone using my curse, would you disapprove? I would void our contract, man. Just warning you now. My. Oh, that's it. About my curse. Why don't you tell me about that curse of yours? <laughs> he he wants to make sure that he doesn't keep a lighter in his pocket <laughs> or anything like that. The haunting clappers. That's right. The original story did happen somewhere near here. When we all in the curse bearers being somewhere in Hanjo. First move should be to narrow them down. They're bound to try and come for you first. We'll need to be ready. Curses make their bearers more willing to kill, so an attack could come from anywhere. Sounds sensible. Still, yeah, it's still the same. If I remember correctly, your haunting clappers can set people on fire, but only if they have a naked flame or a lighter on their person. Sometimes wooden clappers are used to warn people of fire. I guess it punishes those who don't heed the warning. Seems like a good curse to have. It's simple and straightforward. Well, it's hard to say how it stacks up without knowing what else is on the table. Yeah, we only know of... Uh... The hearing one. And the drowning one. I don't think we know the rules of any of the other ones. Or can do just throw it off and it has a nice long activation window. I think that it works on lighters too. Just slip one into your target's pocket. Say that condition were already fulfilled before they even knew you were there. They wouldn't even know it hit them. Maybe I won't have to use it. I could just tell someone I could and they'd have to do what I said. Alright, that's good work. But without proof, uh, depends on how convincing you can be. Look, from when I was playing this, she was pretty damn convincing. She had an incredibly good handle on the, conver well, the conversation and how it went. Use the curse back at the last second. Interesting idea. I have a lighter right here. We could try it now. An interesting proposition. I'm not quite crazy enough to make myself a guinea pig. You're an odd one, man, if you don't mind me saying it. I don't think it's just the curse. <laughs> she, she was really going to hand him a lighter. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> you flatterer. Oh my god. He's unhinged. I love it. What we do next, first of all, you should stay indoors. Be incredible intimidation. Well, she's really good, like, she was really good, like, negotiating, kind of. And she's, like, an antisocial person, so it's it was kind of surprising. Now so you're getting spontaneous. Da -da -da. I know what you want to be working on. Ooh. Yeah, this seems like the, the split in the motivations. It's like there's this whole detective story going on, and the whole thing with the curse is related only by the small part of using the curse to bring the sun back to life. But these are, like, completely unrelated. 
wouldn't say kidnapping. <laughs> I wonder if that's the split. Split in the timeline. Remember, we saw him appear behind her when she set us on fire that one time. So we already sort of knew they were they had some kind of relationship. So maybe this will make him stand off. I don't know. Which is my command, ma'am. I'll focus all my efforts on looking into the kidnapping. Something just occurred to me. You can't investigate the matter at night, can you? Why not? Well, Sunrise says, could you search for the other curse bearers? Uh, I mean, I guess she has a point. She always has that look in her eyes. She's like, she's fucking unhinged. <laughs> I love it. I'd be happy to help. Odds are good that the other curse bearers are also working by night. Anyone they kill under the cover of darkness won't be discovered until sunrise. I can't keep it. I'll bet they'll be trying to do as much as they can. So then I'll look into the other curse bearers by night. Once the city wakes up, I start questions. Da -da -da. We'll do the kidnapping. Try and find Miss Shiraishi. She, did he make her promise not to use it if she killed the drowning kid and he was there? Yeah, maybe, like, after we died, he was, like, he was just there, like, what the fuck? Like, you weren't supposed to do that. <laughs> He's gonna give her a piece of his mind. He's gonna tell, tell her that the contract is voided. Now what? That's the same reaction anytime I see a cute sticker. Just, oh! Exclamation point. I think there's anything else I can look at here. To city. So I could have, <laughs> sorry, I dressed. I could hardly believe he was a detective. The strange things, but he's reliable. Ah, curse echo none. Yeah, he's not in on the curse game. Yeah, da da da. Once a police officer. Okay. A soft-hearted nature leads him to take on too many cases. Well, he's still in business a mystery. Oh, Richter and June know each other. June is the guy who make who made that fucking convenience store face we were talking about. Convenience store. Blanche clothing sells at covert uh, investigations. <laughs> yeah, I was I, I mentioned that before. Like for a private investigator, he's he stands out like a fucking sore thumb. Oh my god, Richter's biggest source of happiness is nuzzling his pet female albino parakeet Ernestine. Oh, and he collects the stickers. Oh yeah, he did he did mention the lore before. Amamori, a junior high schooler who volunteered to assist. I wonder if that's someone who's gonna come up. Yeah, all these people know each other. Or like have are related in ways. It's weird. My word. Azure Heron Agency, okay. People are more likely to pick names. It's at the front of the book. Alphabetically. Yeah, see, that's another dated reference. That people are more likely to pick business names listed at the front of the phone book alphabetically. Back when phone books were a thing, you'd see all kinds of business names that were like A A A A A A A, -A plumbing. <laughs> Over the heron, it was symbol. His name is confusing as best. Azure Heron Agency, whatever. I heard as a pet. Dressed in white, da da da. Whatever. Private investigator, private eye, da da da. A private eye, like the letter I, but also I, yeah, whatever. Da. 
The AI firms and inquiry offices might look similar, but they are different. Inquiry offices conduct credit checks on business PIs are involved in tailing purses of interest and gaining information surreptitiously. Haunting clappers. First power. Oh, we got all the, the additions. Kills by burning one who is in possession of fire or a fire starting device. Red, everything's dyed crimson. My home is burning to the ground. Uh, it's hot. I must call for help, but I cannot speak. My throat's burned up. I'm already on fire. That's right. I'll just use the clapper. Clackers. Is anyone there? Why is anyone come? Oh, it must be the work of a vixen who appeared suddenly and enchanted my lord. That witch. Uh, perhaps I was also taken in by her. How many innocent people did I lure in under her orders? This must be karma. Huh. The vixen that is behind the whole thing. I'm telling you, the, these mysteries make references to Tanukis a lot, and I'm sure it's just going to be a, a bunch of Tanukis that are behind the whole thing. See the there's mysterious music being played, and it was probably just a bunch of Tanukis. You're going to see a bunch of fat nutted raccoons running around. They're behind the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now then. Work. Call you if I find something. Stay here, keep a lookout. There's no telling what kinds of curses you might find out on the streets tonight. Look outside if you can help it. Try to be ready for anything. And then let me guess, she's just gonna leave immediately after he does. <laughs> it sure looks like it. Oh my god, okay. The name of the curse of the haunted clappers. Harvation humans determine to use the right of resurrection. That's her PI to Richter to go find other players. Off we go. In an hour. Go Richter. Flaps put me at ease. Can't look at the cool sticker anymore. No TV. Ah! We don't read it. Of course we're gonna read it. Nothing better to do. Oh god. What do you guys want to read about? Feels like uh it was like it was like uh game shows where you get to choose your category. We you think you're smarter than a fifth grader. Society, because we live in one. Right now it's pollution. Our water used to be more polluted. Uh, now it's better. Post-war boom has passed its peak. We're moving into the era of large corporations. 220 to 230 yen to the dollar. Holy shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not the case anymore. Actually, uh, that might be, uh, let's see. Oh, let's see, historical chart. 220. Oh yeah, this is, this is definitely the 80s. Uh, let's see, I'll show you what I'm looking at. That's actually maybe one of the more reliable sources for this. Get in here. 
Yeah, two, it was 220 to... You bet. Back in the 70s, it was even in the 300s. Uh, but in the upper 200s, or like... Not upper, in the lower 200s, like 220-ish, 220 to 230. Early 80s. Uh, tanks in the mid-80s. But yeah, there's... Sometime between 80 to 85, most likely. Yeah, that actually nails it down a lot. Yeah. <laughs> We're figuring it out. It's common to own a car in television now. Supermarkets are better than ever. I don't want to read your fucking articles about how good the economy is, because it's <laughs> it hasn't been that way for a while. Alright, culture time. People are coming up with new diversions. Seemed like only yesterday people were flocking to the arcades to shoot aliens, but now we have these enormous theme parks and gaming machines that plug straight into our televisions. Whoa! When was the NES release? 86? I guess its predecessors would, would still would be new at this time. Space Invaders. <laughs> 78. Yep. Talking about superhero series, foreign films, movies based on the latest bestseller. Back in my day, fusion rock and folk music were their age. Now it's all about city pop and idols. Find it hard to care about. Yeah. Education. We're on Tens High School now. Even girls. I love how they make a that that's an interesting note to bring up. Country's gotten rich enough that every child can go to school. Education is the backbone of modern society. Yep. More people in the running than ever. The competition to get into those universities has gotten fierce. New generations rebelling. Schoolyard violence and delinquency are on the rise. But my boy was too sensible to get mixed up in that. Oh, whoops. Watch TV. All the information in the world gets passed through that little black box. Father stopped them from reporting on the kidnapping back when it happened. You can keep rep Now the comedy boom is over. All the comedians are flocking to other genres. Cult seems really popular at the moment. Yeah, there's multiple. Okay. I fear the new big thing is a mascot line of delinquent birds. Frenzy knows such short shelf lives now. Generation will only fall further behind. That's okay, that happens all the time. I don't understand TikTok. And I refuse to learn. It's I'm old. Let's see, let's look more at the economy. We're flocking to the city, land prices are skyrocketing. Nowadays, most people can only dream of home ownership. See, some things never change. City center is going to be nothing but apartments before long. Not a businesswoman, so it's all another world for me. There's one thing Hanj never wants for its horrific crimes. We found a police officer dead in a local park just the other day. Whoa, I don't remember hearing about this yet. A lot of my family are in the police. I hope it wasn't anybody new. That should be everything? Nope. Suicide at local high school. High school girl jumped off her roof. She was bullied or something. What? What? This can't be right. Her name. Shio Shiraishi. Oh yeah, the Mia. Maybe that's Mia. It can't be. The girl that uh, the teacher was scared was going to kill him. <laughs> Good timing. I wonder if do nothing is important. <laughs> oh, it just straight up ends everything. Okay. That's not a bad thing. Oh, 
Oh, he doesn't have a shirt on underneath this. Well, I guess this is, is maybe a shirt. But yeah, this is very fucking 70s. Holy moly. The Ligma Residence. Well, let's see. I care if something I tell you. Ritter it away. Water's filthy and horrid, but at night when still it looks peaceful. Can I ask you something? Yes. Is the Mita River what you Honjo folks picture when you think of home? I not say. All I can tell you is that I can hardly stand the sight of it. Right, should have guessed. This is where they found him after he went missing. All alone floating in that horrible water. All I can think of is how scared he must have been, how cold he must have been. Did he ever do to deserve that? I've been here every day since. Prayed to the river to give him back. Give me back my son. Day after day after day. You know, in olden times, people believed rivers marked where our world met the next. So the act of crossing flowing water had a huge amount of spiritual significance. Yeah, like remember Spirited Away? Gotta hold your breath while you cross a river. Across the, the bridge. Back when Edo was founded, the people who go saw the Sumida River the same way. Get the far side of the river with the afterlife. The place later became Hanjo. All their fear and revulsion accumulated there and took root. Well, that sucks. It sucks that you live there now. But then their Ryo Goku bridge sprang up. A great fire, and just like that, Anjo is part of the city. As it turned out, what's this background over here? <laughs> Little sparklies. Farmland's town, people surrounded it with man made rivers and crisscrossed it with canals. I love canals, and I wish they were more of a thing. I actually, I live near a lagoon, which is incredibly cool, and I can't imagine, like, every, everywhere is just cooler with little water things. Those are prevent flooding, that's what I was told. But when I lived in New Mexico, there were uh, arroyos everywhere, which kind of, they're not often filled with water, but it's still... It's a cool thing to have. Where the resources would contain all the corruption that it built up. Stop it from leaking to stop it leaking through, okay? Physical barrier, but unofficially there's a spiritual barrier too. If I have this right, you're saying that Hanjo is fucking cursed. Exactly. <laughs> By the right of resurrections here. Probably why the seven mysteries and da da da. Guess I would make this spot. We're standing now right over the water, the border between life and death. If there was a place for bringing back the dead might be possible, I reckon it's here. It's funny that you mentioned praying to the river. It might have done more than you think. Just to make me feel better. Make it aloud, ma'am. Nice thought. Class A river. Okay. Decent to Tokyo Bay. Uh, da, 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 logistical importance. Common folk would gather and enjoy activities. There's woodblock prints about it. There were sewage issues during the industrialization, but it got better. So fireworks displays in summer draw in a crowd. And <laughs> Please go ahead. Poking around. Wait for curse bearer, then I found some candidates. Oh, lay him out. Oh, that fucking guy from the park. Asked him for directions, he turned the questions right back on me. That other second he figured out I wasn't what he was looking for. I get the sense curses were nothing new to him. I'm 40% sure he's a curse bearer. Didn't we find out later that he wasn't, though? What's this one? 
and he had one of the curse stones in his hand. We didn't meet this guy. Oh, this might have been the guy that we uh, basically killed but didn't see. Because we saw the spirit echo, which was like a guy committing suicide. Nervous air, he was up to shady business. Gathering soul dregs, certainly. A pair, yep. Young man and woman around Ryoko Bridge. And he came up and asked me if I was a spare straight up. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about, so he left. Yeah, I can't wait. I want to learn more about them, because that's interesting. Gathering soul drags in a group might be an idea if you make it work. Gonna be hard to find folks one can trust. They've got Brasso. I don't know what their deal is, but I'd like to find out. Then, yeah, the, the Copperinos. Body turned up in a local park a few days ago, so I might just be looking into it. Might be it was a curse that did the guy in. And I guess it's of some significance that they're from the main office? Whatever. Sure. That's everyone who caught my eye. All in the name, ma'am. Richter Kai, P.I. Look at this fucking post. Look at this fucking guy. I can't believe this man. Can't believe this is happening. That way you can dress like that without drawing attention. You bet. Blend in like a chameleon in any outfit. Middle aged man and the young couple sound the most promising. Yep. Whatever we pick, it's still too early. Curse bears are less involved with each other than we thought. Still others we don't know about. Once more bodies show up, I'll get the pot nice and hot. Boiling our chance will come, okay. Girl Michio Shiraishi. Along with Juichi on the day of the kidnapping. That's her, well. He's dead. He's what? He's dead. Dude who committed suicide last week. Heard something like that happened. Never got the name. Talk about bad luck. You got a lead only it turned into a dead end. Yeah, how did he not know about this? He's supposed to be following the news. Unless her death was the whole reason Janute. Jonoichi wishes. <laughs> I can't do that name. Unless her death was the whole reason John Arbuckle was so shaken up. And if she was going to curse him, taking revenge from beyond the grave. Back where we started. If you know something, I'm sure of it. That's a good point. Maybe the teacher had some hand in it. I told she knows more. I think I've got a good idea of what he's hiding. Let me guess. Damn it. Uh... With a curse would be kind of an interesting t turn. He committed suicide, but it could still be a curse. Why would he have talked to the detective then, though? Yeah, fuck it, let's just say it. We're taking chances and making mistakes, like Miss Frizzle told us. What do you think? That he was more scared of what someone else might do. I'm not cut out to play detective. Truth will come out in time. Okay. We need to have another chat with Mr. John. He really just won't. <laughs> okay. 
one more memory I have of the river. 20 years now when I was still at school, girl. Meter River was much filthier. Full of garbage and discharge and scummy and slimy and it stank. That's gross. Dead cats and dogs and pigeons just floating. One day among all the filth and garbage, a piece of my missing classmate's hand. Ooh! What the fuck? Almost a miracle when you think about it. What are the chances someone would find that? Art that was left. Everything except the palm rotted away and then there was a scar on the remainder. Tell it been murder from the blade marks on the bone. Whoa. You're talking about the Najima murders? Here, but an elementary schooler at the time. I wasn't aware of it then, I only heard about it after the fact. I wonder how much older she is than him. I think that might actually put them in an. They're mentioning classmates, so maybe they're similar. Okay, oh, from over two decades ago. Human left hand was found floating in the river. Long time missing student. Severed deliberately. Launched a murder investigation. Highly polluted, save the water, and made uh, the search impossible. Divers quickly fell ill. They succeeded in recovering the victim's head and what appeared to be part of her leg. As polluted as ever been. I think it survived in it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of Ice Nine? What do you know about the Titanic? Have you ever heard of the ship of Theseus? How much do you know about morphogenetic field theory? Blah, 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 blah. Kind of a kind of poetic that uh the the pollution of the river led to be all these, like, being unable to solve these murders, you know, it's like a metaphor. I don't think so. This is, this is released by Square Enix. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, there could be some crossover, but not that I'm aware of. Because, I mean, the thing is, like, when you say, like, it wasn't made by the Zero Escape devs, it's like, some of the people who worked on that game could be working at Square Enix now. Who knows? Someone, someone would have to look it up. But it is released by a different company, for sure. 999 was also Axis, right? Because we were talking about Deathmark earlier. Yeah, it was published by Axis, and it was developed by Chunsoft. Ooh, I don't think it had anything to do with this. Wait, Spike Chunsoft doesn't exist anymore, do they? Oh no, they they're doing Dongan Rampa. Investigation ground to a halt. Impression about a sec separate incident. Umi Chika Nejima, 36 year old shop owner, bulge details about her that hadn't been released. Then arrested. Testified he had snatched his victim from the street, confined her in the underground storeroom. There's for no special reason. Da -da -da. She's just an opportune target. Trainer sewed her mouth shut, severed her fingers and toes with a box cutter while she was still conscious. Uh, proceeded to wrist her ankles, elbows, knees, blah blah blah. Victim constantly wavered in and out of consciousness. Died of blood loss eventually. Remembered the rest of her body and disposed of it behind his home. Uh, the brutality of his actions shocked the nation. 
And then the Jr. Red Bleed divulged the details. Uh, when asked, he would say, I don't know. No crimes passed, no corroborating evidence ever came to light that he did more. Life in prison, no appeal, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. That is not what I expected it to look like. <laughs> the thumb with the wig. <laughs> Persons of interest. Right. He's behind the whole thing. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking weird ass. Hey. Oh, I have too many fucking tabs open with all this shit. Her body must have sunk to the bottom of the river. They were found pieces. Everything else must have brought and float out to sea. All the divers we looked for fell ill. There's the rivers filthy already, so one more piece of garbage won't hurt. But every little bit makes it worse. It's a vicious cycle. I wouldn't want to go rooting down there, yep. See, it's all a metaphor. Right, which is why the riverbed is the last place you would look. It was the killer's thinking, and he was mostly right. Times were changing quickly. Uh, everyone was in a hurry and things were confusing. Young people were moving to Tokyo in droves. Some even ran away from home to make it in the big city. Made easy targets for bad people. A lot of them disappeared without a trace. Back then, if you chopped a body up into tiny pieces and threw it in the river, it would rot quickly and discreetly and sink to the bottom, never to be seen again. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I arrested him shortly after, Fumishika and Najima. The man who killed my classmate and cut her into pieces. Couldn't have been his first crime, and people began to wonder how many other girls he'd murdered. Police never found evidence of other murders in the end, but the river knows the truth. How many corpses has it swallowed up over the years, I wonder? The same thoughts spread through everyone's mind, and they avoided the area. So really... The river has been ranked with corruption for decades now. At least that's how it seems. Well, was that interesting? You might not have any good memories of the river. I'm surprised you know so much about the Najima murders. How could I not? I mean, it does seem like a fitting precursor to what happened to her child. Child abducted, kidnapped, killed, and then dumped in the river. I was the one who found the hand. Yeah, I thought she said that earlier. So I thought that's how she started the whole thing. Please wrote me a thank you letter. It was only thanks to me that they managed to bring the human to justice. Only time my father ever said he was proud of me. It wasn't the killer's day. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if he resents me for it. See it. Yeah, exactly. Like that's I thought that's how she started. She had to she had to hammer the point home. Chosen one! I'm coming. I'm coming. Highway was freeway to die. Oh my god. I'm trying to remember what was the last visual novel I played that did this did a similar thing. I think 428 Shibuya might have done the thing where, like, any single thing they mention, they give you an article with, like, paragraphs of information, like, no matter how unimportant it is. So it's just a shitload of extra reading. Can't fritter away. 20 years since those murders. I'd be interested in knowing. Life in prison doesn't always mean life. There's precedent for first time offenders being allowed out on parole after 20 years. 
Only if they're found to show remorse and the desire to reform themselves. It's hard for someone to reintegrate into society. I hear they've been trying to fix that recently, matching inmates with jobs and accommodation. Keep an eye on them and make them report in for regular checkups to avoid discrimination. They keep the records a secret. They even give particularly notorious criminals new identities. How you put it? Like you're saying, Kuchika Nijima could be out on parole right now. With no one knowing. Well, Birdie told me about a big name making parole a few months back. I don't know if it was Nijima, but our discussion just now bring it, brings it to this. This is a big fucking red herring, oh my god. Into the story loop instead of leaving another loose end. I mean, this counts as a loose end, though, doesn't it? Everyone, everyone just fucking just rattle off all the red herrings you, you want. It's time. Passing by the high school once, there was a janitor, and I could have sworn you were to me of Umi Shika Najima. Looks way younger than that guy would be, though. And after 20 years, yeah, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that one. Perhaps. Yes, it was him after all. What next? That would, that would be so funny if he's like, if the picture they supply of this guy... <laughs> And that's what they're gonna just be like, oh yeah, I just lost some weight and got a new haircut. He looks like fucking Patrick Starr with like a... Like a fucking diva wig. A good distance, blah blah blah. blah. Like the other curse bearers have come all the way here. Suspend. What if I don't suspend? Yeah, he might have lost weight, but like that looks not like the same person. If Richter was Nijima. <laughs> Surprise! He pull <laughs> he pulls off his hat and then he just like he j he just looks like a thumb underneath. You cannot progress any further once your situation's changed, you can res- okay. One of those. Oh, we gotta play as one of these two. Detective man or high school girl? High school girl is probably the most relevant, but we're going in order. We're gonna play as this fucking asshole with the weird lips. Actually, no, we're playing as the old detective, right? Tetsuo! At the former Yasuda Gardens. Bakazaki, is that like a important name? I don't think that's come up. Lost forensics done, crime scene's clean, the officers are gone. Uh, I don't think I've seen the image you're talking about. But now I'm gonna have to look it up later. <laughs> Aren't you able to open up like nothing ever happened? Probably won't get many visitors. You'd be surprised, lots of people love that kind of thing. <laughs> the occult is really popular right now. Sounds stupid. <laughs> I like this guy. Not rooted in science, but... Ghosts did, did exist, we could just ask them who the perp is. Doubt it'd be that simple. Oh, you know, I've heard high school girls are really into the spirit board thing these days, which was the exact other option that we had for the other girl. <laughs> is that, okay, if that is the picture, then I, I can see your the similarity. We can call on spirits and talk to them by using a board. Wouldn't that be something? 
Try it yourself if you're so interested. Not a bad idea. Let's give it a go sometime. Not messing around. You really think we're going to solve this case by moving a coin across a scrap of paper? Sounds like you know all about it. He's doing the stupid face thing. I hate him. Maybe open minded. What if that's how police work is going to be from now on? Don't make me laugh. Spirit Lord. Divination has become popular among young boys and girls. All you need is a coin and a piece of paper with letters. All you have to do is ask a question. It'll move the coin and answer. A tool adopted from Western spiritualism and molded by Japanese enthusiasts. Each form of divination, uh, ritualistic nature, uh, self-hypnosis or auto-suggestion. Leading to hallucinations or symptoms similar to spirit possession. Many schools ban these spirit boards as there are several cases of students sneaking to schools at night. In addition to stories of he people having seizures when using the boards. Well, listen up. If you make that fucking face again, I'm going to slap it off your face. Can't go blaming the death of your buddy on something like the occult. I don't care if it was ghosts or the occult or what. Whatever it was, I'll get him. The uh, friend died? Yeah, what's up with that? The only person we know that this guy knows is our detective, Richter, who studied alongside June Aereo. Maybe Richter's a ghost. Bias is weak in our judgment, idiot. Get fixated and you stop seeing everything else. Hi, <laughs> hi, boss. Let me finish. Let's review what we know. Getting late. Let's go home. Oh, we gotta go over everything. For the nar <laughs> for for the for narrative purposes, we have to tell the audience everything we've learned. And let's do it here. Where we can soak up the atmosphere. <laughs> okay. The hell is there to soak up? You must be into this occult stuff if you get off being a, on a place like this. I mean, being somewhere in this doesn't get your blood pumping? No way. Don't turn this around on me. I'm not the weird one here. Look at his stupid face. Oh my god. Former Yasuda Gardens in Yokoami Chome were built as part of a daimyo's estate. Park became city property. I don't know why the renovations. Pond used to flow into the Samita River. The river became polluted when they cut it off. Think, 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 think. Like Winnie the Pooh. He was a human golden retriever. I I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> I don't I don't hate him, hate him, but like I hope I hope someone slaps him, you know. I'm such a weird guy, so he'd be in the old man's head more. Yeah, it's totally possible. Like the old man probably wants to slap him all the time. Junario, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> he's a sergeant. First time leading a case. It's like he's graduated from rookie to newbie. Which is, I think, what they called him in the, the persons of interest, right? Oh, I could have sworn they introduced him as newbie detective. And maybe that was his character, his first intro. Put together, but he acts like a kid most of the time. Honestly, the forest could use more people like him. Who's this? Glad you're back in the first division. Hired at work. The only reason I became a detective in the first place. Oh, he's a suck up. Did it, did anyone here watch uh, Green Eggs and Ham? The TV show reminds me of the villains in that, where it's like an old guy who's about to retire, and then the the young Zoomer, obnoxious fucking new guy character. They got the same dynamic. ever since you first started the academy, but I couldn't believe you got transferred out of the first it's assigned to it. 
Getting to work with you is a dream come true. This guy is gonna fucking kill that old guy or some shit. <laughs> what if he's a stalker? What is it? Not sure you've been showing me an appropriate amount of respect. Oh. I do respect you. Don't tell me you're going senile, boss. That's exactly what I'm talking about. When you run your mouth like that. It's getting late, you must be sleepy. Don't worry, boss. I'll make sure we get out of here soon. You don't you just want to slap this guy? Wowed by your shrewd detecting abilities all day today. This fucker will not talk about the subject. Shit. Fine, we'll talk about the case first. The morning yesterday. Staff member found a victim. Uh, doesn't seem to be. Oh, maybe that is. A, is that drowning fluid? Looks different. Ugh, heart attack. External wounds. Police officer and evidence of struggle. Doesn't look like a police officer dressed like that. Child play. Comes it up. This case really important enough to assign to someone from the investigation division. A friend of mine died, so it's important, but it's all up to the higher ups. I'm sure they got their reasons. Boss, you know something, don't you? It's all become clear in time, don't worry about it too much. Thinking about it, the only thing we know for sure is the identity of the victim. There must have been something special about him, right? Maybe he knew something he wasn't supposed to, some kind of secret. Isn't that right? Well, you don't know that even, because it could have just been a random, a random crazy person. Duty to get in the bottom of a suspicious death, especially involving an officer, whatever. Victim is Hajime Yoshimi of the Juvenile Division of the Sumida City Community Safety Bureau. 27 single adult cases involving juveniles. He's a senior police officer. Hey, he's a big tough guy. An academy together. We still went out for drinks together every month or two. Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to be looking for stickers. Let me, let me zippity zoom around. Maybe I'll find one. Like a big brother to us all. The uptight type cop. Treated each and every troubled kid with compassion. Great track record. Sounds like we lost a good one. Yep. Okay. You being a cop is dangerous. Makes it like this could happen. Never easy when it happens for real. We didn't seem to care much about climbing the ranks because at the top of our class. Problem is, he took on so much he had the most unfinished paperwork, too. Hello, Sindragon. How's it going? Special guy with him. Oh, so we got the whole the whole thing. <coughs> Damn. Police officer. The rank of head patrol officer. Entered at the same time as June. He has died. Under mysterious circumstances. Oh, he was a rebellious gang member before. That's why he looks like that. Okay. Turn his life around. Uh, this is passionate, blah blah blah. Stellar results, but sloppy paperwork. Not a formal attitude. <laughs> Doomed his career. Had him writing formal apologies on the regular. Oh, and he had a fiance. Okay. Don't worry, you're plenty unusual yourself. Me, I was the most normal. The real weirdo among us quit the academy a long time ago. Uh oh. You better fucking tell me more. Oh. Sticker time. Where are the stickers? Are there any stickers here in this park? I kinda doubt it.
Hajime was a bad boy in school, ended up with police a lot. The officer in charge was good to him and helps him get back on track. When he pouts, he looks weird. Yeah, he does that stupid... God, do I have to bring up the convenience store music video again? I'm gonna... We were talking earlier... Or I was bringing up how... Uh... When he does that face, it reminds me of one of the convenience store song parodies. And I'm just gonna get this out of the way so that we can all be on the same page. If you've never seen the convenience store song, there are a million parodies of it. And yeah, I think the one I was thinking of was actually that fucking face. <laughs> Snake looking at a porn mag. But yeah, the there's one where he's paying asking for eggs. Yeah, that's that's the <laughs> that that's the face. <laughs> there's probably Shut up. There, there were so many parodies of this. Ah, oh, he's not doing the face thing. But yeah, there, there's a lot of these. I wonder, like, and they're all fucking ancient too. A P H, yeah. But yeah, that's that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, exactly. All these videos are so old. The big thing back in the olden YouTube days. Maybe even Flash. How to become a cop, spades, kindness. Please don't make fun of my dead friend. <laughs> Said in his honor. Cool. Besides, if I bite it, you'll miss me the most, boss. <laughs> Ariel, no, why did you have to go and get yourself killed? You really are something. Fucking weirdo. But the victim's family. The Yoshimi family is from Ita Senju in Adachi City. Parents died a long time ago. We lived there alone. Just house a few times. Huge old place. That place seems super haunted. Along with old noble family. Sorry, it's doing this fucking thing again. Hard to imagine being such a delinquent living in a house like that. There's that bias I was talking about. It's around old family, I'm sure things were complicated. That's a bias, too. Talked about any of that even when we were drunk. There are times where this feels like an Archer episode. <laughs> If Archer showed up, <laughs> I would I would not complain. Hajime was engaged. Yeah, we saw that in the profile. Over ten years, they just started talking about getting married. You know, she may know if there'd be anything going on with them lately. There's someone in the police talks to her. Okay. I'll keep going. In the case that Hajime was running. With two cases that he was working on. First was the suicide of a high school girl who surely was Mio or you know, Mio. Michio Shiraishi. Contact of her even before. Troubled for some time. Was upset. Struck up a conversation. Because fucking, I can't. I hate that <laughs> so much. There was no problem. Nothing else he could do. Now she's dead. Possibly could have prevented her suicide. Then must have been devastated. 
You must have thought something terrible happened that drove her to end her life. See, now, since we know, we the player know that she had something weird going on with one of the professors. Something weird's happening. With it, to find out what happened. The other case. Troublemaker named Hitomi Okuda. Leader of a group of kids who get up to no good. Be bad for a while, turn to destruction of property, salt and battery. He was working with her for a while, then he met with the girl the day she the day he died, or forget it she's been brought up before. So when she finally found an adult she could trust she might act out without someone to help her get through this. She make sure the Sumita Community Safety Bureau does her job. But can't rule out the possibility that meeting with this delinquent girl had something to do with his death. I'll have to interview her too. I hate, I hate this shit. <laughs> Maybe I'm the last person to see him alive. Unless Sumito about tomorrow. Who knows if they'll let us talk to her. I'll lay a little boyish charm on them if they need convincing. I'm sure they prefer me. So you're superior. You gotta, act, you gotta act like you respect me at least. Oh, I thought I was. <laughs> Is that how your generation speaks? Fucking fucking zoomer ass. Probably just me, actually. Are you even listening? Wait a bit to look into tomorrow. First of two come out of high school's cases. Speak with his fiance. If we get all these notes on Hajime, okay. It's just gonna be a that we've already got. Okay, cause of death. Going on until autopsy's back. Maybe some kind of acute heart failure. Yeah, a ah, heart attack. He had no record of chronic illness, no visible wounds, could have been poison or drugs. Right in the middle of the park. On signs of a struggle and footprints. I'm trying to die enough. Ugh. People trying to identify. Seven o'clock. I'm, I'm an old man too. I think I know they belong to. We gotta sing out. The only things Hajime had on him were his badge and his wallet. We let him mugging. There probably aren't many people who think to try mugging a cop as big as him. Hajime also got into fights when he was younger, started judo once he became an officer. So it probably wasn't like a physical fight. Time of death at 11, two days ago, by the park's operating hours. Body found early in the morning. What was Hajime doing? Question. Entrance to the park is closed after hours, and it's a small gate, and it's easy to get through. I'd be breaking and entering, but what do you think? Those are both decent ideas. What would you hide here? Came here in the cover tonight to hide something. I go through all that trouble. Seems like there was another person here at the time of death. Wouldn't it be more likely that the other person called him here? Sure, let's go with that. I'm talking about something pretty sensitive. Which we met someone here to discuss something. I'm willing to believe that this right thing has been happening sporadically for the past number of years. Yeah, like. I guess that's a possibility that they plant with the, uh, bringing up, like, the bridge and how people would just chop up bodies and dump them in the river and they'd never be found again. This river was so gross. 
Like, imagine a whole city neighborhood that was next to a, a natural landmark that could be used to dispose of bodies without leaving any evidence, guaranteed. Like, that'd be, that'd be a pretty fucked up situation. I tell you, that would mean they called Hodge away with the intent to kill him. The possibility that it was an accident. Get a clear picture once we know what killed him. Da da da. On the topic of family, what's yours like? The hell is you're wrong with you prying into my personal life? Oh, are you single? <laughs> Shut it, that's not your business. Since I joined the force, I've been thinking. The department really pressures young officers to get married, and I was thinking I could get married to you, boss. Wouldn't that be great? How should I know? I came to pressure myself and got married 20-some years ago. Well, she took our daughter and left four years ago. Thanks for reminding me. I can't believe she'd give up a guy like you. See? He wants to, he wants to marry this guy. Never home much to focus on work. I'm home lately to get called back right, right, right back out again. I blame her for getting fed up with it all. How sad, especially when you're putting out, you're putting your life on the line. Are you transferred out of the first? Yeah, it was already too late. Very be careful, Ario. Say that, but there's not much I can do, is there? That's the nature of our job. There aren't many who can really understand it. God, ugh, I hate his fucking face. You have a daughter, boss? Really think I want to talk about her after all that? Have some sense. Come on, I promise I don't mean this way it sounds, but how old is she? <laughs> oh my god. She's rough around the edges. Most men are intimidated by her. She's living by herself and going to college. Wow, a college student. Men love an educated lady. What kind of cop are you making assumptions like that? She's living on her own though, you must worry about her. Worry? I don't even know where she lives. Well, she hasn't told you. Probably because she knows you'll follow her around everywhere. I would not. I don't think... She likes the salt and pepper. <laughs> I mean, given the people who follow my Twitch channel, I'm surprised more people haven't been horny for this guy. Like a mean old man, but you sure have a soft side. I mean, like, like, he, how is he the most horny person for the old man here? Oh, okay, we got TTR. <laughs> we have to keep. I keep up. Oh my god. If you got married 20 years ago, it must have been right around the Nejima murder. Oh my god, oh, we're swerving. This is... The Nejima murder is the fucking... Like... It, it really is, like, uh, TTR brought it up before. Uh, it's it's the, the 999, like, oh, you must have heard about such and such. And now we're gonna go off on a tangent and talk about... Uh, morphogenetic field theory or whatever. <laughs> Oh, uh, wag, I was saying everyone's gonna be horny for this guy. This, this Aereo here is definitely horny for, for, old man. What's it? Tutsumi. It's hard to remember that name. You know your history, that happened a year or two after our wedding. You're the one who arrested the killer, weren't you? Oh. Oh. Also, I don't call out followers, but Retro, they, I love how you said you're inviting the horniness in and then followed the channel. <laughs> You've been caught red-handed. Trying <laughs> the case, find the guy. It was all happenstance. I don't want to think about it. It was disturbing. Not make your skin crawl. Yeah, how much do you know about the 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 HMS Gigantic? Did you know that the Titanic had a twin ship? Did you know about the game show where they had people try ESP experiments? Make your skin crawl when you learn about it. Blah, blah. No one could believe that such a mild-mannered man. 
No one could believe this mild-mannered man right here. <laughs> could be a murderer. <laughs> we had overlooked one little thing. We may never have caught him. One, one charge. Of any evidence. There's no way he's meticulously playing crime. Because the first. He may have stuck Fumichi may Fumichi could and Jima in a cell, but it was no victory. He always had the upper hand. All the damage he did to everyone involved, especially the victim's classmates. Victim's classmates who would include Harway Shigima. About the occult. Oh my god, stop making that face. The Rite of Resurrection thing everyone's talking about. Oh, by the way, we're in... the park, which means... No, we're in the garden. I don't think this is where... Uh... Shogo runs into them, right? Oh, I know, I'm just giving you shit. Retro, don't worry. <laughs> Timing was funny and I couldn't help it. <laughs> Hear about that shit everywhere. Are you talking about that TikTok shit? I've been hearing about it everywhere. You fucking kids and your phones. Who cares what people are talking about? <laughs> don't you think the occult stuff is feels realer somehow? The whole thing started here in Hanjo, so I thought maybe. I think good can come with getting involved with that shit. <laughs> Sounds like you know all about it. Are you secretly into the occult? Stop it. Seriously, this isn't a joke. I get why you'd be intrigued uh, by something called the Rite of Resurrection after a buddy of yours died, but bring the dead back to life, that's the stuff of fantasy. It's not real. Don't go hoping for miracles, got it? I wonder what TikTok would have been like in the 80s. Oh, we did all the talk. Treacherous case. I like this music. For stickers. complete and I don't want to redo all that clicking yeah I wish we could fucking threaten to fire him for making that stupid face stop having those big juicy luscious kissable lips or else I'm gonna report you to the to, to the boss A whole lot else here. Oh shit. Are you next to him? Oh, the scene! Oh my god. Gosh. Almost feels like nothing happened here. That, okay, well, that's it. Holy fucking shit! What the fuck is that? Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> Look at him, he's making that stupid face right now! That stupid case all along. Great, now I'm haunted. Whoa. Such deep sorrow or resentful memory is flowing into my mind. Oh, who do we get? Okay, so the old man does have a curse stone. Hold the phone. Whoa. Okay, he has a question mark. He has a question mark. Yeah, yeah, he gets one. They made absolutely no effort to make that known or act on it at all when we ran into them as Shogo. 
So that's actually really interesting. Oh, is it falsehoods? Oh my god. Those who spread lies kill them. Oh shit. The Evergreen Beach. Oh, that's interesting. You can use it to kill anyone who tries to mislead you. Holy shit, that's pretty strong. Oh, I wonder when I was playing as Shogo, I wonder if I ever lied to them. Oh my gosh, I might... I, I don't remember. <laughs> that's really interesting. <laughs> Look, is that a big tongue? Ah! <laughs> Resentful memory. He deceived us with his so-called right of resurrection. The man who tricked people with his false dark arts swings from our rope. I thought the man escaped from free to snipe. He was found hanging in the garden that morning. Ichi. Kind temperament, skilled in crafting, Matsuke class. Is that what these are called? Like, they're called curse stones, but yeah, Netsuke. Ornamental toggle like piece, usually of carved ivory, used to attach the medicine. Used to attach the medicine box, pipe, or tobacco pouch. Oh, here we go. There's the Wikipedia article. Oh, no, I was just curious if the implication is that the person that this curse is talking about because of the writer of resurrection and all that and because he's a, he crafted a 2k class so I wonder if this is the guy who made the cursed stones in the first place optimistic blah 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 period the poe boom props from the fan of flames with greed found a miserable state asking in his own life or you know, who knows <laughs> He hung there for days till his neck stretched horrifically. Wow. Clear he must have struggled greatly. The beach's tree leaves do not fall, neither did the man's body hanging from it, as the mansion's owner was not at home. Another unfortunate event. People held their tongues, fearing divine punishment, but the rumors persisted nonetheless. Blech. I think that there's probably the implication that the right is a sham anyways, because we did what was required and got over 100% of the spirit or the soul dredges and then just died immediately. So I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's probably a fake regardless. Like, I wouldn't get that from this, but we probably already know that. Oh my god, this is this, this game's addicting as shit. I'm gonna be playing this all night. them all. I don't even want the right, though. Oh, maybe that's why the detective never uses it, because he doesn't give a shit about reviving anyone from the dead. The ghost gave the, the curse stone to the wrong person. I fucking hate this guy so much. He's allowing all these people to kill each other, and what's the objective? Well, that's what we're gonna find out. Uh, but really, it, it's like Ghosts just ha with the objects, you know, giving them to people, causing chaos, you know, who knows. There you go, some bad news. Oh no, your senility is kicking in, isn't it? Uh, we've got a problem. We're not going home tonight. What are you talking about? Uh, I got some pretty crazy news for you. Oh, and we get to continue. Okay. 
Let me take that break I was talking about. I need to fucking stretch my legs, but I really want to continue this. Well, it's like, starting a new game, it's like, okay, maybe I'll play this for a few hours and we'll see how it goes, but no, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm deep in this shit. I'm going to continue for a while. <laughs> so, I'm going to take another break. I'm going to stretch my legs and shit, and I'll try to keep it short as I can, and I'll be back.
Uh, said it was gonna be a quick one. Might have been a little longer, but it's important, right? Five and a half hours, holy crap. Dragon is back. Oh, yeah, I think I was talking about this a little bit for a break, but yeah, I think it's entirely possible that the whole Rite of Resurrection thing is just bullshit to try to beat people into killing each other. Using the curse objects, but we're, gonna, we're not going to find out why for a while. Old man gaming time, are you talking about me or the player we're controlling? Right of Resurrection really exists. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, that doesn't necessarily... Like, this. the seven mysteries and the curse seem to be real. I think that's apparent. Not guaranteed, but it's apparent. But there's no evidence that, like, someone's going to come back to life if you if you do all this other shit. Curse you have is from the story of the Evergreen Beach. <laughs> I'm never silly. <laughs> I'm a paranormal. I thought you didn't believe in that. I don't believe it. My familiar is why I've tried not to get too close. He's being a sore loser, not used to admitting you were wrong. Damn. Talk as we walk. Jazz time, okay. Whoa. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're, go we're going places. Got the overworld. We got one place we can go. <laughs> okay, this is where the guy with the legs was. Check one thing. You're telling the truth, right? This is a side effect of your senility. It is the truth. Revealing the existence of a secret department is against the rules even to a fellow cop. This is an emergency and use help. Tell him, what are we telling him? This is all top secret, no sharing it. Heard rumors that you used to be a member of a secret division attached to the security bureau. <laughs> the little the little reveal music is so funny. There's a department called Paranormal Affairs. Whoa. The higher ups are messing with me. The whole reason I became a cop, I was always fascinated by secret agencies. Curses and spirits really do exist, and of course we need a special department to protect citizens. Yeah, yeah, okay. The official stance is that the supernatural doesn't exist, so paranormal affairs operates in secret. Still not sure why they stuck me there. Four years, I work nothing but cases involving the supernatural. Uh, wow, okay, let's see. <laughs> Officially called the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department Security Division Special Security Unit Paranormal Affairs Bureau. A handful of people know of its existence since the fucking X Files. Paranormal. Since the paranormal phenomenon is not public knowledge, nor is it readily believed. Conducted in secrecy. Only five members, including the chief. Network of psychic contacts across 
country who assists with their cases, including Mio Kurosuzu. The girl at the high school who died? Yeah, Mio is not Michio. I thought Mio might have been like a concatenation of Michio, the girl who killed herself. But apparently not, it's a psychic. Which kind of lines up because the beginning of that chapter is labeled as, uh... We're gonna start off with like a spirit board thing, apparently. Hero undertakes investigations, it's a... Uh, closer hoaxes, da da da. Chief is Kui Kuiru Nakagoshi, born to a family of psychics. Or does Mio Kurosuzu's mentor since discovering her? Elusive, uh, rarely seen in the office. Often been the target of curses. I don't think it's because Kuiru is not flesh and blood at all. His seat is usually occupied by a new A. Ordinary white thrush and axes, Kuiru's messenger. Leading to bizarre scenes of police officers earnestly reporting their findings to a bird. Uh, interestingly, her Naga Nakagoshi case, code name used to refer to these investigations. Uh, hold on, what the fuck? This bird. In the tale of Heike, it's described as a Japanese chimera. Okay, I think that's something else. Originally, the Nui were said to be a bird that resembles a green pheasant. Uh, oh, white, white thrush. Okay. So it's just a little bird. I bring this up because... Uh, what's his face? Detective man owns a bird. And likes to nuzzle that bird female albino parakeet Ernestine. Maybe he's not nuzzling that bird. Maybe he's giving that bird secrets. Or this, the, the bird's giving secrets to Richter. Oh gosh. I'm gonna read about Tetsuo's... Oh, he likes candy and desserts. Lights and buying local sweets. I would often volunteer to be dispatched to distant locations to acquire fucking rare desserts when he was with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau. That's like, uh, what was that show? Someone was telling me about a show called, I think, Sweet Tooth Salary Man. Yeah, Kantara, the Sweet Tooth Salary Man. That was really good. I kind of want to watch it. But yeah, very, very similar premise. You know, I don't think we have anything too new here. Yeah, Richter and June are these two friends. Initially became friendly. Bowling, whatever. Richter? What about Richter? There's a guy named Richter. He's the he's the weird detective guy in the, in the cowboy. Stephanie's ass. I, I don't know how to describe his fashion. Very vintage. But <laughs> you know, have it. Spirit sense. Are you spiritually gifted? <laughs> I hate him. Oh my god, we're back to the alcohol metaphors. If I did, I'd be a lightweight at best. One beer and I'm down for the count. Is that how people in the field quantify someone's spirit sense? Like how much liquor they can handle? Nope, that's just me. Oh my god. Is that what's gonna be... Oh, motherfucker. Is Yoko related to Tetsuo? Because he doesn't know his daughter anymore. They left some years ago. 
I just wish I had something to discuss with his daughter. She's mentioned anywhere else. Yoko a college student? Yes, Yoko is a... She was a college student. She has a junior college degree. She's now a housekeeper. Uh, they mention a few times that Harue has a housekeeper, and I think Yoko works for her. I think they lost contact when Yoko was a college student, so that would be some years ago. Yeah, that, I think that's... I think that's where this is going. <laughs> these revelations, they're really good. Not revelations, these little clues. Your sense is something you're born with, it's tough to develop later on. There's no hope for me. You never know, you might have a hidden potential. There's a high schooler who's got so much spirit sense that she works on the front lines. Uh, I say work, but she wasn't paid because it was supposedly part of her training. What was her name? Article 69! Really know the law? You in the occult field as workers' rights, huh? Right, rights issues. <laughs> That is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy fuck! There's a fucking guy over there. Well, I'm looking for stickers. You know what's interesting is that you can revolve the camera here. Uh, and you're not playing from the perspective of someone like you were before. When we were playing it with Shogo, everything we did was from his perspective, but now it's not. And that's odd. What do we do now? Handing out guns all over town. Jeez, that's bad. It was in Japan, so... They handed out guns all over. If this took place in America, this metaphor would not work. A source. We'll stop to it. Main team is tied up till tomorrow night. This should be. <laughs> what? This is like the most paranormal affairs fucking. Thing to do ever. What the fuck else could they be up to? You're gonna help me, partner. <laughs> An emergency. I think we have a choice. I'm just trying to be logical, boss. The, the whole, like, shifting the area like this, it's led to one really good scare. And I think it was really early on. It wasn't even, like, a jump scare or anything, but, like, talking to a person, then, like, turning around and turning back, and they're, like, right in your face. It's, like, really... Having this ability is actually really freaky. Like, we're gonna turn back, and he's gonna be fucking... No, we looked at him before. We, we uh... Just standing there menacingly. Curses are connected. The people that the others should be here. I don't know means there's six more. We don't know for sure that there's seven, by the way. That's part of the. I, I'm, I'm glad they wrote that in, even if it's a, a red herring or whatever. Just the fact that. Uh, it's, it's folklore, so, like, no one really knows what curses count as part of the lore or whatever. It's all just made up. Oh, curses. Oh, uh, I said earlier, when you curse bear gets you closer to completing the rite of resurrection. Would your life be in danger if they find out you're a curse bear? Yeah. <laughs> 
Could you even be out here right now? I think it would be a waste of time. Mystery of the one-sided reed. Associated with Rio Goku Bridge. Hoping we could enough to run to the curse bear. No such luck. Nothing else. Maybe Rogue will spread that the cops are on the lookout and people will behave. Possible that other curse bearers with the same idea will come here. Talk to anyone you see you seem suspicious. I'm gonna ask that guy, <laughs> that fucking guy, what's up? Hey, you there. Sorry to bother you. I've got some questions. Ah, okay. It's the, it's the foot guy. A curse? I mean, there could be any number of curses. Someone mentioned, uh... I'm trying to remember. That was a long time ago, but Shogo's conversation with Yoko, where they brought up... Oh, he mentioned, like... Oh, my God. There's Wreck of Fates. Word. Go. Yeah, we've only seen three of these. It's very pretty art. Eighty. Hulk craze. There is a question mark, and it is very high up there. Legends. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Uh, despite what the name would imply, there's actually more than ten of these strange tales. These are the most famous seven. He was talking about how, you know, calling it the seven mysteries is better than calling it, like, the ten mysteries or the twelve mysteries. It just sounds better. So it's just completely arbitrary. Yutaro Nami Gaki? Okay, so he just he is using the same name. <laughs> I just wanted to check. Am I answering stuff? The fucking glasses push. He's in a Bill Cosby sweater. Incident at the former Yasuda Gardens. The dead policeman. Can't imagine a detective would come all the way out here otherwise. Hey, have you ever heard of the Evergreen Beach? Tell him to answer my question. Fuck you. Answering your question. I'm here to look for the evergreen beach from the seven mysteries of Hanjo. I don't think they knew anything about it. Not here? Like, I will not talk to him here? Or. I, th I think voice is still off. Maybe I should turn it back on. Really? How strange. Texas, you have the curse stone of the Evergreen Beach, don't you? How the fuck did they find out? God, God damn it, Ario. Did he just pull a Tails? It was much easier than expected. Oh, he did. <laughs> How did you know I, I switched out the Master Emerald with the fake one? Because you just told me. <laughs> People know what I'm talking about? Do I have to bring up that cutscene? With simple inference, I figured it would have taken the curse if we were just in the gardens. You know that, then. Oh, that's actually reasonable. To be a curse bearer yourself. Plan to tell you from the start. 
Look. My curse stone. It's called the Foot Washing Mansion. Yeah, it's you know, that one. That one's, that one's infamous. Not so rash that I'd kill someone as soon as I found out they were a curse bearer, not without talking to them. It's the same. You wouldn't use a curse on a normal person. Let's speak as equals, shall we? Wait. He hasn't lied yet, has he? I try it just to be a baller. <laughs> you can't just put this up here. It's so tempting. What do you guys think? I need opinions. Should we be should we ball out? Should we just go ape shit? No. Oh, Vendrith is here. Good cop. Damn it, Mayhew, you're not helping my decision. Okay, okay. Why well, kill him? Because it popped up in the corner. It was so tantalizing. Or we'd rather resolve this amicably, too. Okay. Let me try. Talking about to activate his curse. I'll have to be wary of what he asks. Could tackle him and pin him to the ground, but <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. I'm just concerned what activates his curse. Something I should tell you. This is my curse stone, the Evergreen Beach. What? I should tell him how the curse works. Boss, are you having a senior moment? Yeah, exactly, because it's something fun to do. Hangs to death anyone who would try to mislead me. If you try to lie to me, the curse stone will let me know. I don't have to use it to tell, understand. Oh, okay. It will pop up with the option anytime he lies because he's. He said. He said. I'm not so rash as that I'd kill someone as soon as I found out they were a curse bearer. And then. And then it. it and then the lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh my god, this is Mori now. Yeah, understood. It's a useful power for a detective, yep. Seems I've lost the upper hand. No point for petty tricks and I'll be honest with you. <laughs> the lie detector determined that was a lie. Is there, is there a button I could use for that? <laughs> I challenge you! Latasha, <laughs> have you slept with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> the lie detector has spoken. Really? <laughs> Fucking YouTube. We're not gonna we're not gonna tackle this guy. Someone I want to bring back, so I'd like your assistance in collecting Which part is he lying about? Is he lying about wanting to bring someone back? Or is he lying about the wanting assistance? Probably this, but Maybe he's just a lunatic. All you have to do is tell me who the other curse bearers are. <laughs> I love this. You can't just look the other way. If you help me, I'll let you two go as well. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> this is so funny. Threat. No. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna march onward because we decided to be a good cop, so. Your final warning. 
which is also a lie. Ing. I cursed the foot washing mansion. I really think you could just escape. No matter who's the curse bearer, I'll take both of your soul dregs anyways. Wait, Namigaki! Foot washing mansion is a powerful curse and so simple to activate. It's ready whenever I need it. There's no escape from the voice of my feet. I can still use it because he's still lying. And I'm still just gonna chill. Ariel, get out of here. I'll find you later. What? Okay. Too late. Hear the voice of my curse echo. Yeah, isn't that fucking weird, TTR? I hate that. Yeah, it's not working. For those who are, who uh, are, have shown up more recently, uh, if you hear the voice of his ghost, then it kills you. And their way around that is you have to turn the the audio for the voice down, even though there's no voices in game anyways. But it's an extremely meta moment. Damn it. Boss, here, his curse stone. Good work. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we were never in any danger anyways. I wasn't sure if there was going to be some other trick about it, but... Well, actually, okay. Uh, remember how he was working with a woman? I don't think these detectives know that, and we haven't seen her. And I'm concerned that she might have a curse. We might be in trouble anyways. Damn it. Why? What do you think, boss? Should we lock him up? I didn't even touch you. You can't consider that assault of a police officer. Let him go. All we need is the stone. No, my right of resurrection. Give it up. The right was too good to be true from the start. I don't know who, what happened to you, but you'd be better off mourning whoever you lost the right way. See, he knows. Damn it. That was a close one. Probably be dead if he had activated his curse. Not sure what, something stopped his curse from... Mm, Uh-oh. Having another curse stone hurt. <laughs> yeah, the curse from this one's flowing into me too. Oh no. I saw it activates the curse of the foot-washing mansion. That was one of the stranger mysteries. Yeah, I don't know why. Particularly powerful curse. We're lucky we took it from him. What is it? What is it? What is it? Kills by crushing one who hears the command wash. Okay. Someone yells wash and then they get the steppies. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Let's see here. An accomplished on Miyoji. She did not use her talents for the good of the world, but for her own chill. selfish pursuit of beauty. After a fierce battle, the wind dragged herself through the streets. It was like something was had not aware of her body. Will I die? I've already obtained what I needed as long as I have this. Uh, a terrible realization dawned on her. Her legs wouldn't move. What was happening? She looked down. Once, uh, Her foot, once beautiful and delicate, had grown ulcerated and rotten. He got her. She was on the verge of death and covered in filth to boot. Crawling to a nearby house, her breath caught in her throat. Curious residents opened up, but recoiled from what they saw. <laughs> My foot is so filthy, someone please, quickly. Expired by while mumbling something unintelligible, and so ended the life of a woman consumed by evil. See, that's what I mean. We need to see the... We need to see the effects of these curses. Tyler, how is it going? What is up? Yeah, see, a giant foot will break through the ceiling. And, yeah. But if you yell wash at someone, then they just get crushed to death. There's all the places associated with the mysteries while it's still dark out. Now that we have the stone, do we unmute the voice? We could. I don't know if there'd be any benefit to it. Did he actually ever yell wash? Oh, 
Oh, we don't. We didn't even get like the subtitle or anything. Okay, whatever. We'll do crazy things to bring back someone they love. Tyler, we're ghosts, and we're we're not we're not ghosts. We're detectives recovering ghost curse stones. It's basically JoJo. We have we have two stands now. New boss, I'm fine. They may not have any spirit sense, but I'm tough when it comes to this stuff. That's why they love me in paranormal affairs. He's spiritually gifted because he can't be uh not consumed. What like what would uh can't be defiled by the desire to kill can't be compromised. This looks like... Oh, that looks like the weird guy that she brought up. Four stones, cause a tragedy, blah, blah, blah. This is scary. Trying to do all seven? You fuck up once, you die. Only 1 a.m. We're making good time. Look, there's a fucking weird guy. Excuse me, we have some questions. Ah. Okay, so. Araishi. This is the guy who supposedly. Uh, works at the school that the high schoolers who died go to, and oh my gosh, Haruway was implying that maybe that was updated. Was maybe that that guy is this guy, and I don't necessarily see the resemblance between that guy and this guy. <laughs> The janitor? Yeah, I think that I think that's the one. Yeah, not the teacher. We only saw him from behind before. This is an interrogation. We just want to talk. You're Hideki Araishi, right? The historian. Oh, he's a, a, someone else. Oh, it's com some completely different guy. Okay. Probably not the same person. <laughs> Historian, part time as a curator, and as a teacher. Oh, okay, he is. So he is. He is the person that they were talking about, and uh, Harue was worried might be the criminal who was <clears throat> paroled and then let work at the school. There's, look, there's the shirt. What do you think? Is it the same person? I have a hard time believing it, but, you know, we'll see. Quintessential obsessive researcher. Despite being unsuited for teaching, he had no choice but to take up a position at the high school to make ends meet. Uh, having a captive audience in his classes goes some way to satisfy his need for respect. His conceited nature makes him unpopular. Learned that articles he contributed for monetary reasons have earned a reputation as a researcher of the occult. But the surge of interest, uh, the volume of article requests he gets are tempting. Regular at the Kuro Kikyo Cafe, outside this hour, just doing writing stuff. This is gonna bring up this. One of the first things I did was turn off uh, this like CRT noise filter. I'm fine. I, I like it better that way. I just want to bring up that that was the game might look a little different than you'll see for other people. Spare. Yeah, maybe he's here on purpose. Small, bookish, well-spoken man. 
The guy who was thrown in jail was a uh, was worked at a cafe or something. Just wanted to mention that. It's uh Oh, they didn't include all that. Why is this file so small? They made such a big deal out of them. What are you doing here at that time of night? <laughs> doing research, of course. Admirable philosophy. Some else a book. I feel like I should say the wrong thing. I think this is the right thing. <laughs> Did they both just look at the camera? Are they breaking the fourth wall right now? The record of fates, how rude. Yeah, that's it. Sorry about that. I want I wanted the other guy to think I'm stupid. It'll make him slip up easier. Well not look right. But don't tell me you want to know how to carry out the rite of resurrection too. Perfectly honest, I'm tired of people asking me about it. I don't even care about the history, you just come crawling out of the woodwork when something interesting comes up. Like I hit a nerf. You can force me to tell you because the policeman you're mistaken. It's not what I'm here for. Actually, real quick, you can see around here. Do you have any stickers of chickens dressed like delinquents? Also related to the rite of resurrection. Well, yes, that's right. <laughs> Curse this loser. He's annoying. Time to die. I can tell you I understand. Well, he hasn't lied to me yet, also. You're doing all this research so you can use the right of resurrection yourself. You're a policeman. Do you really think people can be brought back to life? Everyone I meet, pitiful. I don't believe it. Whether it's real or not doesn't have to do with my research. Such things are better left to the occult freaks. <laughs> Damn, that's your fucking audience, bro. They're paying your bills. This change has become necessary for me to pursue the right. So now I pray that it is real. What changed? I'm sure you can imagine. The funds for my research. I received a large amount of funding for seeking the right of resurrection. If I find it, I'll receive a sum so great that I'll never have to worry about money again. Oh ho, then that means... I'm gonna sponsoring your research. <laughs> a little discovery noise, I love that. So what if they are? You have no idea how hard we work. I have no interest in teaching those children. Listen to me, I'll tell you one thing. Those experts you see writing provocative books or spouting nonsense on TV, all they're just trying to get the money they need to do their research. Uh, how popular the occult is, saying something even remotely spooky can lead to big money. What? But I bought your book! The pursuit of the unknown begins first and foremost with belief. I was so inspired by that bit. <laughs> oh, just every 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 time, just like fucking mashing that whammy button every, every time it pops up. <laughs> you have funding. That means someone's paying you money. I I would be interested in going back and killing that other guy, but. We'll deal with that later. Oh, not in my true interest. Fate of the Unknown is to be destroyed by thorough research and deep consideration. No way, I can't believe it. Record of Fates, where'd you get your hands on it? Storehouse of an old private residence in the city. And it unable to be more precise due to an agreement with my informant. He still hasn't lied a single time. What research do you want to be doing? That, that, uh... The... The curse that detects when people are lying, it really is OP for... Not only for a detective, but for this game. This game style. For when interest you, just put simply... Focus on my research is how historical accounts transform into folklore over the years. Due to human bias, the account of any event is inevitably changed by the person communicating it, yeah? 
it's not necessarily done with ill intentions. It's a game of telephone, like Yoko said. Twists and shifts, oral tradition, blah, blah, blah. When two stories are told about the same event, uh, differences change how it's told. Silly little things can turn into ter terribly mysterious legends. My research is a study of how history, culture, and legend all influence each other. Take the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo, for example. Why are some of the mysteries seemingly about nothing particularly interesting? You'd think stories wouldn't last a decade, let alone hundreds of years, so why? Perhaps putting it that way piques your interest. That didn't matter to me whether the right exists or not. People that at a period believe that what was written in the Record of Fates was real, that's all I'm interested in. Maybe you're, like, looking for people in the background now. <laughs> oh, I can talk to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. I have to be realistic. The research I'd like to do is unfortunately not lucrative. I need to take risks. I might have a guess as to what it is we're looking for. I want to keep it basic. I don't want to overplay my hand. Ugh, I'll just keep it simple. I as you know that. It was indeed a theory that the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo began because of the Rite of Resurrection. <laughs> My theory. Unraveling the Seven Mysteries might reveal the secret. And quite a few people are looking into the mysteries for that reason. Hidori Cho Park is connected to the story of the Taiko of Zigari, right? Yes, but that's not the issue. What well, is? Oh, don't, oh, we can't. It's, we can't keep going deeper. He's gonna realize we know. He's gonna figure out real quick that we're a, a curse bearer. What? <laughs> Damn it! If you know about that, then yeah. See, no need to get so defensive. We both want information, right? Why don't we have a nice, friendly chat? They say that, but I don't trust you. Perhaps you already learned about curses. Maybe you want to take my power from me. I almost revealed my hand. I'll say nothing else. See? That's what I was talking about. <laughs> Incomplete. <laughs> I was try I thought that was the least obvious of the choices. Can I resume? Where will I resume from? Yeah, I guess that one might be more specific than these others. Curse stones. That's the same thing. Here, I'll check out. Check it out. Yep, I'm a curse bearer. Leaf, it's the evergreen beach. Yep. Will you show me yours? The ever burning lantern. I'm not giving him the details. Or maybe I should. The the one that reveals the one that reveals that people are lying. I feel like that one's kind of like self. Like if you tell people about it, it might be even more powerful than if you don't. You know, because you can kill them all the same, but it'll force them to like be straightforward out <laughs> forever. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Let's just do it. I'll tell you this for free. This for a man who was hanged for spreading false rumors. Nations were unfounded. He died cursing those who saved him. The resentful memory in the Evergreen Beach. Only I could collect them all. Well, you're not going to, so... Stone lets me curse anyone who tries to mislead me. Oh, and he doesn't know I have a second one, either. Don't try and lie to me, I'll know. You would curse a citizen? You call yourself an officer of the law? I don't want to use it if I don't have to. 
Your stones are dangerous. I'd like to confiscate yours. Excuse me, but my right. All right, let me ask you one thing. You haven't used that curse, have you? No, oh, of course. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the bombshell. Oh my god. First of all, what does that curse do? We don't know that one yet, right? Did you say the beckoning light? Or, no, we had the ever-burning lantern. That's the one with the soba cart with the light that's either lit forever or can never be lit. Oh my god. I have right. <laughs> Be good. I can hand over that stone. I should rather try using it on me instead. Damn you, I won't give it to you. This guy really does look like an archer character more than anyone else. If I were to say that, what would happen? It would be a crime. Well, I could kill you for it. Be <laughs> so rare of how dangerous the stones are, I could arrest you under blah blah blah. You hand it over and all you lose is your secret ability. Think about what would happen to all your research if you were arrested. I'm not going to give it to you in Minecraft. <laughs> Fine, you can have it. Oh, he just gave it. He handed it over. First, oh, Jesus. Kills by disembowelment, one who finds themselves trapped in the darkness of the curse echo. This is the guy that killed us as Shogo. Uh, that we never got to we never got to see. So this is who it was. In the other timeline, we fucking killed this guy. Trapped in the darkness. Anjo is filled with samurai residences. The spies of the shogunate lived amongst the townspeople. The soba cart on South Wairigasui served as one of their outposts. They would communicate to each other in code by turning the lantern on or off. The night at 4 a.m. meant that someone would be having the last soba of their life and that their belly would be sliced open the next night. Or incident. Institute occurred in which a man attacked a woman in a bout of fury. He regretted it deeply, even declining to invoke the right to defend his honor, but the deed was done. He didn't accept it. Rage at having been used by his daimyo boiled over, turning into a grudge he wouldn't forget. Nearby, he saw a lantern quietly glowing in the night. When the sixth bell rang, the man cut his own stomach open. Since then, the lantern could be seen alight before the soba cart had opened and would flicker out suddenly whenever was, there was no wind blowing. This unsettling phenomenon continued. The rumors grew. They thought it was the man who cut open his stomach visiting from the beyond. It's fun how, like, you read about the history of what actually happened behind this and how it turned into this super simplified... Uh, you know, soba cart with a lantern that stays lit forever. Ah, your so research pans out. Could you tell us everything you know about what's been going on? Help us out. We'll give you all the information we've gotten. What do you say? Tell me about all the resentful memories of the seven mysteries. Believe they're the key to the secret hidden in the record of fates. Sure, why not? I'll learn about them as I go. Yeah, that was that wasn't bad. When we when we do the genocide run, it's gonna be it's gonna be some shit. It kills you if you're in the dark. Uh yeah, if the I I guess that's the implication. It's kind of in specific. When we were killed with by it before, um, we just kind of approached it, and then suddenly we were like dragged aside, and then uh, we didn't have a thing we needed to survive, so we just died. Losing rights are all public information. This is where, isn't this where Shogo was watching them? Can you at least give us a clue about how to beat these curses? Be more aggressive next time. Really make them spit it out. I'm guessing he wants to save this curse. He wouldn't have told us anything no matter what. But now we know where he hangs out. We can always send someone for him. I was surprised to hear there are actually nine of the seven mysteries, though. Yeah, two extra curse bearers. Two is there six more. 
get stuck in curse jail and then die. Okay. There's some soul dregs in Namigaki's curse stone. And he already killed someone with it. Not much, so it probably wasn't a curse bearer. Shit. Let me know who did it. We can make arrangements to take him into custody. How the fuck are you going to prove that, though? Paranormal affairs pick him up tomorrow. Now we can use the Minor Offenses Act to arrest people with curse stones. Why don't we do that with Namigaki? If we could do that, there'd be no need for paranormal affairs. What grounds would a normal detective have to put him under arrest? Okay. DLC curses? Oh my god. Oh, we can't do this yet. We get to play as Gyako Sakazaki. Oh, we might be able to continue this one, but we kind of want to start this one. Go Sakazaki. First for the right around, so we're hoping the reviver friend who jumped to her death. We took her classmate, Mio Kurosuzu. Freddy is a spirit board. Mio Kurosuzu is a psychic who works with the cops. Jacko yeah, probably doesn't know that. But we know that. Everything start. Hold on. I'm not nervous, I just want to look. Oh, I want to look around the classroom. We saw her die in the Shogo timeline, even though I didn't kill her. But it acted like he. Yeah, it acted like Shogo killed her, so I don't know what the fuck was up with that. Uh, Chiyo Shirai, she killed herself. Tried to investigate. Invited transfer student Mio to join this spirit board stuff. Yako's family has owned and operated the candy shop Sanoya. Fearful and vivacious young woman, sense of duty and compassion, blah blah blah. Quick tempered and quarrelsome. Echoes winning streak against arrogant boys and scraps to choose a child remains unbroken. Just likes beating up people, okay. Well there was uh there were definitely people I killed on purpose as Shogo, I think, but I guess we'll find we'll get into the details later. Uh the fact that she her family owns a candy shop probably overlaps with this fucking detective, you know, old man detective. God damn it. Old man detective. Uh likes candy and desserts, so he's probably he probably knows her. Oh, uh, around the coin. So it's we're, it's a Ouija board. Oh, Specter of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Oh my God, Spirit of the Specter Board, let's fuck it up. Please come on over. Spirit of the Spectre Board. Spectre of the Spirit Horde. Please come on over. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> you dumbass. Oh my god, there's even a typo on. if you are there. Ah! Whoa! What is 
my name. No. Doesn't know. Doesn't know everything. <laughs> it's the real deal, okay. <laughs> Giving the attitude, exactly. Different letters. <laughs> I've never tried it. But like, yeah, some someone's gotta be in charge, right? Someone's gotta push it places. Yeah, see the spirit knows Mio, but it doesn't know Fiaco. <laughs> Look at her. She's she's so smug. Yo, Kuro Suzu. Nice to see. Two months ago, a mild-mannered young woman. Yeah, an off-putting dark aura. Yo is the apprentice of a famous psychic. Has exceptional spirit sense. He handles spirit disturbances that break out in Tokyo before they become a problem. Barry Solomon is in a Kamagata High School. His effort to hide her spirit sense may develop an impression that she has a knowledge of the occult and paranormal. She gets along with crows and black cats. Yay! Uh, yeah, that's true. And it, I mean, spelled out like M I O, and it's not, not a whole lot to it. Get it wrong all the time. Paranormal beings just tend to take a liking to you. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop it. Oh, interesting. Just whoever felt like it's like calling a payphone, whoever nearby just picked it up. <laughs> Very rare character. the name of the boy Mio has a crush on. This <laughs> doesn't everyone ask this of spirit boards. Is that what people use spirit boards for? Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's it. No is correct. Let's move on. He has a crush on someone. Boy isn't in our class. Yes. Wow. Don't make me exercise you. Is it a teacher? Oh my god. No. Yeah, go cut it out. We need the effort to sneak in at night. We shouldn't waste time. <laughs> Alright. Cause of death. And Michio Shiraishi in our class died by committing suicide one week ago really commit suicide. Ah! <laughs> I love that little sound effect. Never believed it from the start. Now the important part. Oh, hey, there she is. Geo. Second year student. Found deceased one week ago in a back alley. Entire body broken and contorted. Jumped from a nearby apartment building. No suicide note. Honor student, excellent grades, 
positive outlook on life, courageous spirit. Uh, they were friends for a long time. Blah, 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 blah. On your father's death three years ago, moving to a new house. Chio recently began avoiding Yako. All the two remained in the same area of town. Gradually grew further apart. Yako was worried, but incapable incapable of wading into the complexity of, of Michio's home life. Days passed, Michio longed to confess everything the moment he never came. Michio carried an old talisman that over her father with her at all times. Okay. Died an accident. Yeah. Slip and fall? No. Like on the ground, and toward it. it was an accident, but not a fall. Yeah, this is complicated. What happened to Mashio that day? You know the details. Yeah, that, that's that's too complicated to ask. We know she died in an accident. We should ask if like if he was murdered on accident. I don't know. That's a hard one to follow up with. Oh no, we're gonna use the Rite of Resurrection to bring Machio back to life. <laughs> Do you know where that is? Yeah? Don't fucking do that! That's a bad idea! <laughs> Who the fuck was that? Calm down, you can't let go. Ah! Oh. Oh, we're, oh, we're getting... We're getting cursed. Oh, bring it on. Such a deep sorrow, resentful memory, close to our mind. No, that's a that's a dope outfit. Here. Oh, it's the fool's procession? Oh boy, it's the Tanuki one. Not a curse stone, fool's procession. You can use it to kill those who hear the sound produced by the curse echo for more than 30 seconds. The effect is negated if you're seen in that time. Oh, this one's actually not... This doesn't seem that good. This one's way funnier when it's just like... They call it the procession of the Tanuki because there's probably those, those, those silly little guys. Nope, let's get into the real shit. What actually happened? That's sick. I like that art. Oh, our arms all fucked up. Omiyo stood atop the tall festival tower. It was her time to shine. Uh, years since she joined the troupe, but she had yet to enjoy her day in the spotlight. She wasn't particularly pretty or talented. As a gossip and a loud mouth, she wasn't well liked. And the other girls thought of her as a teacher's pet and bull leader. Uh, she didn't care. It's whatever. Everything was perfect. She wore a beautiful kimono and an Okame mask. She was set. Company met began. Applause rained down upon her from the crowd, or breathing hastily with excitement, I've got to catch my breath. That's strange, I can't take my mask off. But all the blue assaulted her nostrils. <laughs> it's probably a little late for that one. It was her screams were drowned out by the music as she squirmed and struggled. Mia was giving it her all today, we have to keep up. No, please, someone help me! She fell from the tower, riding in pain as she begged those around her for help. The music stopped in time with Omiyo's heart. Yeah, I was gonna say, Lord, that seems like the, the reasonable. Right, murderous impulse. Yeah. Yeah. So strongly desires the right. Kill them. Kill them all, Jason. with her. His death wasn't a suicide. Now we have Curse Echo. Seems really hard to use effectively. Oh god. A flashback. So you have to get someone to listen to the music from your curse stone for 30 seconds and you also have to not be seen.
hear someone from our school committed suicide. What the fuck? You go from class C, right? No way! Pretty strangely, but I can't believe it. I hear about suicides in the school news trip, but to happen here, it's scary. By the way, isn't there a girl who transferred into Class C recently? Yeah, the gloomy girl. Cool, she's at before she transferred. Also had a suicide. What? That's fishy. She was while we married last year. That's Henry stepdad is a total jerk. Oh, it's all his fault. Oh, no, it is. Oh, gross. <laughs> That's so scary. No way. I'd probably think about killing myself, too. Okay, but have you considered ghosts? Uh, Pachio, yeah, she seemed like a stereotypical honor student. Stop showing up to class and her grades started dropping after her third semester. She offed herself because her grads grades <laughs> God damn it, I can't read. Think about practice tests makes me want to die too. That's oh no, that's the other underlying theme of this game is the the uh the growing dissatisfaction of the youth with the the increasingly competitive culture. They actually mentioned that in one of the notes somewhere. I don't remember which. There's so many now. This fucking guy. Quiet. Cause of death is under investigation. What's to come to the police? Don't spread rumors. Sending everyone home for a day. No dilly dallying. School will be off tomorrow as well. Hey, you stop celebrating. We have a memorial service scheduled next week at the school assembly. If anyone wishes to pay their respects individually, whatevs. Yako, you seem different from your usual self. This is a lot less formal. This is nicer, I think. Not happy to listen. Good timing. Let's do let's do a seance. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Let's get right into it. The spirit board thing. Let's summon a spirit and ask it stuff. Like the type to know about this stuff. Yeah, you seem like you could be a secret psychic who works for the police. You gotta do it, right? Yes. Alright, let's do it. You're my only hope! <laughs> uh, no, that's okay, whatever. Also, what about the rite of resurrection? That thing Mr. Araishi apparently discovered an article about. I doubt there's many people who don't know because I'm talking about it. Oh no, now she's doing the fucking face. God damn it. Unless you get to be true to me. On the off chance that it really works. Oh my god, we could bring Michio back to life. Which, they, they just like get into this so casually. Yeah, she has a. Uh, there's a pentagram in her hair. I think there's a slice chance to bring Michio back. But how will you look for it? You know, I wonder why she had to die. She didn't leave a note or anything, but they announced it was suicide. Can't be right, she would never do that. I know she was going through hard times for her to kill herself. No way. Oh, 
everyone acts like they cared all they did was gossip about it. Put together a little piece of information, spread rumors like it's the truth. Hey, that's the theme of the game, right? Is uh, you know, the, co the communication and how playing telephone fucks everything up. The reason they're endlessly stuff like us, yeah, personally involved. She can get along with her new stepdad, her grades went down. Say things like how sad and no wonder she killed herself, how dare they? She told me she was okay whenever I talked with her because I was worried. She told me that there was something bothering her. Uh, well, that's not necessarily true. Not A lot of people don't bring up the things that bother them. I don't let Chico's death be written off. Maybe she got caught up in something bad. Talking about that body in the Asuda Gardens, which was the cop, right? Uh... Yeah, Hajime. I want to know about the truth. We're gonna ask a spirit board. I don't know if getting the answer will be easy. Everyone else is useless. If that'd make you feel better, then I'll help. Aw. Yay! She has a cute smile. It's on Michio. Oh, more notes. Okay. Anyways, fast forward to us getting fucking cursed with, like, the most useless curse. Do we wait? Yeah, what happened? Can't remember. I used the spirit board. I heard something. I passed out. I'm experiencing negative effects. Maybe it was mild shock. And okay with the spirit. Almost bad, but I got it to leave. Probably was that thing in your hand. <laughs> uh oh, freaky! It looks really cool, actually. <laughs> I really love the designs for these little, uh, these little stones. They're really neat. Oh, got the fool's procession. Oh, there's so much anger and hatred. Little like tools used for ancient curses. What? That's scary. You said you heard a strange voice, right? Can you tell me what you heard? I felt like I was at the bottom of a dark place, and this voice felt like it was echoing in my mind. Yeah, that kept shouting, kill them! <laughs> I see, thanks. Yeah, I think it may have exactly what you need in order to use the rite of resurrection. First with the power to take people's lives and turn them into soul dregs. What? A real curse. I know I said I wanted to use the Rite of Resurrection to bring back the Chio, but why? Why me? It makes no sense. Yakko, yeah, calm down. Sorry about panicking. Here's something we feel in the face of unknown. Long ago, people give names to phenomena they couldn't understand or to live with them. However, modern day developments in science and culture have pushed for the rejection of things that can't be measured. The paranormal has been treated like it doesn't exist, but they've been around since a long, long time ago. If you just understand, you can see that there's nothing to be afraid of. First, calming down is the most important. That's reality for what it is. Huh. I only really gave this stuff a shot because it's popular, but... You really do have a connection with this stuff, don't you? I suppose to an extent. What do I do? Where do I start? Curse, am I gonna die? I'll take care of the curse. That's why I'm here in the first place. What? <laughs> I'll take care of things. It'll be all right. Aw. I reject reality and substitute my own. I was going to drag you along to the spirit board. It's fine. You're desperate to help your friends. But spirit board's dangerous. Glad you invited me. All right. Do all the stuff. It looks a little... You're not cursed. It's like you've gained the ability to use the power of the curse. 
There's no problem with you. The curse stone is used under certain conditions. The curse will be placed on someone taking their life and turning it into soul dregs. It will be required to enact the rite of resurrection. Normally a curse is a spell that would only be usable by Onmyoji of considerable talent. I believe that curse stone makes it so that even normal people can use them. Here's voice of the curse stone is called the Fool's Procession, right? It's from the Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. This fool is said to be connected with a story with the same name, one of the mysteries. Not a coincidence. Yes, but... Possible you were chosen because it could feel your desire for the rite of resurrection. Here's the Seven Mysteries of Ponjo. It's possible that there are others who receive curses associated with other mysteries. Yeah, that voice also said there's other curse bearers. Not only that, apparently you can get a lot of soul dregs by killing a curse bearer. That's not good. Even if we have no intention of killing others with the curse, there's a chance we may be targeted. Eep. We'll have to avoid anyone who has another of the curses. It means we should avoid people at night as much as possible. Oh, I can't look around like this. Someone like me with no knowledge could curse someone. Yes, but it's nothing to take lightly. You could end up having it redirected right at you. Something unusual did happen while we were using the board. Right around midnight. This whole area seemed to be under the effect of the Feast of Shadows. What? <laughs> the what now? Type of spell that temporarily boosts the potency of the supernatural. It has the effect of making the powers of certain curse echoes manifest easily. Judging by its strength, it probably covers a 3-4 kilometer radius. Beast of Shadows was used to cause the resentment lingering in the area to manifest as curse stones. Someone did this. Yeah, there's a... Who's the big bad guy? Probably the narrator, but who's our number two? <laughs> likely it was done by someone who wants to uncover the Rite of Resurrection. This is something that happened naturally. How many established Cursed Stone owners do we know? Uh, let's see. There's a lot of question marks here. Okay, the Whispering Canal is Shogo's. Fool's Procession is the High Schoolers. The Beckoning Light, uh, we don't know yet. Clappers, uh, that's Harue, the mother. The Beach is the detective. The Taiko, we don't know yet. Foot washing is the weird anime guy. The Reed, we don't know. So we're missing five? No, five. Uh, how, did I, how did I fuck up that? Three? Yeah, the Reed. Tell by the scroll bar length. The reed, the Tycho, and the light. Well, I guess what I mean is, like, we know who will be... who will end up with these, or potentially end up with them. So there's three that we haven't attached to an owner yet, like, in any timeline. Beast of Shadows. Create a field that boosts spiritual energy, sure. It's a field card. Effectiveness is dependent on the abilities of the user. It's possible one has a scope and range, such a great that one can use to amplify the power of even those not naturally gifted to the spirit sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mio. This curse is real. That means I could bring back Machio, right? Rite of Resurrection would be real, too. See, that's what I mean. Like, they they keep making this assumption, but, you know, who knows? Can't do that. But it feels like it's not the time to worry about that kind of stuff. Michio died in, died in an accident. I'm sure she didn't want to. What's the issue with putting a little curse on a complete stranger? I sort of feel like it wouldn't be a big deal. What the fuck, Yako? You would never even consider taking the life of another person. Isn't the curse's influence on you? Maybe the curse's ec curse echoes grudges rubbing off on you? 
you show me it for a second? Hmm. There's something inside it. No, yeah, stop. It's like, I suddenly really didn't want you to touch it. I understand, I'm sorry, but you need to give up on the right of resurrection. That's the real curse. Using resurrection as a lure, it tempts curse bearers into using their curses. Yeah, see? I mean, it's like, that's the thing, is like, if, if the stones themselves make people want to kill, then that's one thing. But yeah, the promise of resurrection would be motive enough to get people to start killing each other. Yourself be deceived. Geo could. Uh... I think for tonight we should get you home to the rest. I'll walk. The curse's influence should subside in the morning. I've been telling you that you need to give up on the right beyond us. Even a single curse stone alone is too much to handle. Bring back the dead isn't something so simple. I know how much it hurts, but please focus on just worrying about surviving tonight. Even now, we're in great danger. I'm glad she just spelled it out. Like, people are gonna come try to kill you, so let's, let's focus on that. And ignore all the rest of the shit. First stones, power some of the use in this area, and then there's one some piece of shadows. Next also only appear after the sun has set. Setting a limit on when they can be used if curses are strengthened. Curses can't be used inside this area or during the day. Speaking of limits. Actually, use a curse to kill someone, it seems there's conditions that need to be met. Like how many, how my curse echo needs someone to listen to the sound it makes for 30 seconds? Yep. How do I even do it? <laughs> I just like will it. If I try. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Knock it off. If there are conditions that have to be met, the power to kill someone without leaving behind evidence is dangerous enough. In that sense, maybe you really have been cursed. I already got wrapped up in this, even though I'm here. Stone. I think whoever holds it becomes a curse bearer. Probably be best for me to hold on to it, but I feel bad about forcing it on you. Since a powerful force rejected me, I don't think I'd be able to take it. Why? We tried separating it from you to curse me, Trigger. That's how bad I sense it wants to stay with you. Curse Stone might look like nothing more than an old Mitsuke carving. I can sense powerful, resentful energy from it. I don't think it's a good idea for me to even touch it. It may seem like I know what I'm doing, but I don't know how to handle something that's powerful. If you're away and someone with bad ideas picked it up, it could be bad. It would be safer to avoid the risk of getting one else involved and have you hold on to it for now. Uh, we need to make it a daybreak, and if you weekend once it's morning. Two things you should remember. First, do not fulfill the conditions while it's night. Second, should you happen to fulfill the conditions, don't use the curse. Let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, hopefully no one else is here. Ah! Why'd the lights go out? Mio, are you okay? Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh, I have control. Oh, please no jump scare, Reno. Ah! Well, like I was saying, I don't think that was a janitor. I don't think the beech tree guy made the Mitsuki. Well, I, I don't know. I don't even know if it's relevant. There's just like a slight inference that maybe it, that was the guy, and I don't think it matters who made them necessarily yet. Like that doesn't mean he cursed them or anything. Like who, who knows? <laughs> we'll figure, we'll see. <laughs> it's just an uh, it's a it's just a random coincidence, and there's so many coincidences about everything that's happening. I'm just gonna spin this shit until the next jump scare. Hello. <laughs> I 
Well, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like I looked up what a Netsuke carving was, and it's extremely just what these things are. Uh, what is it? But yeah, the the guy who was hung, uh, known for his kind temperament, and skill in crafting Netsuke clamps. Like I didn't think there's no way that's a. I can't say there's no way that's a coincidence, but it is a coincidence. Or is it? There, there's there's no way it is it is possible that that is related you know that we don't know anything else else about this guy or whatever so careful your field of vision is being limited ah uh. escape from komagata high yes let's hit it no curse the effects of the other curse echoes are already appearing at school, so they're gonna get the fuck out of here. I don't know what was up with the the jump scare here. I didn't get a good look at it. It looked like a ghost child. Another curse echo different from mine. I think so. It's just been discovered by another curse bearer. That means we've got to fucking hurry. Someone's there in that classroom. What? Oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Check it out stealthily. Don't go in there. Yeah, what if it's bait? I feel like there, there's no logical way for us to choose, so let's just... Let's get the fuck out of here. The person who used that curse echo might be in there. If we could just see who it is, it could help us later. Oh god. Well, it doesn't matter. Anything? Get a look around. Oh, oh god. Who's ready for the jump scare? Should I just spin it? Should I just spin to win? My we're, my idea is just to whip the camera around until it triggers the jump scare and then to go from there. Is everyone on board? I hate this shit. <laughs> this, this, ugh. Probably can't. Well, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's just them. our homeroom teacher, Mr. John Arbuckle, and Hitomi from Class A. That bastard. He's at it again. I have to kill him! Oh, we don't know what he's doing. I won't let him get away with this. Yo, <laughs> Yaka, what the fuck are you talking about? Who's there? That's oh, us. There he is. Kohei John Janoichi. English teacher, homeroom teacher, da da da. Seen alone with Hitomi Okuda in a classroom late at night. What the hell's all this backstory? The honor student, top of his class, blah blah blah. Uh, he cracked under the pressure. He said it fell into a depression. Failed to keep up with his classes. Da da da. Never aspired to be a teacher, but figured it was the least he could do to, with his talents. He considers his students to be beneath him and looks down on them all. He's a dick. Wait, here's Hitomi. Rebellious student. Uh, Rick, he should show up to school. She takes all her classes and spends her time hanging out on the rooftop with her fellow troublemakers. Oh, it's like, it is fucking, like, Cromartie High. Everybody's here's one of the worst offenders. Early ordinary student when she started high school, but trouble at home. Had to take a turn for the worse. Uh, just wandering around at night. Warnings from teachers about dress code and conduct and da-da-da. She's jerk. Recently, teachers are using harsher measures and even corporal punishment. Even exacerbated the animosity between Hitomi and the school. 
And currently the leader of the Troublemakers, but the title does not mean much to her. Okay, so she's from already high. How old is that anime now? Like, I, I can't stop making, like, bringing that up, but Marty High School. Uh. Original run, 2000 to 2006. When the anime was 2003, 2004. When I watched it in college, it was fairly new. That would have been 08 or 09. Where the normal guy goes to the delinquent school. Yeah, that's great. And then, and then silly shenanigans ensue. That's the one with the famous uh, pencil dropping scene. Or where he, like, he drops a pencil and the guy picks it up and eats it. I, I, I can't keep, keep dropping these random references to shit, and it's like, I gotta back it up. Should I bring up the YouTube video? <laughs> I don't even think it's that long. He ate my pencil. I mean, hang on. Let's do the thing. Yeah, Mechazawa. Yeah, there's a gorilla high schooler. There's a robot high school. It's probably the most famous scene from the anime. At least the one I've seen, like, thrown around a lot. Plus, it's great. You can just throw it up and it's like, if you need to understand what the show is about, it's basically that. <laughs> Thanks for stopping me. I have this uncontrollable rage. Or what's gotten into me? Well, it was probably the curse. We think it's par partly the curse's influence, but yeah. Surprise, you know, Hitomi. She stands out a lot. Yeah, sure. She dresses like a delinquent. Rarely shows up to school. Uh, I want to watch out for that. The fucking, the fucking semi-transparent JPEG of a screaming guy <laughs> back there. <laughs> Could Mr. John Oichi or Hitomi really be a curse bearer? I don't know, but we should be careful just in case. Yakko. There's a fucking ghost back there. Take the entrance, don't look back. Fucking serious. There in ten minutes, go straight home, okay? Go! Look back, don't look back. Some quality spookage. Oh, this is where Shogo might turn up. The gym and. Uh oh. Oh, I hate when you can turn this, because you know you're going to turn and there's something fucked up. Who the fuck is this guy? Let me hear this late. Don't you know what time it is? Well, it's Mr. Ashy Mia. Is he called... <laughs> is he called Ashy Mia because he's smoking a cigarette? This isn't little Yakko. Anyway, students aren't supposed to be outside playing around at night. Oh, it's the janitor. Why is he wearing, like, a formal shirt? Remember, we still have three missing, uh, curses. Question mark. Janitor. Predecessor was nearing retirement, so he began working as replacement, blah, blah, blah. Popular among students for his friendly and caring nature. Remembers all the people and... Oh, he's old man Ash. Okay. He used to be a simple, amiable man. Occasional shrewd marks led to speculation that he may have led a far more interesting life than it seems. He will be remembered as one of the seven mysteries of Okomagata <laughs> High School for some time to come. Okay. Oh, that's a good point, Free Zero. That's uh that's dangerous. He's the one they think is a murder from the Nijima case. Uh okay, yeah, I getcha. So we think the 
or uh, the the mom or whatever thinks that this guy might have turned into this guy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it, mm. there. <laughs> this guy, this guy. That's some fucking. He's like emaciated. He doesn't. He doesn't eat anymore. He just smokes cigarettes. He eats the cigarettes when he's done with them. <laughs> Same eye color. Well, he's got beady little fucking little fucking weirdo eyes. And you never. You never know. Rough around the edges. I don't take you from it. Act out like this. I'm not acting out. What about you? Should you smoke on school grounds? Well, it ain't lit, so it's all right. That's a good point. See, he is just eating them. Why are you here so late? Uh, got something in my classroom. Again? You have you don't have nothing with you. Oh, wait, you do. What's that here in your hand? No, don't let him see that. Got it for my grandpa. It's really important to me. Girls these days sure have weird tastes. Well, okay, whatever. Go home. I'm not telling anybody. No, wait, I can't let you walk home alone. It's late. Alright, we just little hurry and lock things up. But, no, I need to... Oh, damn it. I can't check on her, but I don't want to go back into school, you know? Like, I wish I could tell her to just sit here and wait for a bit. Tell him, tell him that you came with someone and you're waiting for them. I don't know. What's with this in, like, white day and, like, do, do students ever go back to school after hours? I wouldn't, not, not for a million fucking dollars. I, when I was a kid, I would, I would, like, as soon as the fucking bell rung, I was out of there. Yeah, it's so common in, in, like, the anime and stuff. Doing what I was told. All right, Mr. Genochi was looking for you in the main building. What? He's right. He's here. What the fuck? Well, that means I can't be locking up yet. Check the floor. I'll go take a peek. If the house is close by, I'll be fine. Really. Snack shop, right? Suppose you'll be fine. Be careful. Stay on the big well-lit streets, and if something happens, shout fire. I don't want to be losing any more students. Imagine you know that better than anyone. <laughs> His face. <laughs> he just looks like a fucking tired, pissy old guy. Oh, so she's camping out waiting for Mio. Okay, that's what I was hoping. That's what I wanted to happen. It's late, it's waiting for 20 or 30 minutes, no sign of her. Going down the road. She should have just fucking gone home. Oh, it's this asshole. Question. Where's the story chart? Because... No, I just want to look at it. I know, I want to know what time this is. I need to know if this is before or after he meets the detectives. I think it's, I think it's after. Because it's 2 a.m. now. Raishi, why is he even here? Discover the right. Wouldn't be strange for him to be involved with curses. If he has a curse stone. Managed to escape. I can't let that go to waste. Oh, and she just bails. No question asked. Okay. That that's good. <laughs> wow, all the way home. Made it. I'm home. Walks never felt so long. Go for Mio once it's morning. Now, rest time. Oh, and that's it. We did it. If it's lit up green, does that imply like a separate branching pathway? I think that's what that might mean. Time's at 9:20. Oh my god, I can continue a little longer. <laughs> I can't stop. This is, this game is addicting as shit. Yeah, just no fucking around. We're gonna follow the plan, as said. 
and you know that's sometimes that's how a story should go okay so meanwhile uh clappers blah blah I'm gonna hop back into her thing Meanwhile, with Haruway and and fucking what's his name, Richter, clown, Richter Kai, and Haruway. Okay, back with the the the, uh, the mystery of her child's kidnapping and murder. What the curse bearer is up to. Nita River is a good distance from any of the seven mysteries. Unlikely, the other curse bearers will come here. Excuse me, whoa. -oh. oh, it's probably that one guy's weird girl partner. Oh my god, it's her. We gotta find out who the fuck this is. Hello. Didn't mean to startle you. Terribly sorry if we I've gotten the wrong people. Would you happen to be curse bearers? Okay, she's up front. Curse bearers, what's that then? And someone who's gathering souls for the rite of resurrection. You have heard of the rite of resurrection, haven't you? Everyone's talking about it. Here to tell me more, Miss. What's your name? Mayame Tono. University student. No reservations telling us about what's happening. Okay, so she's probably another one. It might be the daughter. Oh, of, uh, of Detective Man. Uh, this guy. We have two university-ish age people, so one or the other's gotta be the person. This isn't a Cosby sweater, like the other guys was. more to the right of resurrection than meets the eye, you see. The best way to collect soldier eggs is to kill other curse bearers, and that's about the size of it. Hope it wasn't too much to follow. <laughs> what the old world we live in, huh? Are you saying you're one of these curse bearers? Not quite, it's complicated. I'm not, but Utaro is. Boyfriend? Oh, heavens no. <laughs> that creepy anime foot fetish guy? No. <laughs> We're partners in crime. Okay. Funny way of putting it. We have a young couple of dimensions. Yeah, brony friend Zoni. Where's this Utaro? About that. He's not a curse bearer anymore. More like a former curse bearer. Yeah, okay, so this is actually, he got it Boinked by the detectives. I don't know the details, but apparently he lost his curse stone. Typical, right? He makes such a show of being a top student only to flunk where it counts. So now I'm out here looking for curse bearers myself. If you want something done right, what possible recourse could she have? So what are you going to do with the Rite of Resurrection? Utaro has his own plan all laid out. I don't know if I can get behind it, though. It seems... How do I put it? Self-centered. I mean, if you got a chance to resurrect the dead, it would be a waste not to use it on someone that really matters, right? Well, I was planning to steal his curse stone at the last second and use it for myself. Good plan. Well, until he lost it, that dumbass. But well, don't tell Utaro I was going to do that, okay? I don't think he'd be happy. Why is she coming here telling us all this? My, aren't you dashing? You really have your heart set on this right. What are you hoping to use it on? Promise you won't laugh. Please tell me it's Martin Luther King. Let me tell you my master plan. Prepare to be amazed. Him. I'm an art student. Good block prints are my specialty. Ukiyo in particular. Oh, she's gonna resurrect Hiroshige or someone. It's a strange interest for a girl to have. 
You know, people often think of Ukiyo-e as an inaccessible high-class art form, that's totally untrue. Back in the Edo period, it was art for the masses, amusement for the common people. I think I've ever heard of this, I'm gonna look this up later. So when you think about it, we feel like the same thrills from every brushstroke as they did back then, isn't that fascinating? Sure, totally. <laughs> Super interesting. Oh my god, he's just gonna resurrect Hokusai? The creator? That's... Did Hokusai do the Great Wave? I always get him... Hokusai and Yoshige mixed up. Go somewhere around here in the up period? That's right. Yeah, okay, that's him. Yeah, there's there's the wave. So much more than just mountains and waves. It's only the teeny tiny tip of a veritable iceberg of work. I, mean, I only really know him from those landscapes myself. I'm glad they put in the effort of showing the the famous one, so there would be like, be like, hey, you guys remember this? Yeah, we're talking about this guy. Hookside died at the age of 90. He left for you at home. over 30,000 drawings. Multiple drawings a day for 80 years. Amazing, right? Kept on drawing right up into his old age. Even in his final years, he was never satisfied with his own work. Dying words were, should have been afforded me, but five more years I shall finally become a true artist. Even on his deathbed, he still thought he had more to learn. He's already the greatest painter and artist of his era. Who knows what he could have done with more time? That's what I want to find out. This this girl is fucking funny. <laughs> Are you saying, yep. He, he wanted to move out of 100 houses, but he only made it to 93. <laughs> what? Was he moving that often? Imagine the masterpieces you create with modern techniques. I feel all dizzy just thinking about it. You've got to be kidding me. I love it. I love her motivation. You want to use the Rite of Resurrection to bring back Hokusai? <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is awesome. I love her. Oh, and she, yeah, she's fucking pissed. <laughs> Tsushika Hokusai. Yep, the Great Wave off Kanagawa. That, that's the famous one. During the late Edo period. <laughs> She's a simp, yeah. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Prolific artist, wide variety of works. Uh, the popularity declined in the Meiji period. He remained a core figure at the center of the Japanese movement. Providing inspiration for countless artists. Indifferent to money and decorum, lived a life that appropriately really resembled that of the whimsical and otherworldly scenes he depicted. Become the title of Gakio Rojin Manji, or the old mad painter. Cool. <laughs> Think. Oh, this bitch. <laughs> I'm sure, Yutaro would laugh if he heard this, but I'm totally serious. Making the Hokusai Revival project happen. It'll be a national sensation. This is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Mind if I ask why you thought I was a curse bearer? Well, that, I'm sorry, I was rude. Saw two of you out late, and I suppose I made assumptions. Sorry if we gave you the wrong idea. What was your plan if we were curse bearers? Great questions. The answer is I was going to ask you very nicely for your curse stones. I we'd have given to you just like that. Maybe not, but you know what they say, you never know until you ask. We found the big bad, not yet. But everything's uh, nice and complicated and interweaving, and it's been very fun. I so really love your boyfriend for like to try something so risky. Goodness no, we're just friends. Brony friends only. I mean, you aren't curse bearers, so I'm just bothering you, aren't I? Please ignore me. Hold on. Yutaro lost his, his thingamabob. I don't know what happened. All I know is that he came back saying he didn't have it. Although, well, strange that you'd probe into that of all things. I'm just the curious sort. Sorry if it's a touchy subject. Oh, I don't mind. I don't particularly care about keeping it a secret. 
Gosh, is that the time I should go? And get my hands on a curse bear before daybreak. Sorry for flagging you out of the blue like that. Best of luck. I love her. She's great. <laughs> Working with Utaro. She loves Hokusai so much that she wants to resurrect him from the dead. Clever but calculating university student. Only has time for her own interests. I think the best of a recent boom in the popularity of female university students incited by their appearance across TV commercials and radio. I not read this trend so long as the lads are getting their hands on whatever she needs. Ayami has figured out that older men will fall for her. She acts a little bit stupid. She was approached by Yutaro in town, and although she was not attracted to him, agreed to date him because his family seemed rich. However, she does not think much of him as a human being and is beginning to grow bored of their relationship. Dang. I guess we have them all, all themselves. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Can't imagine that happens in the story, so we might not never find out. There goes trouble. If we're going on after cursed stones. We should keep an eye on her. Before she left, she wished us best of luck. We got at least an inkling that we're curse bearers. Right, there's a good chance we'll clash sooner or later. Head on back to the mansion, ma'am. I think I'll tail her for a while. She ain't saying she a gold digger. She ain't messing with no broke otters. This whole reports about curse bears, only concerned about Ayame. That's right here to continue. Let's, let's hit it up. Back at the Shigima Mansion. Back here again, I left Richter to continue looking for curse bearers and came home alone. Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, these are so cool. I love these designs. Look, it's a delinquent ostrich. Oh, we gotta find more of these. The Ostras, the Ostraziser. I feel like that should be like, the C and the Z should be backwards. The Ostracizer. Nice. This will be enough to gather the soul dregs. What if nobody uses any more curses? I'll lose my chance to bring him back. Uh-oh, is she going back out? Is that what she's tr thinking about? Old Shigima Mansion, rebuilt after the Great Kanto Earthquake. Always stayed the same. Even the war didn't touch it. Never liked it growing up. Always wanted to live somewhere more modern. A big old thing. Shigima Mansion was at one time a bustling place. Where the social elite mingled. A year ago, however, the head of the house was struck with a sudden melancholy and ever since the mansion stood silent. Thing. The wind in the trees. That cool ostrich sticker. I don't think there's anything else I can look at. <laughs> that Well, that was short. I was gonna. I wanna do one more big chunky chapter. Can we hit these guys one more time. Catch up with the cops. Waiting Ar Araishi, the curse bear, and blah blah blah. Three curse stones in total. Well, I've visited every place connected to the seven mysteries. Last spot, we have nothing to show for it. Even every last location looks suspect. 
looking at the wrong time. Maybe there aren't her spares around. No one's been observing our movements. What? Hope we finally get a lead. Last is Kishibori Park. Is that where everything started? Oh, off we go. Oh, we're we finding. Yeah, I was gonna say we're gonna run into dead, one dead body or another. Oh, uh, what the fuck? We're too late. We already knew he was dead, though. <laughs> Like if we're coming back here, either we're gonna run into dead Yoko or dead Shogo. Bad news. Another mysterious death was reported just now. The medical unit are gonna be a while. It's bad news. They got someone else. The curse bear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look, fucking look how he died. How do they keep dying sitting up like this? Phone's ringing. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Hello. Mushi Moshi. Evening, detective. How are things looking out there? <laughs> why? Why did like the the suspicious sound effect play? Who is this? Wahaha, ha, ha, I finally got him. The real deal. Detective Tetsuo Tsutsumi himself. Wait, that's Chief Inspector, right? Come a long way since we last met. I asked you to identify yourself. Man, have you forgotten already? What time that was? I gave you quite the runaround. Wait, is this... Umichika Nijima. Like the one from the Nijima murders? You think... This fuck- the fucking thumb guy is on the phone. This motherfucker. Ding ding got I had a feeling the great Chief Susumi would remember me. Spent 20 years in a cell thanks to you. That shit was not easy. <laughs> you don't say. You thanking me. You should give me plenty of time thinking to atone for your sins. That it did, I've repented. My conscience is as clean as a whistle. Bullshit. 20 years in prison doesn't even begin to make up for what you did. I don't know. After all, the justice system was gracious enough to grant me parole. What? Is this a real Nijima? He must still have a grudge against me. It's payback? What's your goal, bro? What's your goal? I mean, I understand. I've repented and seen the light. I'm a good boy since I was granted parole. I even got a job. I've been real serious about walking the right path. Well, that's very nice. Keep it up. But it was no good. When the opportunity arose, it was impossible to hold myself back. I knew I had to give you a little token of thanks or I'd never truly be able to have a fresh start. You get what I'm saying? Thanks, I don't need anything. I try to live a quiet life. Oh, it's no hassle at all. It would be all too easy to just kill you. Tear you apart. That wouldn't be very satisfying. Certainly not after 20 fucking years of waiting. Long time to nurture a grudge. You bet it is. I let it gnaw at me, grow inside of me. I thought of nothing else. All that time I played model prisoner, endured the harassment those asshole guards threw. I did it all for you, Tsumi, so please just accept my deepest and most sincere feelings. Shut the fuck up. That attitude of yours is why I'm saving you for less. Okay, but actually, what is your goal? <laughs> Order is whatever it is, bring it on. I'm not running away. I just told you, I'm not coming for you yet. Pay attention when people talk, shithead. This time, I want to see you on your knees, weeping in despair, begging me for mercy. Wow, no, I'm so sorry, dear Najima. Please forgive me, I won't do it again. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, that's why I hate you so much. Worth a shot. Really, that would sate me, asshole? You must be crazy. Blah, blah, blah. Enjoy cracking your jokes while you still can. I'm gonna kill everyone you care about, one by one. 
very disappoint, but I'm a lone wolf. I don't have anyone like that in my life. A boss would have helped me. Shut the fuck up, Ario. He's, he's a stupid asshole. Are you just trying to protect me? Shut the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Not a single person you care about. Not even your daughter, Yoko, or someone else. Yeah. You fucking dare, I'm warning you. Well, that's more like it. Living all on her own now, isn't she attending university? Tell me she just happens to live in Hanjo. She does. This is a funny asshole, I'm gonna find you and make you pay. I love to keep going, I wanna hear you lose your mind, it's music to my ears. Ah, fuck you. No, seriously, what's your goal? Look forward to chopping up your precious daughter, it'll be just like old times. I don't let that happen. It's a loop. Okay. How'd you find me? That's my favorite part. The sound of confusion in your voice, it's to die for. I'm not telling you shit. Have fun racking your tiny little brain for it. I guess I can give you a little hint. Well, you see. I have the one sided read. Ah, oh, goddamn it. I knew it. <laughs> Assuming you have the evergreen beach, though. Nima, you're a curse bear. This is the power of the curse. Indeed, and what a peculiar curse it is, but that's where my hints end. Damn it, the curse echo could have fallen into worse hands. One more thing. The most important thing I thought there's uh Oh, but you don't want to miss this, it's the main course. I just go after your daughter, but something tells me you'd get bored. No, I'm good. You got me real fired up, you're in my head, well done. Gift tailor made for you. I'm gonna kill all the people you swore to protect. Every last living person living here. You couldn't. Oh, but with this curse of mine, I can. I'll give you until dusk. And then I could probably get a couple hundred people or so. It'll all be your fault. Oh, it must be so hard to know they'll all die because of you. So tragic. Wah ha ha. There's no way an amateur like you could pull off a curse that strong. Fortunately, I can. My curse stone is particularly strong. I got my fun without needing to hold back. Almost like the Feast of Shadows cast just for me. Oh, so he knows about that. Yeah, what the fuck? Who tipped you off? Was it the fucking... It was... I would assume... Uh, where's Araishi? I would assume this bitch had something to do with it. The Storian guy? I kill myself first and ruin all your fun. What about that asshole? <laughs> you think I'd call it off because you're dead? There's no running away for you. Find you. I won't let you get away with it. You got 12 hours. You really think your paltry little organization will be able to make a dent in my plans? Well, I don't think we. You didn't have that much time. Isn't it like 2. No, it was like either 2 or 4 a.m. by now, right? And the curses are going to stop working at daybreak. All enough soldier eggs to pull off the right of resurrection. How splendid. Anyway, see you. Bye. Damn, that was my favorite Legends, too, and we're probably not going to find out what that curse does for a while. I didn't even get him into custody, so we're to HQ. The fact that the seven mysteries are wrapped up in this is going to make things tricky. Just our luck couldn't have happened to a worse guy. Sounds like his curse will be able to kill a lot of people at once. He's going to find out where he is, but then we're going in alone. I collect any curse stones as we can before then. Let's hurry. Later, it was before the total three suspicious deaths were discovered that night. Jima's threats, along with the curses, were kept secret. However, the Hanjo serial killing still made international headlines following the death of police officer Hajime Yoshimi. Jimmy's request large scale investigation was launched. Are we just getting like a quick wrap up, like in the roll credits? Jimmy and Irio themselves were just in their bears, but their search ended in vain. And close on that curse night. Yeah, what happens now? Oh. Okay. 
Okay, we'll continue a little later. Or a little more. Nice murder. Problems <laughs> just piling up. Yep. Oh, 9 a.m. Okay. So the next day. No more curses. Does that mean the curses will work the next day? That's the way I managed to gather some info. Not very scary during the day. Forensics has finished their investigation. The body's out. Closing the park to the public for the time being. Looks pretty normal with the sun out. I don't think there's any... Oh! Oh! Oh, look at that! A, 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 a duck with an afro. Yeah, Shogo might actually just be fucking dead forever. Swan LFP swoost. You okay? Mm. Fucking love it. Only gathering info. Glad to have it on my side. It gives me a chance to rest up. The station where hectic, but I managed to get info. HQ is mobilized as a search unit for Najima. So far, we haven't received word. He wasn't at home at war work. But that he vacated the last known address a week ago. You have no idea where he is. Texting with the factory he was working at. They told me he was only there for a month before he quit. He worked at a factory. He is not the janitor. Okay, that's... I think that settles that. Unless... I mean, he was only there for a month before he quit. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Nobody caught that. I thought this was his probation officer. He'd been doing house visits and interviews, but never bothered checking his workplace. So that he lost track of the when he moved to a new place. That's sloppy. Here they're giving parole to just about anyone these days because they're running out of room in the prisons. There aren't enough probation officers. Yep. Asshole is annoyingly good at faking remorse or insanity, whatever the situation calls for. Back when I arrested him all those years ago, just talking to him left a bad taste in my mouth. Probably hiding in her false name, which will make it hard to track him down. That explained why he was he so brazenly made contact. That asshole, he's mocking us. For now, the paperwork to circulate his name and mugshot is being filed. It's gonna take long, we only have until dusk. Give me, give me like two seconds. I don't need a long break, I just need to stand up and do something real quick. Heating oven because I'm totally eating food after this. Last multiple days, Yoko can still come back and screw with things. Yeah, that's true. He's out there somewhere. Strange deaths. Oh, I can already move. Speaking of Najima, managed to reach out your daughter and best put her into protective custody. Can't reach her. They call, but she's not picking up. That's not good. She never came home. Why weren't you the one trying to? Why were? Yeah, what? Never contact info. All right. Told her mother that it was an emergency, and that we'd send an officer to find her and get her to safety. I was reluctant, but I got her to agree. If you, her former father, can't find her, how did Najima do it? <laughs> former, huh? <laughs> Sorry, just kind of slipped out. Anyways, suspected it's only with this curse echo. Curse could kill a lot of people in a short time. We can allow him to act from distance. The 
one-sided read. What a man stalking a woman who goes insane and chops her up. Yeah, that, that was my favorite of the stories. Uh, it was... One-sided read. The guy tries to win a girl and she isn't into it, so he stalks her and then he chops her up. By chops her up, he chops one arm and one leg off of one side of her body and throws them into a canal. And then, ever since then, the reeds growing on the canal have only sprouted leaves on one side. Very dark, but it's poetic. There's whereabouts. All you can do is throw more people at it. Check in with HQ to see if they got updates. That's around Euro where Yoshimi was stationed. It's investigating the apparent suicide of a girl named Michio Shiraishi. Trying to determine whether it was really a suicide. Looking to the height of the building, the force of the impact, her wounds. I suspect it's some kind of foul play because he ordered a full investigation. Already deemed a suicide, and superiors told him not to stir things up. According to the report, the body was found at the foot of the building. First of all, before I forget, who is uh, Ushimi? Oh, this guy! Oh, he was looking into her suicide. And then he died. There's so much suspicious shit. <laughs> Ridiculous. No evidence of vehicular collision says so ruled suicide, but... Struck other flat-faced vehicle traveling at high speeds could have inflicted similar damage. There was someone... Sometimes a traffic accident can look an awful lot like a fall. Chance it wasn't suicide, but what a terrible way to go. No brake marks on the road, so it was a hit and run. What would have hit her without slowing down? The vehicle can come out from a collision like that unscathed. Ask the traffic bureau to keep an eye out for vehicle's frontal damage. I haven't heard back yet. It was a traffic accident rather than suicide. It's possible someone silenced Yoshimi because he was on the verge of discovering the truth. True. The driver is the one who did him in. Quite. Yoshimi already talked to forensics in the traffic, right? His death wouldn't have covered things up. True. The suicide was a cover up for a hit and run. It doesn't seem like enough reason to kill a cop. Unrelated, I got something else too. I managed to get a hold of Michio Shiraishi's address. Shimi went there a bunch over the course of his investigation. Might be a good idea to drop by. Remember? <laughs> Let's move on to the next topic and then asks about the same topic. Remember the girl Yoshimi met with the day he died, Hitomi Okuda? Community safety didn't have any contact for her on hand. They had her parents' information, but I called. They said they hadn't heard from her in a month. Lots of family issues. They, they said they didn't want anything to do with her anymore. They said she still goes to school once in a while, so we might be able to find her there. Not sure we have the time for a stakeout now. Could be a key witness. Can we have community safety track her down? Might be tricky to get it done today. Uh, school's closed today. we can do today we may have to forget about it. I mean someone died at that school today I'm sure. <laughs> this whimsical ass music. Some information about Yoshimi's fiance okay. His name was Mayu, Ch Mayu Chozawa 27 beautician. A picture. Where's the picture I want to see. Community safety hasn't been able to find her. Oh yeah, she got nice earrings. Beautician. Whereabouts unknown. Final suspect of crime and passion, perhaps. Hmm. Fairly common for people to be killed by a lover or spouse, but Yoshimi was well liked, and they've been together for over ten years. Yeah, um, well, unlikely. Yeah, she might be in danger if she's missing like that. 
Cursed Bears. We only know the identity of four Cursed Bears, you included. Utaru had the... Taro had the foot washing mansion, and Deki or Aishi had the lantern. Got both of their stones, and there's Mishima who claims he has the reed. Oh, they just put it all in here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's true. We don't. Oh, man. In this, yeah, in this timeline, we don't currently know who has the Whispering Canal. I guess Yoko did have it, but we don't know that for sure. Here we go. What else is there? Tracking down to Jima may lead us to the others. He should be our top priority. Wait, if this is the... Okay, let's think about JoJo for a minute. If this is... If this is a JoJo situation, that means whoever the big boss is has some some like reality defying stand, right? Like the ability to stop time or like or some of the other ones. The re like the really hardcore ones. It's just crazy to think like what whatever this curse is, I hope it's something like really fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Only Susumi can stop him. So hopefully they like to lie. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I wonder if the curse stone would have worked over the phone. Because if it does, then that implies that the other guy never lied even once. His power is similar or counteracts it. Yeah, exactly. Maybe Najima has to tell a lie in order to make his work. Three mysterious deaths were confirmed, including one in this park. Yeah, show goes here. Drowned in the middle of the park. It's this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, like between an island of death by drowning, yep. <laughs> Stop thinking here, you're starting to get the hang of this. Oh, he was 25. Does that nail down? I think that nails down the current date. Body of a woman found behind a residential complex. Kawako Hayashi. 29. Crushed by some kind of- Oh, she got the foot! Uh, what's his face? Oh my god. Uh, creepy, creepy anime guy. Great. I hate, I hate how deep I've gotten into this fucking game. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hard to remember names. No, where's the, where's the foot guy? Oh, his, you, Yutaro? Oh, yeah, because he has the, uh, the the Cosby sweater. So he fucking killed... Yeah, when we were talking to him, he mentioned... He said that he hadn't used it yet. And... That was a lie. Your weapon, or something large, flat, and heavy that could crush her in one swoop. Like a big foot! Some mysteries. This is Namigaki's doing. Yep. Which one was just a regular person? Oh yeah, that did that did pop up though, didn't it? That's I, I clicked on it. it. Wasn't her. It was. Maybe it didn't pop up. Maybe it'll pop up after. Oh, hey, John Oichi. Oh, the teacher died. The courtyard. From a fall, it was an impact.
real quick. Colonel Sharp fall, heart impact crushes. This sounds like the same way that the high schooler died. But that should be impossible because that would mean that someone got a curse early. Do we do we know what the pr fool's procession will do? Kills by fatal fall. So I mean, yeah, I guess that could have been it. Well, it was probably it was it was probably this. But if that's true, then who used it? Because we know that Yako just went home and didn't do anything with this. Yeah, did she do it on accident? Or is this like some timeline where? No, that wouldn't be possible because Shogo would have been the one who killed her. Man, what the fuck? Causes in a place connected with mysteries. That's this is what I mean. It's like curses continue over multiple days. The previous final curse bear would have had it early. Hard to think about. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. A different curse or anything that one well, that doesn't have to do with the seven mysteries. <laughs> what, what, what if it's one of the nine oh. mysteries? Ooh. A powerful practitioner. One group could pull off a curse like that without a curse stone. Well, so Mio's behind all of it. <laughs> I don't know. Are there any people in this day and age could do something like that? I out that there are more killings from which the bodies haven't been found. This feels like that part of. Uh, Battle Royale. You know how like every what was it, every six hours they read out the names of people who have died? And there's like a quick recap of like, you know, blank got shot, blank, you know, fell off a cliff or whatever. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Oh sorry, he hadn't thought of uh, that there are more killings which there are no bodies yet. By my own curse stone, it seems the curses can't be activated while the sun's out. So we're safe for now. Probably why Nijima gave us till dusk. Oh yeah, I've I've never seen any of the other like movies or media. But yeah, I lo fucking love that movie. Must have known the curse stone's gonna be here today. We got till nightfall. Flush out the rest. Go to Koma Gata High School to look into Hitomi or to Michio's house to find out more about her. Okay, let's do. Oh my god, it's 10. Let's do one more. Let's go to one place. It's getting late and I've been streaming for eight fucking hours. Oh my god, we'll have to do him later. school. Tumi's the main pro tag to you. Yeah, I, I feel that. It seems like centered on him. Like the other two are related, but yeah, this is the... Uh, oh my god. Okay, high school or Michio? I'm kind of leaning Michio. I'll learn more about what the hell's been going on with her. I'm glad you've been digging it, so nine AM. Kachio's house is at the end of this road. I don't want to intimidate them, so maybe I should go alone. I 
hints, but Chio didn't actually kill herself. I think for the best we didn't find her parents. Checking it out. Streaks and arrow, so two big guys like us would stick out. It feels like old Tony. See, it's like... Curious, like, if we're gonna see where exactly where she died, because when they when they were bringing up her getting hit by a truck or something, it's like I, I was imagining like an alleyway like this. Like, how the hell would that happen? Incidents. Oh yeah, yeah. I knew it. Wow, look at him. Oh, these guys are badass. Look at that eagle. Illegal eagle. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Decided to read copies of their curses and then just stalking and cutting something down in the middle like a mirror. I guess that's reasonable, but it doesn't seem like it would be helpful for killing random people unless. Well, I guess it's implied now that. Oh, who else died? I don't think any other curse bearers died last night, though, did they? So he would only have his own. But that's not a bad idea. Like, whatever it is, it's gonna be some weird shit like that. Oh my god, I'm so mad that I can't finish this tonight, because it's gonna be driving me nuts. I'm not gonna be, be able to stream until, like, tomorrow evening. Pro like. 20-ish hours from now. Bisected the town itself. We're gonna fuck- he's gonna fucking Thanos snap the whole town. Man looks disappointed. I think I got all the stuff here. Okay, well then... If that's all we're doing here, then I'm gonna continue with the other place. <laughs> Thought this would have been longer. Yeah, he'll bisect a, a dam that floods the town. Classes are suspended, so students are just kind of wandering around aimlessly. They look like shadow people. Rubberneckers. The toxic one involved. This is the only thing to the case because the students were under uh, Also, the site of the Fool's Procession. When the teacher was killed. Likely place to find clues. It's locked while forensics does stuff. There's no sticker here. I find it impossible to believe there would be no sticker on this pool. Pulling place in the back center. Place that's safe and sturdy. Speaking of schools, Paranormal Affairs can't help us right now, so why don't we get that Psychic High Schooler to help? A lot of the people involved lead back to the school, so it might make things easier to have them with us. For a guy who questioned me on the legality of working with him, you sure seem eager to exploit underage labor. Hey, you say anything about exploiting? I just want to give our young experts the opportunity to shine. Yeah, Alright. I don't know where they are. 
Oh, I see. I wonder if there's anyone who can help us. Uh, suspend. This is suspension time. Uh, okay. I think I, I think I, this is probably where I should stop. two big leads and I gotta I gotta split and we'll finish this up tomorrow I think I have to <laughs> yeah no this game kicks ass I can't wait to continue it's not only these two but we're gonna have to continue with this at some point oh my gosh Yeah, Wag's still here. Yeah, this is interesting as shit. I can't wait. But uh, tomorrow, I'm seeing a movie up in the city, and I'm going to head up there a little early to hang out in the city. But I can't be up super, super, super late tonight. And it's already 10, and I'm already tired from streaming for eight fucking hours. It's also one of those things where I know like I'm going to be passing out in my chair if I continue for too much longer. And that's not a good way to finish a, a like a narrative heavy game, you know. Like I'll fit, I'll I'll be finishing it, but I'll just be miserable the whole time. <laughs> so uh, there'll be more. Dang, remember that time I auto saved like seven seven hours ago? Ugh, holy crap! What a cool game though. Uh, more later. For now, I'm gonna send a raid somewhere or other. Let's see. Oh my god. Uh... Yeah, no, it's been great. I'm gonna continue as soon as I can get back to streaming, which is probably tomorrow evening. Uh, let's see. Who's doing things? Uh, I'm just gonna read Spacey, and he's doing the Backrooms Lost Tape. I'll go watch a- I'll watch some fucking Backrooms game, sure. And this way... Yeah, th this has been great. Can't wait to continue. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. For now, everyone rest, and I'll see you all next time. Good night.